Dream Makers! How are we all? Did you all have a good weekend? Did, it, did all of the rugby fans have a good weekend? <laughs> Sorry to the Welsh contingent. I know you won't be... Uh, you did amazing, of course. You did amazing. And I, and I think they'll be doubly annoyed with the fact that, 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 that England did get through. Um, so... <laughs> No, no, it's true. It's true because, uh, you know, I grew up in Wales, right? And mo the majority, 90% of my friends are, are Welsh and I love them dearly. But they like to take the mickey out of me um, because I actually was born in England. So they're like, there's that rivalry, isn't there? Um, it's all friendly, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> but yeah, well done to everybody, everyone that played. It's the take apart the counts. I can't, I can't believe it though. Wasn't it a good game? It was so good. It was so, so tense. Yeah, um, Wayne just said I needed to lie down afterwards. And, and I mean, that's a way to start your Saturday morning, isn't it? If ever, I, if ever I've had a Saturday morning. Amazing. Anyway, for those of you that aren't rugby fans, don't you worry because we've got an absolute stormer of a day today um, full of incredible gemstones. And, right, I need to um, let you know that Simon is unfortunately poorly. He was meant to be joining me this morning and the lovely Alison. Um, but he's poorly. He's bollocking. Um, however, please don't think that means that there's no not going to be sort of Simon's prices because there definitely will be. Um, he sent them from his sick bed. You could do this. You can do this, you can do this. But we figured, you know, while the cat's away, because he's not actually here, Wayne said I might be able to, I might push a few of those boundaries, because what's he going to do? <clears throat> so Simon, well, yeah, misread your spreadsheet, um, or... You should have been here, basically. There we go. So that's what's going to happen this morning. We've got the lovely Alison as well joining us um, and some really, really beautiful opportunities. I need to show you your deal of the day. The deal of the day, um, we had a big auction on this cut. It's from the same supplier. And, and Marie's words, they're just, they, they are... Um, exceptional leaders if you like in the world of faceting um, and we brought you this strand in spinel sold out super quickly so now today we've got a very limited opportunity of the same cut in amazonite so if you got that it was with claire if you remember i had claire mcdonald and she made a little bre uh, stretchy bracelet out of them she wears them still all the time so it's that same cut so if you want to get this to match it's coming up at 11 o'clock this morning everybody um we have got i mean so many things let's have a look, look sapphire i've got some really lovely sapphire in some central drilled ovals we had the same strand in ruby the other week abalone mosaic puffy coins ametrine i've got in really big beautiful tumbles i know um i've got some lovely white opal um it's it's it's, it's a jam patch and a stunning strand of garnet i have to say which is going to a ridiculous price tag how many do we have of those garnets uh, oh, triple figure quantity is amazing. So it's going to be mega. And we've got the gorgeous Alison Tavis. She's here. She's in the studio. She's just getting all set up. She's getting all set up. Hey, you can, we can see you, Alice. There she is. Uh, our lovely Azataza. She did say, I've got your lurgy, Al. I like how you blame me for it. <laughs> you know, because everybody else. It's hard to, it's, I did say the general lurgy. Yeah. It's not your fault. <laughs> was, it, was, it, was it just me that, yeah, well, we do get. Quite close. I do as well. I'm, a, I'm probably one of those people that gets in personal space. <laughs> so. Absolutely fine. <laughs> Is it a bit awkward? <laughs> Is it a bit awkward, like, back off, Phil? Right then. <laughs> <laughs> should we get this show underway, jewelry makers? I think we should. Right then. I should be starting with my alarm clock deal. But guess what? It's not here yet, but it, it, yeah, it's a bit late, but um, we will do it. But um, I tell you what, we'll give you like an, uh, a little intro to your alarm clock deal. Does that sound good? Okay. Um, and I'm going to start with some lovely cabochons. Cappuccino. Oh, I'd love a cappuccino right now. Do you have the chocolate on top? Always. It's like, because uh, I don't like full fat milk, so I always say, can I have a skinny, skinny cappuccino? Do, do you not want the chocolate? Yes. Of course I do. I just don't want the full fat milk. I want I want lots of chocolate. Um, here we go. Are you insane? Who has a cappuccino without chocolate sprinkles? Um, Two hundred and forty carats of your lovely cappuccino, uh, Jasper. 
all the way from the USA. This has got a really lovely, um, like a mulberry colour, isn't it? Really stunning. You could prong set these, you know, all of the mediums pretty much we can actually cater now. $7.95 um, will cater for your cabochons. Just a little bit of glue, that's all you need. Your beading foundation, certainly with your, um, uh, let me see, what am I thinking? Gallery wire, soutache, yes. CB bezeling, all of those things. Um, some really lovely shapes. Some really beautiful shapes of these. And you get, you get a selection of, so you might get some rounds. I've got the last one. Who's going to have the last one? You have to be quite quick um, on the breakfast club. You have to be up and at them. We don't like to ease you into your day. Oh, definitely not, no. If you want to make the most of these deals, five in baskets for the last one, so well done. Um, yeah, if you want to make the most of these deals, you've got to be quite speedy. Number two. Oh, this is the perfect pairs, isn't it? There's only three of these left. Um, have you seen these? Oh, I, I got every one of those. <laughs> They're amazing. So imagine how difficult it is to get a pair of gemstones, which are almost like a mirror image, um, when they've got internal banding. So this is blue lace agate, and if I just hold them up, you can see. There you go. That's almost oh beautiful with first kit, second kit. What's it called? Uh, yeah, second kit. Second kit, I think. Um, beautiful with a kit that's coming your way. $14.95. And when Marie actually, I can tell you, when Marie actually asked for these, um, she said I was expecting them to be ludicrously expensive, but um, she was able to secure it at obviously a very affordable price tag. Not what you just saw previously, I, have to, I might add. That is purely because you're watching during the Breakfast Club Jewelry Makers. Even the cut, as you can see, they are mirror image of one another. 16 carats in total, so it means you're going to get eight in each ear. Um, and the bands, as you can see, the bands are absolutely beautiful, um, but so difficult to achieve when you've actually got two. Has it gone? Has it gone? Has it gone? Um, when you've got two gemstones with all of those internal characteristics. Right, moving on. Oh, this is lovely. I picked this strand up when I came in this morning. Multicolored beryl. Oh, in your big rounds. This is beautiful. 390 carats of multicolored beryl, plain rounds. 12 mil in their size. Oh, I'd knot these. I think I'd just purely knot them. That's all you need. Um, let the beauty of the colours, the colour palette and the actual gemstones be the, the star of the show. I've got the final 10 of these within the vault and we are crashing. We are going low. Low, low, low. For 390 carats of beryl. I mean, seriously, you've got aquamarine in here. Morganite, goshenite. Um, wow. And we're not even stopping there. Now, Simon's Picks and your Breakfast Club, they're about securing the best possible prices. So not just on sort of last in stock items either. You know, we've got items which are quite plentiful in their quantity. That is, well, pretty much half price, isn't it? Is that right? Yeah. In fact, it is half price. It is, isn't it? What did you start at? $34.95? Yeah. It is, we've half that price for you, and they're totally and utterly natural, so beautiful. Um, these, when they, when they first were launched to air, came in different sort of shapes and sizes, but absolutely flew out the door, and they still do to this day as well. I think because of the potential, everything that you can do with them, you know, a simple stretchy bracelet, knotting, as I said earlier on, macrame, um, you can just restrand them, you could use them with the lovely pearls that you might have got over the course of your winter wedding weekend. Yeah, I did tune in, you had some apps. Absolute beauties on, didn't you? Um, use them with your silks, of course. £16.95. Hiya, Jane. Lovely to be with you. Hello to you, London. Nice to have your company as well. I hope you are all well. It was one degrees driving into work this morning. One degrees. That's chilly, isn't it? Very, very, very chilly. What did we all get up to? That could be our text topic. Tell me what you got up to this weekend, apart from the rugby, obviously. Um, we're not talking about that. We're not talking about... Oh, sorry, Alison. Why? Um, you did well. We didn't. We lost. Well, I know you lost, but that doesn't mean you didn't do well. And look, semi-final and all that. She's not amused. Are you going to be supporting us, though, Alison? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be supporting the England boys? Of course I do. Good. Northern Hemisphere all the way. Oh. She's saying it through gritted teeth, I know it. 
I know it, I know it, I know it. Uh, Multicolored gemstones, look at this, and some gorgeous nuggets. Look at that, that's incredible. And it's something that is quite new here at Jewelry Maker. I don't know why we were so slow on the uptake with your multicolored strands. I guess because that's quite a different, few different A gemstone varieties, but locations as well. Seven pounds 95. I'd just be popping this on memory wire. Hey presto, job done. Beautiful, wrap around, very boho chic, um, which apparently is gonna be all the rage in forthcoming seasons at 3 95 purely because you are watching during a breakfast club price tag oh it's here your alarm clock deal is here well done loose thanks honey allison's uh, scooching herself yeah i know some really really lovely gemstone goodies 3 95 only everybody tell us what you're up to this weekend um, my cousin came over and we had a really lovely chatty night where i had quite a lot of I had quite a lot of wine, which is quite unlike me. So I was, you know, and you just get a taste for it. I did. I, quite, I don't drink that often, but I had a proper taste for it. Um, and I made the naughtiest of desserts ever. Ever, ever, ever. It went like this. Chocolate cookie, buttery biscuit base. Mm-hmm. Buttery biscuit base. And then caramel. Made my own caramel. Chocolate cheesecake with bueno mixed in there. <clears throat> and a bit of your chocolate, you know, your, your runny chocolate. And then uh, chocolate shavings over the top too. It was ridiculously calorific, but utterly delicious. <laughs> Even if I do say so myself. Um, anyway, right then, who wants their alarm clock deal? There we are, your little lion, 10 minute lion. Um, we are going to uh, bring you a beautiful variety of your gemstone that is regarded as the best in the world. I'm talking about Santa Maria Aquamarine. Santa Maria. Now, anybody that watched that Antiques Roadshow program with the Santa Maria, was it Cushion, I think it was? Cushion Cut, Solitaire. Wasn't it valued at like 20 odd thousand pounds? Um, the one thing that would have struck you about it was A, the sheer size, but B, that wonderful, intense azure blue. That's what Santa Maria is all about. It's that, it's the best. It used to be the location. They used to regard, um, um, it used to be describing just the location of your aquamarine, but now it's more of an indication of sheer quality. And that's what you're looking at. So the finest quality of aquamarine has got that very definite azure blue. And these, oh, it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I think I just restrand it. Oh my goodness. I would literally just restrand this. I've got the final 19. Um, without question, Santa Maria colour. And that's what we all aspire to. If you're a lover of aquamarine, it can be very delicate, still pretty, still beautiful. You can get it in your opaque varieties. Again, still very beautiful. <clears throat> in fact, I might show you. Um, because on this strand, see, this is aquamarine also. But can you see? This is the opaque variety. Still very, very, very pretty and very workable in your jewellery designs. Santa Maria has got that very high intense saturation and specifically tone actually but with a uh, that beautiful flawless clarity at 150 pounds for 23 carats of santa maria aquamarine that is an amazing amazing deal um completely and utterly natural i've got literally 19 of these left within the vault once they're gone they are definitely gone and um, the kind of strand that once you turn it into a piece of jewelry i would highly suggest that you do get it valued and appraised i know it costs money i know it's expensive to do however at some point maybe look at doing it because it's worthwhile knowing that value um, if heaven forbid it did get lost or stolen um, because it's not going to what you're looking at on your screens is not going to be the replacement value if that makes sense um, I can't guarantee that we're going to be able to bring you Santa Maria Aquamarine at this price on your screens however we're not even stopping there jewelry makers so for that pinnacle pinnacle Example um, of aquamarine. Who wants it at the lowest ever price? Definitely me. Definitely me. If you got the Paraiba tourmaline the other day, oh, did you get it? Michael. 
It's so beautiful. One time deal. This I think is going to be a sellout deal because we are going to take it to the lowest ever price tag by an absolute long shot. So you know what to do. Maybe get your certificate of authenticity as well, which will actually document the fact that it is Santa Maria and that it is completely natural. The location as well, the fact it's Brazilian. $89.95. So can we just work out what that is per carat? Um, I'm not great at maths. £3.90 per carat of Santa Maria. Santa Maria. For Santa Maria. That's ludicrous, isn't it? Oh, crazy, crazy, crazy. <sighs> but then that's what today's going to be about, isn't it? It's, it, 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 it's not about um, profit, shall we say, today. Um, the intention with Simon's Pick is obviously to give you the best possible deals. Obviously, we might have a delivery on its way, so we might need to clear locations within the vault as well. Um, but we wouldn't necessarily actually do it for um, with a strand <laughs> of this prestige. Um, I love that expression. So, uh, yeah, Lucy's just said to Wayne, he was like, she said, uh, it's, it's my birthstone. Um, Oh, is it your birthstone as well? And she said, oh, uh, skinhead's on a raft for the rest of the month. No, wrong with that. No, wrong with that as well. You've never heard that phrase? Skinhead's on a raft. Okay. Baked beans on toast. I like that thing. <laughs> Hiya, Sue. Um, it would have been nice for an all homegrown rugby final, wouldn't it, just actually? It would have been. But I am so excited England are there. Um, I was shocked at how good they were against New Zealand. I don't think you're the only one, Sue. I think most people um, were. Like, just think. Do you know what I really liked as well? Did anyone see the beginning when they were doing the hacker? I thought that was like a victory V. I thought that was really clever. Really, really. There's one photograph of the captain. I don't know his name. Um, Far Farrell, was it? And they're doing the hacker, so you can see the, the you can see all the all of that going on, but from behind. Yeah. So he's got got all that going on, and he's literally there like this, just smiling at him. I thought that's really clever. Got everybody really pumped, didn't they? Really pumped. Is that, is that your face, Wayne? In, you've met him. When did you meet him? Two months ago. Half the team. Oh, that's right. You stayed at the same hotel as them, didn't you? Um, Wayne and Tom. And then, you know, you could... And then you had your photo taken with them all, didn't you? Were they obliging? Yeah? Nice, friendly lads. Good. Good, 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 good. All bar one? Oh. Oh, Oh, apparently one was a little bit uh, grumpy. <sighs> Perhaps he hadn't had his coffee. Eighty nine ninety five lowest ever price tag. Good morning, Kent. Hello to you, Kathleen. Hello to you, Channel Isles. Hello to you, London. Hello to you, Deborah. Uh, lovely being with you. I've got collectors up in Edinburgh. Congratulations to you as well. Check out those baskets. Amazing. Um, moving on. I've only got 19 just to give you a heads up. That was the lowest ever price tag. Wow. On Santa Maria Aquamarine. Absolutely amazing. Right, moving on to... Easy. I've never even seen this. What's this? What's that? Is that the earring one? Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? Looks like a stapler. What do I do? Uh, Easy. I'm glad you're here, Alison. Easy earring lever back punch. Got a piece of card I don't know. I've never even seen this. You put your thingy in. <laughs> what? Put wire. <laughs> And there's a scrap. Do I put paper yeah, in it then? Paper. Put your card in it, paper. It won't. There, oh, there. Right. Right. So then you can put things on it. Don't tell Oh! Oh, it's for making your cards. So you think you've got an earring. I holder. see. It's for holding the, uh, your earrings, not making yeah. lever backs. No, no, no. I get it. Genius! You can have your own branded earring holder. So you cut your own little bits of card, yeah. like little square sheets of cards, Do put your branding cards. on there, business card, make the hole, and then obviously holes, uh, I should say. And then you put and then you put your earrings on there. I get it. That's not at all what I was expecting. I was expecting it to actually sort of make the finding, but this is actually oh. for holding the yeah. earrings. Well I'll be. Never seen that. 
I've been, I've been here since 2011 and I've never seen that tool. How long have we had this? Really? Since 2017? Never seen it. Oh, none of us have ever seen it before. There we go then. Amazing. Well done. Check out. That's a clever idea. Oh, look, and it collects your little bits in the bottom there, like just like a hole punch. <coughs> I'm easily pleased. There's a little bit to that. Okay, Unakite. Final 12 of these. It's like a quintessential English country garden, isn't it? <clears throat> Look at that, straight down. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? It's such a lovely gemstone unikite. It always reminds me of some, like, uh, woodland. Can you see that? Some really beautiful woodland. Yeah? Yeah, I can see them. And, and, and you know, you could just... If, if, if it had blue, it would be like your blue bell woods. But these have got lovely little blooms. And they're all completely unique. This one's sort of predominantly a green colour. Such a vibrant intensity of colour palettes. Uh, totally natural, don't you know? Love that. 300 carats of your Unakite. You get a mixture of your shapes and sizes. It being Jasper, it's fabulously durable. I think this one's my favourite. Um, fabulously durable, so you could literally just... Well, you could use it across all of your different mediums. Seven ninety five is a Breakfast Club price tag for you, jewellery makers, so grab it whilst you get the chance. Um, I can't remember the last time we had, like, a cabochon hour, can you? <coughs> Excuse me. It's been a while ago. Wow. Maybe we'll do a cabochon hour. Uh, moving on. Ooh. Ocean Jasper. Look at that. Looks like a conch shell. <gasps> wow. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Twenty four ninety five. <gasps> all these lovely colours and all these amazing patterns and textures that you get with Ocean Jasper. A tapered tube. Tube. Mm. I wouldn't say tube, personally, but, you know, we, we, we know what you mean. It's more like a rice shape, isn't it? Don't you think? Like a rice bead. Uh, 24 95 for 400 carats of them. Every single one will be completely unique, and that's the beauty. It's almost like a coral reef in a gemstone, um, if that makes sense. Keep those messages coming through. To it. We're talking about what you got up to on the weekend. Did anybody get up to anything exciting? Um, were you watching the rugby? Will you be watching the rugby? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, make sure you have kind of like a set... Get, get, get your laptop sorted and the rugby sorted either either or yeah <coughs> Wayne you're fine <laughs> Wayne I'll be I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get feed you Barocca this week just to make sure you're not poorly for Saturday yeah yeah, just going to make sure that you have all your vitamins for this weekend. Fourteen ninety five only. I don't think you'll be the only person, mind. Oh, eight hundred six double four six double five. All the W's. Nice, uh, nice sizable drill holes. So even some of your gauges of wire. Um, Laura Binding does a really lovely. And it still sticks in my memory. She she actually cages one singular bead, and it's almost like a very much elaborate sort of beautiful Fabergé style. You could do that with those. Moving on. Oh, this is your cotton tassel cord. Oh, a bit of glitz. A bit of glitz first thing in the morning. 20 metres of your cotton tassel cord. Silver on white. Perfect for the festive seasons. Ninety-five only for your lovely beads, like perfect for your tassels. And you can see from the picture, they do make really lovely tassels, which are still so fashionable. They're everywhere, aren't they? Um, I mean, you get little tassels on on most of our strands, not all, but most of them. Um, but I really like sort of the really thick, full ones. So if you want to make your own, you could use this for your knotting and all of those uh, techniques and procedures. If I turn it round, um, that tool, which we also stock as well, is called a tassel maker. Um, so you literally just kind of wrap it round and spin it. But you can actually just use the two fingers as well. That works in exactly the same way. Um, and then tie it off. Perfect. Let's stick with the tassel, shall we? And this is the beautiful... Um, Ha <laughs> ha! 
This is a really beautiful. What colour is that? I can't quite see. Pink on, is it pink on silver? Is that what it's described? Silver on pink. There we go. Two ninety five. I'd mix them. I think I'd mix them together. That would be lovely. Twenty meters. You're getting on this spool. Um, I learned that. So a spool is more like is higher. A reel is narrower. There we go. There's the difference apparently. A spool is taller. Two ninety five only for your tassel cord. Well done. I'm moving quickly because then you get the more at, more at your breakfast club prices. This is lovely, and I think this is probably going to be one of the most popular. Um, oh, no, oh. Beautiful. So on trend. The boho style. It wasn't just a. It's not just a trend that was set in the summer. It's it's all year round. Actually, I was looking on that. Um, one of the sort of fashion websites yeah, on the weekend and I was like oh yeah still still a lot of fringing about good morning Michaela hello my darling this weekend I've been trying to get back into wire work I always seem to go for cabochons no idea why lol slowly getting back on track with it lol and Michaela you know what I, I've been see I've seen your pictures that you put on Facebook with your knotting you're doing amazingly darling you're doing amazingly because you're saying I think I'm getting better you definitely definitely are you uh, you know and, I, and I'm going to always 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 credit you for your work after that message that you sent me um, you know, you're doing brilliantly honey brilliantly and yes I admire you if you're doing wire work because I can't do it I can't do it I'm useless yeah. I end up get I can't I end up getting in right strop <laughs> it's not my forte let's just put it that way <laughs> here you go wow big beautiful lobster clasps um, here you go, 16 millimetres in their size, 7.95, genuine precious metal, so your rose gold on sterling silver. I'd be using this maybe with your garnet that's coming up a little bit later on. Uh, actually, um, perfect with the pearls that you had this weekend, don't you think? Because I know there were some lovely apricot pearls. You had quite a lot of nice um, um, nucleated pearls as well, didn't you? The big sizable ones. So you're gonna want the large class. So this is 16 millimeters. I think I think it's the largest class that we actually do in in like a lobster claw. Um so you're gonna want to go on. With the with the mosaics mm, would be lovely. Perfect. One one of those is a charm with that clasp it's not gonna be buried. That would look lovely. Yeah. Really good That'd idea. Great. On your bag. Lovely. Wow. Obviously I'm holding it upside down, but yeah, I get the idea. <laughs> Yes, that would be perfect. Like interchangeable jewellery then, isn't yeah, it? You yeah. could actually wear it as a pendant too. You could. Just tuck it on a chain. Very, very cool. So that's your mosaic. Um, beautiful. And we've got them in the abalone as well as the shell. So you could just make loads mm. of beautiful bag charms or interchangeable jewellery. Well done. Moving on. Oh, where has this been? <gasps> where has the Kumihimo disc been? Do you know what I was in? I was in, you know, the 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 big supermarket that's blue, white, and red. You know that one, yeah. And I saw in a kid's toy aisle because I was caught up by the marketing of it. Oh, fifty percent off toys. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I couldn't find a single piece that was fifty percent off. Uh, <clears throat> no Tinkerbells, no. <laughs> I haven't been able to replace Tinkerbell since the incident. Anyway, oh. <laughs> but do you know what I saw? Kumahimo. Really? Yeah, saw Kumahimo. And these, I mean, they were in spangly colours and whatnot. And it came with some cord, which you can get off our website. It was like, it was just under £20. It's all packaging. It was all the packaging, really. Because yeah. I thought, I know how big that Kumahimo disc is. Two ninety five. Your tassel cord you can use with that. Yes, make your kumihimo braid. Mm. So yeah, it was literally in the supermarket. I noticed. Uh, I noticed uh, that was on Friday. So on Friday, uh, oh thank you so much for your kind comments, Al. Your support really does mean a lot. Oh, bless you. Hope your family are all well. We're really well. Thank you, Michaela. No, big love to you, honey. Big big love to you. Um, yeah, it 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 it. it I can't believe, you know, just put, and, and I get, I've got suckered in by it as well before, you know, when, um, for example, don't shout at me, we actually bought beads from that supermarket, not during making beads though, you spray water on them and they all stick together. 
that's what Willow wanted on, on, on Friday. So that's what we were doing. They all stick together then, basically. But these are like 20 quid. Uh, hiya, Karen. Morning, everybody. Um, went to a crafting thing um, at the SECC. Saw Alison's bauble designs at, um, at Bead Workers Guild uh, stand. Uh, bought too much. Mainly, what's that? Baklava, though. Oh. Hi, Karen. She's lovely, Karen. I don't doubt met it. Met Karen. Have you met Karen? Yeah. Hi, Karen. Morning. Were you at that event as well, Alison? No, I was in Scotland. Not this one, but you pick, you, there was, what, pictures? Going, I'm going on the first. I've, well, I've met her when I went up to Edinburgh. Oh, lovely. And with, with, with lovely, the lovely, lovely. Nadia. Oh, and baklava. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm. Mm, with a coffee. Cappuccino, actually. Uh, hello to you, Tanya. Good morning, JM team and Elle. I was making stretchy bracelets with all the kids um, in the community uh, this weekend. That's wonderful. Uh, went through reels of elastic. Wow. Wonderful. Well done, you, Alice, uh, Tanya. Sorry. Uh, well done. That's fabulous because, you know, that feeds their creativity and they'll remember that. They'll remember doing that with you. <laughs> Moving on. Can't remember the last time I saw Kumahima. What's this? Giraffe pattern cushioned four pocket pouch. Ooh. Oh, has these got the sleeves? Or is it no, oh, that's cool, isn't it? You put your tools in. You all kind of like. Here you go, and you roll it up. Looking after your tools. Here you go. Shall I open it? It's four ninety five. But you could use it for anything. It doesn't have Make to be for tools. Makeup brushes. Makeup brushes. Seed bead tubes. Yes. Great idea. Jewellery. Jewellery. Absolutely. Oh, look. This is clever. So it rolls out. You've got that sort of... The flap that comes over and sort of keeps it all contained. Is it neoprene? Hey? Is it neoprene? What's neoprene? The stuff they make wetsuits out of. Yes. So it's waterproof as well. Yeah. Ah. Have you ever tried to put wetsuit on, honestly? Yeah, I used to dive. Did you? <laughs> I've tried diving. It That's didn't go fun. well. Oh, didn't it? Didn't go well, no, not at all. Um, but they did try and flip me backwards off a boat on my first time. Ouch. Yeah. No, no. And, I, and my, my lessons was, I think this is a, a lot to do with the fact that I've got such a fear of the sea. My <laughs> lesson was they plonked me in front of a... A, a video for half an hour. Watch that. I went, okay, watched it. Um, right, come on then, in you come. What were we off? We're off, not to the pool. We're off out to sea. Literally out, not by the beach, miles away from the shore. Flipped me back off the boat and I completely freaked out. Yeah. So, yeah. Not recommended. Not ideal. But yes, it is that, that material. Yeah, that's fine. So, so it's Neoprene. washable as well, isn't it? Yeah, you, just, you can just wipe it off. Wow. Amazing. Moving and it'll on. float. And it what? It'll float. And it'll float. Because there are yes. little pockets of air in the neoprene. Ah, so if you had tools so and you just, on the just so happened to drop... Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> drop it. All joking aside, you know, your tools... You're not going to lose your tools forever. Look at these. Oh, beautiful. Purple Labradorite. Oh, wow. Hello. They are amazing, aren't they? Let me pick up this one. Um, oh, wow. oh, look at Hang that. On a minute. Can you see the purple? Wow. This one's, this one here. That's not shine retiring at all, is it? Wow. Purple being the rarest colour, hence why we're harping on about it. Why we're getting super excited about it. Look at the size of that one. 19.95. Labradorite is a fascinating gemstone, isn't it? It's amazing. It's isn't certainly it? one of the, the, the most captivating. You know, it just makes you, it just, you can, you can get lost in it, can't you, mm. almost? Um, I don't think we'll ever tire of Labradorite. Okay, moving on. Ooh. Thulite. Ooh. Thulite, if my memory serves me correctly, is a zoocyte, isn't it? I'm fairly sure Thulite is a member of the zoocyte gemstone family, which is the same as Tanzanite. I'll be impressed if I remember that right. <laughs> Woohoo! Do I get a gold star? You do. 
gold star for Al. Two stars, wow. Um, yeah, which I, I, the reason why I mention it is because I just, it's so fascinating to think that they're so opposite, you know, they're polar opposite in their appearances. Um, but yeah, Thu, like, completely natural, comes from Norway, you've got this really lovely, almost like a, like a ruby-like colour, isn't it, almost? Completely opaque, but actually the same gemstone family as your, as your tanzanite. Twenty nine ninety five. And that's not your breakfast club price tag. Keep those messages coming through. Tell me what you've been up to this weekend. Had a lovely weekend. I really, really enjoyed this weekend. It was just pottering. You know, I was just, just in the house pottering and family. And yeah, it was a bit of wine on Saturday night. <laughs> treated myself to a but I don't normally drink white wine, but um, I treated myself to a nice bottle because I, it, I got all nostalgic when I was in the supermarkets and I saw, I was walking down the wine aisle uh, and my dad used to like buying wine and I saw a bottle that he always used to treat mum mum with. So I was like, oh, you know what, I'm going to buy it. And it was a bottle of Sanse. Um I don't drink white wine, but just because my dad used to buy it for mum. So, and it was very nice. Very, very nice. So then I went on the red. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it often, but it was lovely. Absolute night of indulgence in terms of food and everything. 48 carats of lovely Thu Light Wow for 17.95. everybody. Look at that. It's beautiful. It is... Th think, name a flower that's got that colour. A red rose, I suppose. A red rose. Mm -hmm. um, oh, what's the, the, big, the big one that comes... Big cup flower. Peony? Peony. A chrysanthemum, yes. Rhododendron. Rhododendrons, yes. Fuchsia, fuchsia, yeah, you could get you could get pinky fuchsias. Uh, uh, pink flowers, chrysanthemums. Chrysanth, yeah. Adam said chrysanth. Oh, sorry, Adam. Uh, he also attention. said spray carnation. You oh, can pinks. Get, yes, pinks. Pinks. Oh, yeah, they're funny plants, aren't they? They're what, funny. sorry? They're funny. very funny plants, I think, pinks. Yeah. They just... Yeah, they, they're, like, they're like silvery leaves, aren't they? Yeah. And then you just get these massive long flowers that shoot out of the smallest little, <laughs> little plant. Fox <gasps> gloves. Fox gloves. Are you actually kidding me? <gasps> There's two. Carnella, Brazilian anthem. Look at the size of this. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Amazing clarity, Adam is saying. Yeah, I, t I totally agree. Are you actually kidding me? Oh. That's so cruel. It, that is unbelievable, that's isn't brilliant. it? I mean, that's that, that specimen quality amethyst right there. You know, if you were... And bear in mind, I've got it in the case, on the case here. So you're gonna, when you t when you open it, it's gonna be even more exceptional, more lustrous. Twenty one. I've got two of these. That is ridiculous. If these don't sell out in a heartbeat, five of you have it in your baskets apparently, and there's only two. When were these launched? And why why on earth wasn't it with us? <laughs> Oh, we need more of these. Marie, please can you buy some more of these? Like the big, do you all agree, jewelry makers? Look, like the, do you want big stones? Mm. Have we? We've got some amazing good, goodies coming, Wayne is saying. I did, I was looking over Wayne's shoulder whilst he was, because Wayne works, works alongside the buying team now as well. Um, and I was kind of looking over his shoulder while he was putting quantities of things to order. The other day I was like that, yeah, yeah, up that quantity. More, more of that, those, more, more, more. That's our show, Al. Our show. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, no Alison, <laughs> yeah. I was like, Wayne, more, more, more. more. <laughs> I was that, I was that voice in your ear, wasn't I, Wayne? And Adam, yeah, you were too, weren't you? Get me more. Here we go. Um, yeah, you've got some amazing goodies. Let's just let's just say that let's just say the lead up to Christmas oh. is gonna be absolutely epic. Oh, it is. I was and going into January and February. Wow. I was having a look at some of the goodies on Marie's desk. I know. Here. I know. I know. Oh, 
Oh, I like that. <sighs> Look at these. So your banded oh. agate, multi-size uh, cabochons. Get a little mixture of uh, patterns, of course, because they're all, all varieties. They are fabulous, aren't they? Agate is that gemstone. And I'll say, I know we had quite a lengthy conversation on Thursday when Marie was on air with the um, agate smiles, the smiley faces. Um, and we were saying, you know, it's a gemstone that doesn't get the prestige that it, it deserves. I love it. And me. It absorbs lovely colours. Yeah. They've all got their own little characters, haven't they? Oh, yeah. Six ninety five, and yet it's still very affordable. Um, that's not to say it will always be the case. Gone? Gone. Well done. Sold out, on and gone. Oh. I think I'm going to be making lots of those noises today. Ooh. Oh, I like this one. <gasps> wow. I love this. So the one in your left hand, mm -hmm. don't you think it's a bit Halloween-y because you've got those eyes and a oh. big mouth screaming? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I totally see it. <laughs> this is eyes. One, two. Little nose. Yeah, and this ah. big... Ah. Yeah, smiley agates were a little bit like this, weren't they? You could give them some crazy hair. Yeah. Wow, well, yeah, crazy hair. Give them a little body. He looks a bit like Humpty Dumpty, I think. <laughs> a little bit Humpty Dumpty. Aww. Can we all see that? As he's falling yeah. off the wall, maybe. Um, but they're, they're so beautiful, aren't they? I can't guarantee you're going to get the face, no. of course. But look at that. Um, but look at that. It is, yeah, like a, like, a, like a blizzard, isn't it? And a gemstone. Hiya, Sylvia L. Uh, chasing a mouse around the house. Oh, no. Uh, left it to the cat in the end. Spent uh, the day upstairs, lol. Oh, no. Poor you, Sylvia. Did the cat bring it in? Because my mum's cat used to do that. Um, just as she bringing you in presents. That's what they do, don't they? They kind of, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll bring them in. Here you go, this is for you. And they scurry off. Oh, no. I've, I can feel, I sympathise because we've got a similar situation at the moment in our house. Outside, thankfully, but definitely, let's just say, little critters. Um, hello to you, Miss Janet. Um, went on a 20-mile night walk. Wow. Along the Thames for calm mental health. Mm -hmm. um, what's that start? 11 p.m. Recovering today. Excellent fun. Um, well, in, 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 in Cheels. Well done, you. Yeah. That's amazing and an incredible cause as well. Um, I, I assume there was a big group of you as well. Yeah. Fabulous. Well done, you. Oh, we've all been busy chasing mice. Yeah. Do you know, Sylvia, I remember my mum's cat, because she had one of those magnetic collars, so she still could get things in whilst connecting the magnet. Um, I remember once bringing in a baby rabbit. That was quite <gasps> traumatising. Um, it was still alive, it was perfectly fine, but my goodness, don't they make noise? Chasing a baby rabbit around the house. Oh, well, she was okay in the end. She was okay. Look at this. These are lovely. Pretty, aren't they? Really beautiful. And they do actually have the drill hole as well. Beautifully, very very discreet. So they're half drilled, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, they're half drilled. Can you see oh, those now? Don't go all the way through. So just a little bit of your glue, your jewellery glue. Um, cut it down. Leave it overnight. You've just made some stud earrings. Six ninety five, and you get a pack of five. So that's two pairs of earrings and one pendant. Really nice little head pins. Um, pretty for like flower girls. Yeah, prong set them. Prong very set easily. them. Yeah, you don't have to use that half drill, no, do you? Because you've got beautiful places to prong set them. Make a pretty ring. Does it, do, does it help that you've actually got the carved details in terms well, of wire work? It gives, you, it gives you grooves for your wire to go. So if you can imagine prong setting one of those cabochons, you've mm. got to position them and they, they can move around, whereas there you just put your wire in the grooves. It gives you an instant place to put your prong. Uh, is, it, is it just me that's desperate to sing Madonna right now? In the groove? Yeah. Mm. Sorry. Just in my head and my head. <laughs> you get in the groove, yeah. I agree, I, I agree, though. It's, it's that natural anchor point. Yeah. They'd be beautiful with those <gasps> mosaic shells yes, that we've got would. coming up a little bit later on. Six ninety five. Hello, Gillian. Hello to Regina, London, Danny, Rose. With the... With the is that... Um, what's the pink on there? It's rose quartz. Pink, 
perfect with that. Lovely with rose quartz, amazing with some gorgeous garnet as well. Hiya, Debbie. I've spent the weekend finishing off oh. my son's wedding favours for Friday. How exciting! 110, uh, what's that? Harry, Harry, Potter, inspired. Uh, Harry Potter inspired wands. Wow. Wow, you've been busy then, Debbie, haven't you? Really, really busy. Congratulations, though, ahead of the wedding. How exciting. Hiya, Sarah. I spent the weekend uh, praying for the rain to go away. My local town flooded. Oh, no, water stopped just short of my road. No one hurt but what a mess. Oh, bless you. I do feel for you there, Sarah. Um, I grew up in a town that was also flooded this weekend quite badly. So stay safe, everyone. Um, yeah, not great. It's awful, isn't it, in this day and age that we still... Mother Nature, you can't contain her. Mother Nature's the, the strongest thing around. Mm, the first pub that I used to work at when I'm going back to when I was probably... I was but a teenager. I used to wait tables and whatnot. Um, I worked in this, that, that's Country Manor, and then I went down to this pub. So, um, But that every year, it was on the, called the Bridge End Inn, and every year flooded. Nine feet of water this weekend. Oh, my god. Nine gosh. feet, yeah. Bad. Yeah, water, yeah. Um, okay. Moving on to oh. 20. Oh, you say, babe. I can't say it normally. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, these are oh, lovely. I love those. So these are purple gem duos. So it's like a gold little marquee splash. shape, isn't it? Yeah. With gold splash. Gold splash. Like gold leaf almost across. Yeah. Um, the surface of them. I love the splash ones. They're lovely, aren't they? They are fabulous. So are they double drilled, Alison? They are double drilled. Oh, yeah. That's why they're a duo. The oh, duo yeah. is the two holes. Sorry. No, it's all right. It took me a while that to That was a bit dizzy It's of the me, duo. Wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so that gives you different directions and whatnot. They're both, well, they both go through the same direction. But both yeah, horizontally. You, yeah, yeah. But, you, I mean, they're great for doing Christmas decorations, for connecting things. Well, any, any of your seed bead, they do great herringbone, you can peyote with them, um, you can do ropes with them. Great for decorating your baubles. Yeah, because I'm just thinking there's lots of intersections on yeah. baubles, isn't there? So that's where these would work. No, they, they go like that. Oh, They're go parallel. like that, horizontally. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 I see what you but mean. But you can still... You create use those them. layers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, you, amazing. Three... You can use them with your looms as well. Oh, now you're talking. Yeah. Three nights about, I did see the um, the jewel loom in action the other day and I was like, yeah, that's oh. fun. Uh, three ninety five only with the gold splash. So this would be one of the more prestigious colours. I'm sorry if I'm sounding vague. I actually don't see these. I don't think I've seen the gem duos. Super duos, yes. Um, gem duos, I don't know if I've actually brought to air personally. Correct me if I'm wrong, of course. Um, oh, they've only been on air once. There we go. That'll be why. That'll be why. Hello to you, Diane, Carol, Maureen, Rachel. Ooh. Lovely to be with you uh, this Monday morning. Yeah, do stay safe because I think actually you've, you've raised a really uh, good point there, Sarah. I know some places are still struggling with the yeah. water at the moment, so stay safe. I saw some crazy footage of people driving through deep, deep, deep water. Just don't do it. It's no. not that important, whatever it is that you're trying to do at the other side. Just don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it. Um, okay, so it's time for us to show off your wonderful talents. It's the Wall of Fame. How are we, honey? Oh, all right. I'm all right. I'm just sounding a bit husky these days. If you need any, uh, any, any. Oh, I, I, I've got. Your dosed. Bless her. It's a, that's the one thing when we have, and I'm still a little bit. <laughs> when when someone gets a cold. I resisted for a couple of weeks. You did, you did well, for a actually. Of weeks. You did well. Take it away, beautiful. Oh, look at this. That's work. lovely. I love these new faces. This is three, two, six, and a lot of work. And this is from Denise. Please find enclosed this week's Wall of Fame. A seed bead uh, babushka baby doll and a flower seed beaded cuff, both inspired by Linda's DVD. Really enjoyed these projects and Linda is right, I'm hooked. Uh, can't wait to start the next one. Putting this one uh, on the front of a notebook as a Christmas present. Aww. Oh, 
that's a great idea. Thanks, Linda, and good luck to this week's entrance and to all at Jewelry Maker. Oh, Denise, that's fab, isn't it? Yeah. I love the baby version. Really lovely. Yeah. Really lovely, Denise. Fab. Um, I've got a fab beautiful link. bracelet Ooh. here. Three, two, one is coming from Bridget Byers in Brinabal, North Wales. Oh, Hello to you, Bridget. down the road from me. Down the road. Yeah. Uh, it's Bridget. Hiya, Bridget. She comes <laughs> from our bead group. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Uh, please Sorry. find my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a simple, stretchy bracelet using various sizes of silver beads and a silver heart. Everything apart from the heart is from Jewelry Maker. I hope you like it. Good luck to everyone in the draw. And that's Bridget in North Wales. Bridget, that's absolutely that's stunning. Three, two, one. It's not funny because I heard Brenda Barla and I was like, that was Bridget. Sorry. Just Thank took you a while to realise. It did. It's, 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 uh, so this is 325. Love this. This would go nice with the first kit. Oh, yeah. Um, and this is from Debbie, Debbie Brown. Um, I've made a bracelet and earring set with your beautiful two millimetre uh, faceted, super sparkly black spinel and your lovel, lovely, lovely oval faceted amethyst beads. I've had them for ages and they needed some inspiration to strike. I ju I've just booked a stall at our local village fair, <coughs> Christmas Fate, and uh, thought these would look lovely on my stall. Thank you so much for your beautiful gemstones. I love gems and wish I could buy them all. Kind of scrap. They're lovely. I hope you do well. I'm sure do you really will well. with pieces like that. Stunning. Speaking of beautiful designs, 320 oh. is a stunning tiger's eye uh, necklace. Um, it's from Lorraine. Good morning all at JM Towers. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Had these tigers eye for quite a while and made a couple of pieces with them but remade them into a different style that is the beauty of making your own jewelry you can change it when you get fed up or fancy a change good luck to all uh, to one and all and that's lorraine absolutely yeah absolutely 320 well that's done. so right and this is 324 what a lovely collection of gemstones and this is from ali with two l's um, this week, this week's entry is a bracelet made of a mixed mixture of gemstones I bought from you over the years. Just loving all the colours together. Th do you know, Ali, because that, that's a great idea. How often do you get one or two left on the end of a strand? Yeah, make your own scoops. Yeah, make your own bead scoops. And wow, wouldn't that look lovely? That's beautiful. Love that. Very, well very fashionable, the con yeah, kind of contrast. Yeah. Wow, to ultimate oh, regality ooh. here. 319 is from Pat Farnworth. I made this from uh, Keshi pearls brought from you and some freshwater pearls and I added some abalone to give it a focal point. I hope you like it. Good luck to all. Pat, that's absolutely stunning. stunning. Very Beautiful. regal. Love that. You are number 319. And from regal to what fun these yeah, are. Yeah, they're great. We've had great fun making them. But look at it. Not that that's not fun, but it's a different type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And this is from Sue Davis. Um, here's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. A selection of Halloween badges made from polymer clay. I had great fun making them. Love to all of you. They're fab, aren't they? Adam's like in the ghost. I, I, want, I want that which is hat there. I like the little that Frankenstein one. face. I like those. So they got the square, little square heads like me. Oh, I want that. I want where is it? that one up there. They're amazing! <laughs> I, love, I love, whoops, that one And there. the mummy, the, the mummy's mummy. great. Wow, it's some <gasps> lovely sea Stunning. beading. Look at this, 318 is coming from Sinead Hilliard. Hello all, here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a 3D star made with 11 Odelica beads plus some head pins and spacer beads from my stash. Um, it was quite difficult to photograph. I was at the big bead fair last weekend at Sandown Park and managed to get some lovely bargains from the JM stall. I need to start making things with gemstones again. However, I've started the large star in Monica's new DVD so maybe after that good luck to everyone in this week's draw and that's Sinead Hilliard um, beautiful Stunning. Sinead amazing 318 that's fabulous isn't it and mix your gemstones with your seed beading yeah do it wow. uh, now I have to say I had to look at the back of this this is this is stunning I absolutely love it uh, 322 and this is from Sandy wow. Gray isn't that amazing so here's my entry to the Wall of Fame. I made some resin paperweights a long time ago now, but they look beautiful on the windowsill when the sun shines. Looking forward to more resin jewellery on Jewellery Maker. Isn't that amazing? That is absolutely so incredible. Different colours of resin. So mixing all of your resins. It's incredible. And I don't know whether she might have something behind it. And to get, is that but like a mould to it, get that shape maybe? Well, listen, isn't, you see, hasn't that got us instantly talking all Sandy, of us? Sandy, you need to tell us brilliant. more about that. That's, a, that's amazing. Love it. Well done, Sandy. Last but by no Lovely. means least, beautiful wire work here from Myra. My entry um, 
is a necklace and earrings made with orange banded agate and a copper coloured wire. All materials are from Jewelry Maker. He is hoping for a win, but I love the show anyway. Myra, well, we love your jewellery. That's beautiful. I'll tell you what, you are a really cl a clever lot, aren't you? Good luck in the draw. It happens on a Wednesday, so winner will receive £100 and the runner-up will receive £50 um, of Jewelry Maker credits to your account. So keep those photographs coming in. We need to know more about that resin. It's brilliant, I'm, I'm isn't really it? curious about that one. Um, but coming up, talk to me, Alison, about the kit. The kits are lovely. So we've got um, quite a classic style kit yeah. um, coming up first. Well, two kits. I think it's two kits. And then and then the blue lace agate. I just love it. Wow. So you've got a lot of variety. There's, there's a few in the Wall of Fame that you could make from this kit as well. And they go really, really well with Becky's hair. Yeah, love. Oh, Becky's got pink hair. Yeah. I've just seen. Yeah, she's go got pink hair. Beautiful. Pink hair. Um, wow. So stay tuned. Um, I'm going to, uh, can I quickly show you one more? Hang on. Here it is. <gasps> oh. Is it this one? It's, it's I would nice. say it's more orange rather than red. Would we all agree? Yeah. Yeah. More orange adventurine rather than red. Two ninety five for a genuine gemstone strand, it's and it's on. a thirty eight centimeter strand. Do you know what? Um, I, uh, thirty eight centimeters for that price tag. I know. Uh, every can I, can I, permission to just have one little mini rant? Go on then. One little mini mini yeah, rant. Go on. Our strands are not getting shorter. No. I heard it. I saw it again. There are certain strands. Our gems are distinction strands. In actual fact, the majority are actually longer. Um, we do we do variations now. We yeah. we've always done a thirty eight centimeter strand, and the majority of our strands still are thirty eight centimeters. Gems of distinction, then they go to ten to eighteen, and we do do some at ten centimeters. But that's because then that was something that we were asked to do. Um, so yeah, I just I was reading something cost. to keep the cost down. Um, it's about offering everybody variation, and you know I read it on the weekend. I was like, oh, I really want to say something, but I can't. So there it is. It's offering variation to everybody. Coming up though, jewelry makers. So tell you what, we've got some absolute beauties, oh, amazing man. kits, inspiration from this gorgeous lady. We'll be back after this. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24-7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Hi everyone, Simon here. Uh, we know what time of the month it is, so I'm back on air on Monday the 28th, uh, and I'll be bringing you some of the lowest ever prices on Jewelry Maker. Uh, so as usual, this isn't clearance stock. Uh, we're looking at perfectly good stock, I've got no issues with it. Uh, I'm just really gonna treat you at the end of the month. So come and join me on the morning and the mid, I believe, on the Monday, uh, and get yourself some deals. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Time. I was thinking that. I was watching you the other day. Oh dear. Sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's a tazza. Mm. Are, are you all right then? Yeah, I'm all You're right. right. Yeah, yeah, last time a bit was... of a snuffle and a cough. I apologise now. You, you sound okay. Yeah. Not yeah. like when I have well, a cold. I was, I was really husky when I came in this morning. Yeah, you've got to talk for a little bit, haven't you? Yeah. Just to sort of Warm loosen up the. Oh. Loosen up the vocal cords. Um, well, I tell you what, this is a really traditional old school yeah. jewellery maker kits, aren't they? It is. It's it, you know, and it's great to do something a bit different. Yeah, absolutely. Fab to and do we it. were just discussing the fact that you know you've had conversations with people that are saying they're not really into the sea yeah. beading; they want the gemstones, and vice versa. You know, yeah. it kind of goes both ways. Um, well, this is definitely old school. This yeah. is definitely gemstones findings inspiration. Yeah. It's old school. Um, so, and I've got two, you've got two kits actually. I've got two kits, so I've done a bit from each kit. Um, I have, I've added a little bit of wire in. Oh, we'll let you on. And some head pins, that we'll sort of thing. Um, because you can use your. your, your um, oh, what that's the, lovely. It's just pretty. And I was with a friend while I was making these. Um, and she's like, I really need to have a go at making jewellery. So I said, well, next time you come over, we'll sit and we'll make stuff. Because this is a great starter kit as well. Because yeah. you can make some really, really good jewellery straight off. Yeah. You know? I was thinking the same, you know, if, you've, if, if, if you're just starting on a yeah. jewellery making journey, you've got big carrot weights, big, um, well, components, you know, that are an integral part, like your findings, they're an yeah. absolute integral part. So maybe just a little bit of threading material, that's probably all you're going to need to add to this, um, which you can get for like a couple of pounds really on our website um but these are genuine gemstones so yeah. you're looking at a really lovely is that a zebra jasper that's zebra i love the zebra and jasper me. and you've got those in two separate cuts on two separate kits so you've noticed that some were triangles and some were stars um teamed up with your rose quartz again two different cuts yeah. um you've got your silver plated findings pack you've got your gold plated findings pack and you've got little additional connectors in there as well um so i'm going to start with the triangles so that's this beautiful kit now look at those i mean even if you just yeah you could just restrand those yeah. with spaces um, absolutely and take you know imagine how much that would actually cost as yeah. a finished piece of jewelry and I, and I just love the shape of them. I mean, I was very tempted, but I, I thought, no, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to behave myself because I was very tempted to prong set one of those. Oh, I bet, yeah. And I'm like, no, no, no. Or, or you can cabochon wrap them. You, can, you could bezel set them with Why your Why did you suit. stop yourself? I'm intrigued. Because I wanted to keep it to the basics. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, I could have gone off and said, yeah, I've, I've done all this and blah, blah, blah. But I didn't. I wanted to keep it. This is a traditional old kit. Yeah. And I've added I've added a little bit um, to it with, with a little bit of uh, 0.4 wire. And, and that, oh no, and I made some jump rings. <laughs> that's okay. Like I said, these and, and are... that's all that, I've added. Add a little bit of your threading material. Yeah, and I, yeah. and I can class wire as that as well. Um, so you're looking at your zebra jasper triangles. Now these are, in terms of their size, 85 carats. So beautiful, beautiful. but all about the monochromes. And go right the way up to the 23 by 80 millimeters. 12 centimeter strand, gems of distinction strand, and they're big individual stones too, aren't they? Um, don't just want to give you that though, because you've got a selection here. 
I'm just looking for the carrot weight. 70 carats there of your lovely rose quartz. But you might notice um, that these are actually, um, if I take one out, they're double drilled. Hang on a sec. But they because you could use one of those in a slider straight away. Yes. I see I see little, see little I mean? pinky yeah. teas. Yeah, yeah. Little E.T. Little E.T. Yeah, little E.T.'s there. A little, a little they're eyes. gorgeous, aren't they? They're great. And that's all the trend at the moment. <gasps> yes. Massive, massive trend, these kind of faceted um, uh, jewel maker stones. You know, the ones that we've, we've been enjoying for, mm. for, for years, literally, I'm noticing so everywhere at the moment. Um, still not done, though, because you've also got these lovely <gasps> connectors. They're gorgeous, aren't Can they? Can we say? Cubic zirconia, gold-plated connectors. Um, so these are, oh, hang on a minute. These are gold-plated 925 sterling silver connectors. Um, yeah, really lovely on the back Stunning of the weekend. Out, Do you know what? I'm going to say something. Go on. I wouldn't use these with that findings pack. No, I, I, I wouldn't. Because mm. you're mixing your precious metals with your base metals. But it's a win-win situation because you're getting both, yes. aren't you? So it's not a negative. So all you'd have to do is, is swap, um, swap your findings... Yeah. for um, a gold-plated sterling silver. Yeah. So if you wanted to make the shepherd's dog. But do you know what? I looked at those as well and said, they'd make a great little ring. Yeah, just one. You could oh, have just a ring. Like a stack of style. Yeah. Really mm. lovely. Um, so you've got all of these components. So a very classic, old-school, traditional jewelry maker kit. That's something yeah. we've decided, we, we, we've mentioned a few times. You get your sort of your... your your gold-plated base metal findings pack, you're getting your rose quartz double drilled, you're getting your lovely uh, zebra jasper, and you're getting gold-plated sterling silver connectors there. Like I said, that's that's an extra bonus for me. You know, I'd personally be using that either with the with the gemstones only, um, or certainly separate to the findings pack, in my opinion. $24.95 only. Again, I'm actually thinking that's the price of maybe... Um, of your um, of your uh, of your actual zebra jasper. Now, can I just explain the image is wrong on our website? We are aware of it. We will we will change it. So don't worry. We'll realise that the the photograph is incorrect. Um, I think they got mixed up on their way over here. Yeah. Um, the actual yeah. Uh, they got mixed up in the process, in the journey, basically. <laughs> $24.95. And, and from these lovely triangular shapes, you've actually made some really gorgeous earrings and uh, yeah. long line necklaces. Love them with the earrings. But because of the connectors, you can get that long length. Mm. They're fab. And, it, that you know, you're coming into your roll neck sweaters and you want something nice oh, and definitely. long length. And I, and I always find when I wear something like a, a roll neck or a, a polar, polar sweater and stuff like that, I need something that will just come over my head because I forever forget to take to take the necklace off. I've broken so many necklaces or got stuck as I'm uh, trying to take yeah, the jumper yeah, off because yeah, yeah. they're so comfy and because they're not next to your skin, yeah, I forget you that I'm wearing them. It, yeah. So it's nice to have something long line that, yeah. that will actually just come off and then you go, oh, yeah, my it's necklace. It's a good look actually as well, like it a real neck with a nice long line Beautiful. necklace. It looks so elongate. lovely. It does elongate, yeah. absolutely. Draws your eye, uh, draws, apparently, I was reading this in a fashion article, it draws the eye down to so the waist. So that's what they used to wear, long line necklaces, um, particularly in the 1920s. Yeah, very, yeah. very slimming, apparently. Oh. There we go. There we go. Have there <laughs> yeah. Um, Emma just said the same. And I was like, oh, oh <laughs> all about the long line. Um, amazing light. Shall we move on to the next kit? Because you do get Love two. Look at that. I had loads, loads left over. I bought this strand, I think, when it first came to air. Yeah. Um, I love it. I just think it's, it's, it's a lovely casual... Um, gentle way of actually wearing your rose quartz. It is. So these are your tumbles, sorry. And it's, it's the drill hole's big enough you could put your stretchy through. Yeah, I think that's what I did with mine. Yeah. Just turn them into stretchy Just bracelets. Stretchy. They're great as well. Um, a lady who comes to, a friend of mine who comes to the B group, Rosario, she decorated a um, lampshade and she had them... With rose quartz? She had them, well, she did one with amethyst and then she did one with rose quartz. So she had them all hanging down. Absolutely amazing. How amazing. beautiful is that? Oh, stunning. And this strand, just, just hang on a second, because it feels like it's an extra long length. Hang on a minute. Yeah, you've actually got 40 centimetres yeah. here. 40 centimetres, but um, we actually guarantee the carrot weight. So in terms of your carrot weight, that's 300 carats. Yeah, I actually bought this strand of genuine rose quartz. They go up to 14 by 18 millimetres. Still not done because you've also got your zebra jasper in stars. I think this okay, kit's going to absolutely rock it out the door. So look at these. They're so beautiful. The they definition, the precision. 
They're gorgeous, aren't they? And again, the style, especially with it being a, a flat cut, I don't know what the proper cut name is, mm -hmm. but it's like a slice. Yeah. Um, so you get proper corners. Yeah. Very easy to prong set if you wanted to. So okay. if you were learning to do that, this sort of strand, all the, all the triangles, very, very easy. I know what I mean. They've got a 90, 90 yeah. degree, haven't they? So, so uh, you, you've just got to do that yeah. over the top yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah. You, yeah. you, once you've done that, you can be on the barest amount. You've held that gemstone. If there's a curve, I'm gonna, you know, you've got to judge where you put it so it can't slide out. Yeah, yeah. When it's flat, it's very easy it's to definite. do. Yeah. It's almost like you've got a perfect flat table. Still not done there because you get all of your findings back as well. So this is the silver plated yeah. base metal. And I don't know if these you can see eyes, these. Aren't they? Really beautiful, very contemporary connectors there, and you're going to pack of 10. Uh, pack of 10, again, they're silver plated as well, jewelry makers. So, um, big quantity, big amount of your findings from your toggles to your shepherd hooks to your jump rings. So, if you put the, um, the, the, the rings, these, yeah, the connectors into this, you could actually make a gemstone belt. Mm. I so don't know out. many people that wear gemstones around as a belt. I certainly don't. Oh, Adam, <laughs> Adam does. does yeah. Adam does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fair enough. It yeah. is Adam. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, rose quartz though, Adam. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Especially mm. with these lovely little connectors in between. Twenty-four ninety-five, everybody. Go on. The other thing with those little collectors, mm. your cerulean on them, <gasps> your resin on them. F colour. F colour on them. You can decorate those to the to hot fix. Hot fix on them. Glue. Yeah. Um, so you, polymer uh, clay. Polymer clay. You could pull the the um, shibori through the middle and have nice. like a cascade, or you. They're brilliantly. They're so versatile to use. Love it's it. Fabulous. Um, amazing, twenty four ninety five. Okie dokie. Going to leave that with you. So, Alison, what are, what are you going to demonstrate, my darling? Which one? Um, so, so because it's because it's a basics. I thought I'd just go back to basics, mm -hmm. and we'll do. Um, I'll show you how I did because I've I made my own jump rings because to go through the connectors, not the connectors, um, the yeah, the, the rose quartz connectors. Yeah, you want a, a you've got to have a, a certain size. Jump ring okay. to go through, or you've got to make a So those a bale. are the double faceted rose quartz you're so talking about. The double about faceted now. rose quartz. So I just wanted to show a how because do you know what? Even even you, you still get people saying the lady I was talking Tara. I'm going to name you Tara, um, and she was saying, "Well, how do you do that? How do you make a connector?" She's never done a wrap loop. Why you should she know assume. how to do it? Yeah, absolutely. Why should she know how to do it? So with the findings pack, we get. So I thought I'd show you Russell, Russell, Russell. How to do the wrap loop and how to how to make the connectors. So I made the connectors out of a bit of the wire that's coming up in the second kit yeah. because we had the gold wire, so it went with it. Um, and we'll do a we'll do a, a a thingy with one of these. Hang on, just I put everything ready and then I got rid of it. So and I still had all of these left all over. All those left yeah. over. It'll go a long way. Oh, they do go a long way. These are good, great on your Christmas tree as well. Had to say it. Just just a pair of these very simple drops as a pair of earrings. You can't go wrong, can you? So we're gonna pop we're gonna pop the jump ring in. So this is this is taking it right back to basics. But even now we still get people who say it don't know how to do it. So this is the way I do it. I pop my pliers in, I'm gonna bend it over, turn my pliers pli pliers, pliers 90 degrees. Fetch it back over. So you end up with a sort of mini shepherd hook design. You're going to pop your gemstone back in. Take it round. Now I keep my gem, my, my gemstone. Keep my pliers there to hold on to it. And I tend to do, depending on depending on what, two or three wraps. Well, these these with you, when you with your head pins, they're strong enough to just take a couple of wraps. Mm. And you get into doing it each time. You take it out so you get that nice loop. And then just with a pair of um, pl uh, snips, whether they're, whether they're flush cutters. Now, if they're flush cutters, you can get right in there and not leave a tail. But if you haven't got flush cutters, either with your round nose or a flat nose, you just want to tuck that end back in to make sure you've got nothing sticking out. Okay. And that, you know, pop that on a shepherd hook 
and you've got you've got a lovely pair of earrings Absolutely, with that. Absolutely, yeah. So they're a fiver. You've got to sell those for a fiver At for least, those for yeah. a pair of earrings. And in that strand, you've got so many earrings. Earrings are one of the best things if you're selling. Well, they're quick, aren't they? They're very quick to they, turn around. They're quick to do. Um, they're affordable to sell to, for everybody. Yeah. You know, everybody could afford a fiver for a And pair it's of also the ten, it tends to be the piece of jewellery that we change the yeah, most. Absolutely. Because, um, you know, because of the expense, I suppose, yeah. I suppose, you know, how affordable they can actually be. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. Right, so I'm going to just grab my baling pliers and the 0.8 wire. Would you mind just grabbing me... Oh, no, where are they? They're there. One of the connectors. One of those, yeah. Can I choose one? Yeah. So... I wanted to make some connectors because not everything you get in the kit. So you could make these if you didn't have them. You could make these out of a jump, out of a, a head pin. Just one. Yeah, yeah. We only want one. So all, what I'm going to do is what you need to do is you're looking at that depth of this. We're look, we're looking at the depth to be able to see and also the distance. If I turn this over that way as well, the distance of the hole to the to the end. Okay. So you've got to consider that when you're making some sort of connector. Right. You could use a triangular connector for it. Yeah. Right. Or oval. Or an oval. But when you want, if you so, if you want to make a jump ring, it's got to a have the curve that will cope with that. Because if it's a tight curve, that drill hole is straight and it's got to go that depth. So you've got to have something that will cope. They're a very generous drill hole, so you don't have to worry too much. You've got wiggle room in there, but you've also got to have it big enough to come over the top. So I'm going to look at and roughly measure. It should be okay on this size. So I'm just going to whiz this around. And as I'm going, you can see I'm, I'm using my thumb just to, and finger just to hold that in place. Whiz them around and you've made yourself a little coil. I always tend to finish just past the first one. Now, you can saw these for the perfect finish you want to saw them. If you've got flush cutters and you cut it right at the end of your flush cutters, you get almost an almost perfect um, finish. So if you can make them yourself if you, you know. Absolutely. So if you wanted to use this with antique bronze wire, mm -hmm. you know, and you haven't got any findings, it's very rare you see them, then, then just make, make some. Yeah, absolutely. Then I'm going to push it open. Now, I've opened this quite a, a lot because it's such a big space. And you can see that this is right at the limit of where, can you just see, if I, if I point that at Adam, deliberately just when he's got his cup of tea, can you see how that's just coming out of the... Of the <laughs> Sorry, Adam. <laughs> um, <laughs> but if I put it the other side, so it would work. You want it so it'll fit through there. So that's the difference between the depth of the two sides. Okay. It's gone completely through there. It barely, but it will still work through there. So for this side... I need to close that and pop the other end into that hole because it's not going to come all the way. So there'll be a slight gap in there. Yeah, because they're not, a, you know, they're not a um, how do I, a calibrated size, are they? No. You know, they've got those irregular shapes. They're all shapes. individual. Yeah, yeah, yeah which, I, which I like. I like that about them. But that's where your jump ring almost becomes like a pinch bale. Mm -hmm. so, so it will still work and that will hold and still have the strength. But if, if you do it on that side, it was, it was, it's this depth here, yeah. which will allow it to go all the way yeah. around. So those are just a couple of things when you're looking at um, a slightly different shape of gemstone. Mm. I mean, obviously, if you're using um, beading thread, you just pop your beading thread and put your, put your crimp bead on. That's mm -hmm. fine. If you're using seed beads, so you're using bead, uh, um, wildfire or fire line, then again, that's fine. Yeah. But, but if you're going to use your wire and you want a bigger wire, then that's how you can do it. Alternatively, you can do a wrap loop like we did before. So there are just a couple of ways you can, you can enhance this, this kit with, with what you've got in your stash at home. Beautiful. Um, an ideal, thank you, Alison, an ideal um, kit, starter yeah. kit, as we've said. You know, great. So give it a go. Even if you're advanced, you know, you've yep. got some really exceptional cuts there. I mean, those stars and triangles, I think, are amazing. Who was it on the Wall of Fame? You know, use these with your seed beading. They're fabulous Lovely. with your seed beading. Yeah, and very on trend yeah. as well. Hello to you. Oh, Mark. Hi, Hi Mark. Good morning, everybody. Um, within this message is the world's biggest hug for oh, Alison. Thinking you. of you. Oh, bless yeah, I know we haven't caught up for ages. I think we've got a show coming up where we um, we clash, I think, Mark. I was going to say, where's my hug? Oh, you're tomorrow. I'm here tomorrow, Mark. I'll Yay. see you tomorrow. I mean, no <laughs> hug for me. 
Oh. Um, and Adam. Look, Mark, I'm not Aww. being funny, but look, poor Adam. But he'll see all you tomorrow. Thank you anyway, Mark. Thank you. Much love. I was thinking I was thinking of you the other day. I thought, I haven't you seen Mark him. for ages. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we, I'm seeing I'm seeing Mark tomorrow and then Halloween. <gasps> poor Adam, Emma. Oh, we'll look, give you a mass hug, out, Adam. Poor Adam. Look, he's waiting oh, for your hug, I'm Mark. Gone. I'm gone. He, he wants he wants a hard oh. hug. Uh, oh, <laughs> just <laughs> disconnected uh, talk back. Oh. Yay! Hugs all round. Yeah! I'll plug myself back in. Yeah, now. you've got to plug yourself back in now, haven't you? Right then, so what else have we got coming your way, jewellery makers? We have got some amazing <laughs> sapphire. Let me just give you a sneaky <gasps> peek at this. Oh, we man. had this same strand Sorry. in Ruby, actually, last week, um, and it Love flew that. out the door. Yeah, it's the, sh it's the direction again, yeah. isn't it, of that drill hole? So that's coming up in about 10 minutes' time. But right now... Let's bring you a dove a dove a a dove a I was just saying to Lucy, I literally was doing a bit of sorting out. I had like, I had to because my, my workspace was like this. I could, and I just put that, de that, that piece away. Loved making that I was going piece. To say, this, is, this is you. Yeah, yeah. This is, a, this is an Alison DVD and it's layering weaves. Um, and it, oh gosh, I mean, beautiful. Uh, weaving is something that definitely all wire workers will get into, and it just creates the texture and the design. Um, quite often, you know, you can just just start weaving, and then you know, it develops, doesn't it? It develops all on its own. Now, Absolutely. But there's different types of weave as well. Yeah. Um, so if I turn it around, this is approximately... I didn't film this with you, so... Um, sorry about to sound an hour. Late, about an hour. Um, and then each of the projects sort of broken down. Well, they're not necessarily projects. They're more techniques, aren't they? So you, you work towards this finished project, but it's about technique, this okay. DV. Very much yeah. about learning the techniques. So as you can see, you've got your base weave... Well, introduction. Uh, where you talk about what you need. Your base weaves... Suit, what's that? I can't, suitable layering, layering. weaves. So some, le some weaves you want will work well. Some, we some weaves, you can, there's no law against you using any weave, but some okay. look better than others when yeah. you layer them. Positioning layers. Yeah, so how do you get your layers into and how okay. do they fit together? And Okay, I'm going to have to turn that around because I can't quite read that from there. Um, adding embellishment. So, yeah, yeah. fairly speaks for itself. Incorporating gemstones and also the finishing touches. So when you're adding your embellishment, now I, I, it kind of crosses over to both. So I often say about adding in smaller gemstones. Mm. Um, so this is peridot running through here. Oh, lovely. There's a line of peridot. We had some beautiful seed pearls at the weekend. Yes, I perfect saw that. Perfect for doing this sort of thing. Your seed beads, again, perfect for doing this. It's an accent. So you wouldn't look at that and go, oh, yeah, there's a, there's a, a road of gemstones. It incorporates it into so your your um oh there you go perfect Strands like this oh perfect these are absolutely perfect for doing this with yeah I that's red tiger's eye and that's labradorite these these are absolutely perfect for doing your accenting pieces well I tell you what we'll bring you those strands brilliant we'll bring you those strands on the back of this DVD check it out though when was this launched. Was it last year or was it last year? So it's, uh, it's quite recent it earlier, though, isn't it? Earlier this year. Was and it, it can be year? it can be Swarovski, sea beads, yeah. gemstones, yeah. any of the above. But it's it's learning whilst obviously the um, you get a project at the end of it, but it, it, it's. It's that it's technique. Techniques. So you can use the techniques and go away and make rings, bracelets, or whatever. You don't yeah. have to make the, this, but it, it, it's just using that as a as a, a vehicle to teach you technique. Yeah, I like that. See what I mean? Yeah. So you don't have to go. Well, I don't want to make that. You don't have to make that. No, fair it's enough. not a project. So you know, like I do the sculpture DVDs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is about technique. It's about yeah. That's great. So okay, oh, let's this. bring you the red tiger's eye. So these are your microfaceted. It will also look lovely with the, some of the strands that we've got coming oh, up. Oh yeah. Have you seen our deal of the day? The Amazon night. I have. So so beautiful. Very limited. <gasps> I wish we had That's more. Um, yeah, I just heard the conversation. Uh, Wayne was like, "Oh, we've only got fifty-one <gasps> of our deal of the day." Yeah, oh. fifty-one. Um, so, lovely red tiger's eye in your exquisite micro-fasted rounds. Two mil. Um, lovely little little additional adornments, aren't they? Little mm. embellishments. And they are. And um, um, Red tiger's eye um, has always been my favourite. 
I love red tiger's eye. I've only found one strand that betters red tiger's eye for me, mm -hmm. and that was a natural blue tiger's eye I had in oh, okay. the kit. Wow, blew me away. Um, but the red tiger's eye, I love it. And it's great. It's unisex. It's a lovely strand to use. You still get that... Um, Chatoyancy with it. Absolutely. Even though they're smaller yeah. in size, you're still you're not you're not substituting that. And a high luster as well. Oh, absolutely beautiful luster. I used this in a piece of um a big heavily woven piece mm. um, that I did in bare copper and actually with some blue blue oh, lace lovely. agate. Yeah. Um, and I used those as the accents. Brilliant. Absolutely but, beautiful. And perfect for this time of year, of course, yeah, where you've got autumnal. your warm colours. Um well, five ninety five, genuine red tiger's eyes, very fashionable gemstone at the moment. It's everywhere it and all different colours. Uh five carats you're actually getting here. Um so yeah, use this alongside the DVD that you have just seen. So um for those of you that want to get maybe get into wire work or develop your wire working skills, get Alison's DVD, couldn't recommend her even more highly. Um and then um and then obviously your your gemstones of any size is it they don't have to be teeny weeny ones no, no, but no, no, you know, they're just pointing out that it, they all work these work as accents but they also make beautiful little stacker bracelets yeah, like stacker that, rings they're great with your this size is great with your seed beads as well yeah they really well they're 11 well. aren't yeah. they yeah yeah they're great to an 11 -o. right this is lovely labradorite Love but that. if you notice there's a slight difference because labradorite is not just about that dark dark gray body color you can also get Labradorite in a really lovely fresh green. Mm. What surprised me when I first had a strand like this of labradorite, yeah, was was the fact I thought, oh, we're going to lose the labradorescence. But you don't. No, you don't. I like uh, it. It's um, it's almost like little flashes because yes. because it's it's microfaceted rather than being a big slab full of, of and you get lots of little pad flashes likes i love those it those big no, sizes no. do they you know um you know if you are somebody that likes big statement chunky jewelry then labradorite is tends to be a gemstone that you yeah, see in big, in, in big pieces um but not everybody does some people prefer the more sort of petite designs 595 i agree with you you're not substituting your no. uh, labradorescence at all um you actually get uh, just a really unique uh unique color but it is simon's pick even though yeah. simon isn't actually here today he's full up with lurgy Aww. bless him get well soon. oh man flu man flu but he has actually sent me the list of prices that he actually he, he I, I think he did it on the friday um but wayne says you know whilst the cat's away the mice might well play oh sylvia sorry just remembered what you messaged in them. Sylvia's been chasing a mouse. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Poor Sylvia. Um, Simon's deal. $4.95. Wayne and Elle's price, though. Nothing to do with me. Simon, just want to say, it's nothing to do with me. No, it is, a, it is absolutely all That's on brilliant. Wayne and my shoulders. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we kind of said we kind of said to Marie, you know, if at any point you can pop in and do like a Marie's price, that would be nice. If not, then literally Wayne, uh, Wayne, Adam, and I are gonna just take the reins, basically. Well, hey. And who knows what will happen? We're all right, Em. <laughs> no, you just said you didn't want ownership. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll stand with can the team. Can we do an Alison's I'll, price? I'll oh yeah. And Emma and Lucy, come on. We'll have team price. Team prices. Emma says she plays by the rules. It's not true. <gasps> it's totally not true. She doesn't. I love that. She doesn't as well. She made a very good morticia over the weekend, I have to say. Oh, you did? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Was it really not annoying, the wig? Yeah. I like the facial expressions on the two of you. Yes. Uh, moving on. You had to be grumpy all night, basically. Oh, she's not grumpy. No, Emma's not. No, she's being no, in almost, character. That's what she just Tisha. said. She's not grumpy. Isn't she? No. I thought she what was. Tisha I, thought they, I thought they were all grumpy. No. Uh, you think Ed, Emma's Gomez, grumpy? Gomez isn't, at the moment. Gomez isn't um, <laughs> Not really. Gomez. No, you're right. Yeah. And Cousin It. Thing. Thing, thing. Cousin It's the one with the yeah. hair. I, I relate to Cousin It when I let Yeah, I'm like that in the morning. I'm like that. <laughs> um, okay, who wants a big bundle of wire? So perfect with the DVD. Yes. Amazing alongside the DVD. You have got here 10 metres of your one mil, so your structural wire. Then you have 100 metres of your 0.25 and also uh, 10 metres of your 0.4 
all of these, great opportunity for you to give it a little bit of a, you know, dip your toe in a sort of wire weaving genre. Um, let's bring it to you an introductory price tag. I think we should put this on Alison. So Alison, <laughs> um, come on. <clears throat> Come on, Alison, you name your price. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, nobody's here. Well, Simon's off. You see, you see, that's a really, really good price. It is. It's uh, a really good price. When we consider the price that Y used to be as well. But this is me. Go on, Alison. I'm go all on, about be brave. having go on. a bargain. Go on. And, and I'd like that to go lower, please. Yeah, how Going low? down. Come on, going down. How low, Alison? Go on. So, pick a so, price, so, pick a price. Just say it, go on. Bold. Let, let's let's knock. Can we not can we knock the postage off? Oh no. What 395? Oh! You did, well that's what the postage is, Alison. I forgot, I forgot the postage changed. Oh no, <laughs> wait, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what did you think? Oh, it's 295. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it went up about a year oh, ago, no. wasn't it? Something like that. Old, First time in nine years, I need to point off? out. Can we knock the old postage off? Old postage. I'm so being so cheap. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can I say? Well, it was nice knowing you, and it was nice working with you. No, I like really... it. I like it. I like it. If they turn us off, then we'll all stand together. We all stand, stand together. together. Yeah, no, not, not Adam. No, come on, let's do it. We're all going to be brave. Simon's not here. He's got the lurgy. Bless him. Bless him. So don't worry, Simon. We're in safe hands. The entire show is in completely safe hands. Can I say something? Can yeah, I, I don't know if we can buy this bundle at that price, by the way, but yeah. <laughs> so, so tomorrow, mm. I'm back in, yep. but I'm not on a show. Right. So we're filming. Yeah. This bundle will be perfect for what we're filming. There we go. Heads up. Heads up. Heads up, people. Stock Hi, up. Tracy, Hertrude, Margaret, Lynn, Sue. Hello to you, Jax, Rosie. New customers, wonderful. Check out those baskets, though, because you still only pay that one postage and packaging that basically Alison has given back to you. Um, yeah, basically. I don't know. But, but to be honest, um, today's kind of show isn't... We, we have it on a regular basis where we almost do um, clearance, beyond clearance, if you like. Mm. Simon's picks, or normally he'll... He, he's, he's closely... You know, looked at all the products, etc. The lineup, so he'll set the price that he can take it to absolute rock bottom. And then, but what basically happens is he gets all the praise for it. Then, yeah, he gets all the praise for these amazing reduced prices. <laughs> well, we're going to take that off you today, Simon. We're getting all the credit, and we're going to probably go lower than what you set. There you go. Hey ho. You buy and that. there ain't nothing you can do about it <laughs> <laughs> because you're off. <laughs> Sorry. That's right. You cough, cough, cough. Right, moving on to number five. Let's do another bundle. <coughs> Sorry. That's all right, lovely. <coughs> That's all right. When you got a cough, you got, you a, got cough. a cough. Sorry, we're good. Now, Alison, did you know that there was going to be bundles in the different oh, colours no. when you set that price? Probably not, did you? But the silver, to be fair, the silver's usually more expensive. It yeah. should be more expensive. Yeah, because it's the most popular colour, isn't it? So it should be more expensive, absolutely. But you've kind of done it now, haven't you? You've done it. You've done it. Oops. <laughs> As, did Mar Marie did go back, didn't she? Has, has Marie gone? Marie gone home? <laughs> oh, she's not. I've got to oh, see, she came got in to see Marie after. Sorry, Marie. No, it's fine. <laughs> Why are we apologising? Simon would have been doing it. It's fab. Simon would have done all this. All right, we might have been a little bit extra cheeky, but be bold, people. Don't apologise. It's all for you guys. So what? I haven't told you what you're getting. 10 metres of your 1 mil, 100 metres of your 0.25, and 10 metres of your 0.4. And even though, you know, like a bulk wire order, assuming you're going to get the previous bundle yeah. as well, you still only pay that one postage and packaging. Which we've already taken off the Which price. Which you've already taken off the price tag anyway. <laughs> I remember when that on its own was nine ninety five. Yeah. I remember when that on its own was more than what's on your well, screen yeah, right now. Yeah. That ten metres of point four. I remember that being well 
It wouldn't even be six ninety five, would it? Or was it just six ninety five? Might have been just six ninety five. Just six for the ten meters. For the ten meters, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I remember when you couldn't buy it for love and money because it wasn't it. in a kit because so we used right. to get it and it used to disappear. Well, we weren't like, allowed to allocate no, it to bundles. No. It was always solely for kits. Would well, it come in um, and go out? Yeah. Yeah. Put well, come here, my wife. See, I love champagne gold. Um, it's my favourite colour actually of all the wires. Oh, oh, I just think it looks. It just looks so expensive, doesn't it? It does. It's lovely. I love the tone of it. You can't, can't do it on, do it on this, this one. one. Why? Same bundle, 10 metres of your 0.4, 10 metres of your 1 mil, and 100 metres of your 0.25. Wayne, I was going to say, open, don't, open. don't, don't even, I think, I, I, I need to say to you, don't even think about it, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Don't don't hesitate. <laughs> so, just do it. So if Wayne's the Bashasaurus, yeah. what does that make me? <laughs> oh. Bull in the China shop, you know, straight Oh, in. oh. Uh, that makes you the Ooh. Trashosaurus. Trashosaurus. <laughs> All about the trash me. <laughs> no, I meant the price. <laughs> I meant the price. It's okay, right, I okay, love you no, well. no, 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 hang on. I, I, yeah, you're right. That's not a very complimentary one. Let me start again. Bashasaurus, the. As a taz of the price basher. As a taz of the price basher. That's, that's, that's good. As a taz of price basher. That's good. Well done. Well done. All of a sudden, these t shirts that are going to another level, though. Yeah. As a taz of the price that's basher. basher. Very good. That's much better than mine. <laughs> much, much better than Thank mine. you, Adam. Yeah. I'll be Trashosaurus. I don't mind being Trashosaurus. <laughs> Six pounds only, everybody. Oh, naughty, naughty, naughty. But we're not thinking about it. No, we're not. We're just doing it. <laughs> just, just do it doing while it. you just can, because it ain't going to get get to there again. <laughs> yeah. What number? Ten. Can the... You can't trash that. This <gasps> One of the rarest wow. varieties of garnet. I've got this. It's beautiful. I, I've, I've bought it too. Um, this is a, a very rare variety of garnet that literally morphs under differing light conditions. So, and uh, one lighting, you'll see this really lovely Stunning cognac color. diamond appearance. And then under a different lighting condition, you can either get like a, a kiwi green or you can get some really lovely warm colours too. Um, this Look is, yeah. That. I mean, this is, if you love your um, gemstones like your Turkish diaspora, your Alexandrite, you'll definitely love colour change garnets. And it's completely and utterly natural. I mean, look at that beautifully calibrated stone. I was looking last night just on, you know, the auction sites and I was looking at cut stones, yeah. loose cut stones. And I actually found one, one um, what do you call them? Seller? Yeah. yeah. Seller. Uh, that was selling uh, um, Zavarite garnet and at the price, who are you going to call? Price Busters! Price Busters! Price Busters! <laughs> Steve is saying, Tarry the Terminator. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'll be back, hopefully. What does he say? <laughs> what, what's he saying in Terminator? I'll be back. I'll be back. Hopefully. Because I was his predator when he goes, get to the jobber, isn't it? Get to the jobber. Oh, I was thinking, hasta, hasta la vista, vista, baby. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're not trashing this. Good old Arnie. I love Arnie. I think he's amazing. What? Oh, Schwarzenegger, twenty nine ninety five. Yeah, going back to so yeah, I was pricing up Zavarite garnets and, and and I had my kind of doubts as well, thinking, well, is it a genuine yeah. Zavarite garnet? And the prices, the one I was looking at was actually weirdly enough, it was seventy points, um, but there were some which were like fifteen, etc. And they were all triple figure prices, loose yeah. stones too. Um, this you can get your certificate of authenticity. We're under thirty pounds for a genuine color change garnet. You've got the peace of mind, the fact that you're sourcing from us, so you know that it is the real deal look at that brilliance beautiful brilliance the and then color. under differing light conditions you'll see it morph from this wonderful rich um almost like a cognac color um to that lovely zesty lime green 29.95 moving on beautiful. well done beautiful number oh nine oh <gasps> i love Amalaz. this was on my list 
to Marie. More Amalite, please. Hang on, I've got to try and open it because, here we go, I've got it. Just because it's not, there we are. It wasn't central. So Amalite is, a, um, is an organic gemstone. It comes from a living organism that once lived millions of years ago. Um, it was kind of like a, like, a, like a snail creature that lived underwater. Um, and in one location on this planet, and it's North wow. America bordering Canada, um, Amalite is actually found in sort of one lake area um, where, I don't know whether it was the minerals in particular, but it's geologically something happened that actually sort of um, contained um, the um, Ammonite creatures. Um, and then the sort of rich minerals that were there um, have preserved the shells almost perfectly. However, and I can't remember exactly, isn't it something like one in a thousand actually has got gem quality like yeah. this? Um, something like that. Um, but yeah, the more colours that you actually see, the more uh, the more prized. You've got reds, greens, yeah. blues. So that would be classed as a um, an A pl a double plus, isn't it? Yeah, when you see up. three colours. That's stunning. Twenty four ninety five. Anybody that's done any cruises, seen the prices of Amalites on cruise ships? Yeah. Really dear. Who wants it under fifteen pounds? Who's who's it? Who's owning this price tag? Well, this is you. Sue. Sue wants that price tag. Dorothy. Oh, 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 I see what you're doing, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> I was wondering who he's, actually... He's SP, he, he's, he's using his ESP. I was wondering who, who's Dorothy? I was thinking that was a new member of the JM team then. It's like, oh, who's giving this prize then? Um, here we go. Well, he's, Wayne's putting it on you, folks. Not on you. I'm That's sorry. three quarters of a carat of beautiful amylite. Technically, amylite is done in measurements because it is a one... Uh, um, it's an... It's a, an organic gemstone. Oh, for goodness what? sake. What? Never have I brought amylite at that price tag. Stunning. And again, really easy to use because of the shape. So easy to set into things. Okay. That's absolutely gorgeous. With your gallery wire. Yeah. Pop your gallery wire around that. And, and it was always amazing. a gemstone that was in gold. I'm right in saying that. You know, of the showcases that we yeah. used to do in the past, guys, it was always in gold, wasn't it? It was never in silver. Am I right? Beautiful. I think, I think that alongside like your um, imperial topaz yeah. and there were certain gemstones, your, your Turkish diaspora, they were never set in silver. It was always in gold. Look at that. Totally Stunning, natural. If this is your first amylite, it's a very exciting gemstone. Yeah, and it literally bargain. looks like a, oh, it wants, it's, it's a relation to the squid family. Oh, is it? Mm. And you see, with mm. those prices, I'm sorry, a, a, I, I think it was about four pound, four times that when I bought mine, yeah. my first piece. Um, and it will run you, out. You could afford to get two of those. What an amazing pair of earrings they'd make. Oh, perfect. And this How will stunning. deplete this gemstone. It's yeah. only found in that one location that is North America. And um, just as well, for those of you that are uh, very conscious as well, rightfully so as well, we all should be conscious um, about sort of the environment mm. and our planet, but um, they actually really, really preserve. In fact, they put the, 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 the environment... They preserve it, and when, after they've done the um, actual mining, they plant more trees, yeah. if that makes sense, so they, they put it back into a much better state. Yeah. So um, so they're actually doing really great things for the environment too. So that's you, that's peace of mind, I think, when you're sourcing gemstones like this, not only are you getting some amazing rare artifacts of Mother Nature, you're actually knowing that the, the, you know, the actual environment itself is being looked after. Right, moving on. Can't believe Ooh. you did that. Love this. Is this one of your favourite DVDs? It's a dragon, isn't it? Like you do me. love dragons. I like my dragons. So, um, weren't we with you when you filmed this? Um, I feel like I was so. as well. I'm trying to think now. Yeah, I think I think we were yeah. we were with you. Loved this. I think. I can't remember. Or or we've maybe just all watched it. <laughs> Uh, so this is the I Chinese dragon and it's such beautiful mm. footage so and you know again you can customize it can't you oh, absolutely absolutely um, you can you can you can just do the head as a as a pair of earrings or something oh yeah you can you can you can use the weaves as bracelets you could wrap it around your wrist and have it sort of or like a cup yeah 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 
That would be I've, lovely. I've done that. So, yeah, you, you and the techniques, like the, the feathering for the tail. A brooch, Adam says. Oh, nice. Yeah, it would yeah. make a lovely brooch. Nice brooch. Yeah. Nice brooch. Oh, Hips. how... I was just thinking, round your... Yes. Round your... You need to make something and send it to Daenerys, you know. <laughs> you need to send it to Daenerys. Um, wow. Amazing. Right then, are you ready for a star by? Uh, none other than beautiful, beautiful Sapphire. Now, we had this strand launched um, last week, it was actually. I think it might well have been on the Tuesday of last week. Um, and it's the positioning of the drill holes which make it such a sort of memorable strand. We had it in the ruby, and now we're bringing it to you as your launch in the Sapphire. So two relation gemstones, really. So beautiful. And also an affordable price tag, Genuine Sapphire. Star by. Alison, look at that. I, this is absolutely stunning. The way it sits on your skin, yeah. because it's that, um, I'm going to say a flatter oval. It is. It's Does hard to describe. Sense? But you're right. It's 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 the shape, but also the drill sits, hole. Yeah, and the drill hole goes perfect for a ring. Yeah. Um, because I like it going long ways down my finger rather than across. Yeah. So this is perfect, and you can use that drill hole. Um, perfect for a bracelet. How beautiful is that? Well, you could make a tennis bracelet, a mm. ring, a pair of earrings at the entire yeah. strand. Clearly gems distinction, totally mm. natural Madagascan sapphire wow. with that gorgeous graduation as well. I mean, how stunning is that? Um, okay. You've got that really lovely deep cashmere blue. Um, it, was it was the first colour that was discovered of sapphire blue um, and is still one of the rarest as well. Oh, was it one of the rarest? One of, yeah. But it's... Probably one of the most, the most well known. Cause... Certainly, yeah, iconic, and I think that's probably d down to sort of very um, historical designs. You know, obviously the royal engagement ring, Elizabeth Taylor's wonderful collection mm. as well. Um, so right now we're looking at just over a pound per carat for genuine Ridiculous. Madagascar blue sapphire. Um, it's like like you said, it's the positioning, it's that mm. lovely graduation. You know, because sometimes you can see all oval strands, and please don't think I'm being derogatory. I do love these strands as well, but they're not quite. The graduation isn't quite as linear for want of a better description um but these are beautifully graduated yeah, yeah. it's yeah I, i'm with you because because you get you're getting a very smooth graduation yeah. it's not stepped and no it's, it's just you, you know it, it's the sort of graduation if you look at a small section it doesn't look like it's going smaller no until you then put the end towards the middle and you're like oh yeah so it yeah. has it's so or so beautifully done. Look at this star price. Oh my goodness. We did the same on the ruby strand and it was like, what? For 75 carats. Is that less than a that's less is that less than 50p? Yeah. A carat. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh for goodness sake. For genuine natural sapphire. For goodness sake. Would you like me to count them? Yeah, no problem. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33. 33, so that's less. That's, that's working out, what, just, just over a pound. a pound each per sapphire. Genuine sapphire. So, so one on a ring for a solitaire mm. is a pound for the, let, let's, let's. Let's call it a pound because it's only a smidge Oops. over yeah. for that. Some sterling silver wire, which I know we've done, we can get it for less than 20. So add it all together, you're paying less than 20 pound for... Genuine sapphire. I'm just trying... How many did you say? 30. So on average, two carats per sapphire. Yeah, which is incredible. A two, two carat so solitaire sterling silver ring for less than 20 pounds. Amazing. Wow. If you do craft fairs and things like that, get your, get, get your certificate of authenticity and then then literally you could photocopy it. Obviously, you're going to have yeah. to amend the carrot weight um, and the sizes. But, yeah, perfect. Look at that for a trilogy. Oh, nice. Can you imagine Stunning. that in a trilogy ring? And that's, and that's still going to be under £20 because yeah. you've only got three and you're going to take less wire. Wow, that would look amazing, wouldn't and it? And so easy to do because yeah. you've got that central drill hole there. 
$34.95 brand new premier. I only had 67 of these. Um, again, like all well, like many gemstones, you can get the you can get the clarity, you can get the transparencies, but sometimes really beautiful to get them with those um, internal character yeah. characteristics. Any gemologist would actually prefer that to be truthful because it actually tells them where a the location. That's often how they find the history and the origin mm -hmm. of the gems itself. Moving on. Love that. I'm that one come off. If you can have that one. I'm having that one. I don't blame you. Who wants some flat nose? <laughs> this is a sentence, isn't it? <laughs> you look at the tops of those, my favourite prong setting pliers. They've got that beautiful fine top that you can use to prong set. Look at that precision. Yeah. So, so if we take a general one. See how thick the see the, the depth of the plier itself against hang on, let me come away from L. There you go. Nothing personal L. That's okay. But you see the difference at the actual top of the, the pliers, how one's three times, four times as thick as the other. Yeah. These pliers are brilliant if you want to do any prong setting, if you want to get nice sharp bends in your wire work. You can see they're, they're really for, quality made, yeah, can't you? Because yeah. every single Every single joint, for better, want yeah. of a better description, every single line mm. is just beautifully um, engineered, I yeah. suppose. Um, so you use your flat nose pliers. You can use them for chain mail. Chain mail, um, use them for your general wire work. Use, I use the flat nose pliers for opening jump rings. Yeah. Um, in your wire work, you're going to use it so much. You can use it to squidge your crimps. Yeah. If oh, you yeah, want good to, for squid. Uh, good. If you want to flat squidge yeah. them. Yeah, good for uh, crimp squidging, actually. How, how much I, did I, they go for? How much? 8 95 Wow, 95. brilliant. Um, amazing. Right, should we stick with the tools? I have about three pairs. No, I have three pairs upstairs. I've got about five pairs on them. Do you have to, mind you, I'm contemplating, you know, you know that supermarket that was going to do, like, the big sale on the Hoover that never materialised? Right. Yeah, I've so nearly got up and went because um, I think carrying a hoover up and down stairs is pretty dangerous myself. The amount of times that I've almost come a cropper. So That's I was actually thinking of, get, like, if it's that price, then I might get one to go upstairs. Yeah, so you do the same with your tools. There you go. It makes sense rather than carrying them back and forth. <laughs> um, in the end, I didn't get one. Oh, massively, and they all, they've all done it. Yeah, they've all done it. Um, so this is your lovely round nose pliers. So you use these for your wrap loops. Yeah. yeah. For your jump rings. Wrap loops, jump rings. Putting a curve in, you, you, can, you can make individual jump rings quite easily anywhere along it. Um, for just getting a curve in something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, absolutely. And they're spring-loaded. I mean, I'm literally yeah. holding it between two, well, thumb and a finger, basically. And look at that. There's no no effort that goes into this at all. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to constantly prise them open, no. which would cause fatigue, won't it, in it the hands? And they've also got Comfort. a bit of a, yeah. Comfort so Because so, if you've got the ones, the my old ones, um, which I've somehow left at home, um, I've got just the, the plain plastic handle. Mm. So you if you're doing points? a lot, yeah, I, I get it. Because I do a lot of wire work. So just by there is where it gets I me. I bet. You know, when you pick up a paintbrush to do, to do, you know, I don't know, paint a wall or something like that, you do. You get that yeah. fatigue in your hand, don't you? So quality tools is, is really important. Yeah, absolutely. Um, to, make, to, you know, to, to, to help with the enjoyment, you know, yeah. and you should, this is a hobby, you should be enjoying it. Moving on. Oh, moonstone <gasps> coins. Love co your faceted coins as well. Love Are you going to do a little bit of a, um, a deal? <gasps> it's not going to be a Simon's deal, though. Look at that. Hmm. Isn't that stunning, that one there? Yeah, beautiful. <gasps> look, at the, look at the one opposite it, the sparkle in the one opposite it. Wow. That's our should be price. There's 121 of these, so it's actually quite a big quantity of them. They are beautiful, aren't they? I'll say it again. I'm, I prefer Moonstone with a body colour. Yeah? Yeah. I do, because you actually almost appear, uh, you can actually see all of that shiller, um, like you would do with your darker pearl, yeah. uh, opals rather. You can actually see the play of colour there. Right, I tell you what, you can decide this, jewellery makers. So there's a massive quantity in this auction. So if you want this, the more of you are there, and I guess the lower... 
the, that Wayne will go oh. um, for a hundred carats of your lovely peach moonstone. So there we go. You decide. We're going to put a clock onto your screen. And no pressure, Emma. I can't go any higher. <laughs> Clock on your screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't find the clock. Oh. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. I could, I could do a clock for Emma's you. Emma's lost it. <laughs> Emma's lost the clock. Okay. Well, should we just do a virtual one then? Should we do a pretend one? Like countdown. Should we do one of those? Is that how it goes? Yeah, no, we actually need a clock. We do. I haven't got my phone. I'll watch. Okay. So, 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 and it comes up to the line. Basically, start dialing in now. You've got 60 seconds. From now, there we go. Literally. Countdown. Go, Alison. 55. Okay. The more of you that are on the website, um, with any baskets? 50. 50. The more of you that picked up the phone, the lower the price will actually be. So 45. you are deciding this one, putting it back to you. This is... 40. This is a big quantity auction. We haven't got our clock. We don't know where the 35. clock's gone. 35 seconds. So we're literally seconds. using the clock on the wall right now to do the countdown, the introduction to this, uh, to this price tag. Oh. Oh, oh, we found it. 20. Have we got to Catch start up, again? Up, Come on, em. You need to fast forward it now, don't you? Okay, let's just do 30 seconds, shall we? Yeah, okay. Boo, 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 boo. That was me trying to do a countdown. Sorry. Sorry, Alison. Love you, Al. Love you. Boo, boo, Honestly, I tell you what, state of the art this is. You were saying? I was going to say, this, this strand, this style, I've got... Okay. I've got this in the Peach Moonstone, the Labradorite, mm. and the Spinel. Oh, nice. My favourite, favourite style of strands. Makes beautiful bracelets, mm. beautiful earrings... Beautiful um, punctuations for then having a tassel below. Oh, lovely. Um, but they are the, the, the best strand for prong setting. And this is everywhere. You know, if you go yeah. to my favourite, one of my favourite designers, MV, it's all yeah. about little faceted stones, literally. Yeah. Um, just one. And, the, and, and I think they've got the meaning th different things like courage, strength, those yeah, kind of things. Yeah. Um, and you'd kind of wear it like a, like, like a, like a charm style necklace. Really lovely. It's all about stones that we have been bringing our jewelry maker customers for years, Absolutely. literally years. Um, and I love that. But it, it it's, and it's wonderful, and Marie mentioned this on Thursday, that, you know, lots of the other trends are sort of leaning towards sort of your jewellery maker style quite a lot, but that does have its complications as well in terms of the yeah. actual buying. Are we going to be able to bring it to you at £14.95? <laughs> no. When probably lots of the big designers are actually aiming for that price tag too. Well, no, they won't be in for that price tag, but they'll be wanting the gemstones, won't they, too? Oh, absolutely they will. Yeah, with much higher prices, even for just one of them. Wow. Um, I'm going to give them a quick count as well. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. That's less than a pound per moonstone. So so if you did that, as again, as a ring, yeah, you, you've got 17 rings, and you're not going to sell those rings at less than £10 in plate. Mm -mm. You're not going to sell. They're, they're more like a fifteen plus pound. And do you know what? They're a brilliantly easy one to do as a yeah, ring. Yeah, well, yeah. Absolutely probably. fab to, to do. And people recognise moonstone, don't they? They do recognise moonstone, and that's the quality of that moonstone is beautiful. I like this one. Yes. Look at that. I'm drawn to that one. If you saw that in a piece of jewellery, you'd pay fifteen pounds for that on its own, wouldn't you? Pop your gallery round, right around that. Yeah. It'll look amazing. Do a bit of wire work around it. Put it into a wire work piece and you've got instantly that. 
tell you what else. Moons in your in your tree, tree of life. life. Stunning. Your sunset moon. That's a lovely idea. Stunning. Oh, more Love of it. these amazing deals. They're not Simon's. They might be Alison's. They might be mine. They might be Wayne's. They might be Emma's. They might be Anne's. They might be Lucy's. They might even be Marie's. We're oh. basically we're taking the reins, Simon. Ooh. You get well soon. You yeah. get well soon. Just, just don't worry about it. Yeah, You've don't got worry. It. We'll be back with you more inspiration, more deals, more savings after this. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewellery Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, dear me. Morning, jewelry makers. How are we all? Oh, spot. So I tell you what, I don't even realise I'm doing it, Alison, half the time. 
Just <laughs> well, <laughs> things that come up my mouth and don't quite mean them in the way okay, they... Okay. Anyway. Moving on. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Sorry. <laughs> I need to make you cough. Now, you've had your Not eye on these. <clears throat> and I do have a big quantity of them. So you get five, but they are really beautiful bruises of, uh, of gemstone statement pieces. They've got a lovely large aperture through the centre that you can use with all your wires. Your head pins, if you've got the extra yeah. long head pins as well, just literally popping one through, do a little loop, sorted. But you haven't got the, the, the heavy weight. With, no. If you had a cabochon on that size, you'd know about it. Yeah, you would. These are a lot lighter weight because, because it's, it's shell. the shell. And they're stunning. So that's, you imagine a mosaic. That's so lovely. you take um, ceramic, for example. They take the most beautiful, colourful pieces of mm. your ceramic or glass, whichever it is. And then they piece them together. Yeah almost like a puzzle, to form these absolutely gorgeous uh, uh, patterns. Um, they're actually then s submerged, for want of a better description again, um, in like a resin, and that protects the shell itself yeah. and makes sure you don't have any actual rough edges. Um, we do it with the abalone as well, and it's been very popular. I remember the launch of these. They yes. were so, so popular. Um, and we launched them... At thirty four ninety five, which is absolutely amazing considering you're getting five, and it's and it can be just a really really basic technique. Yeah, absolutely. In, to make a, a you know a really beautiful piece of jewellery. Mm. But and I'm because I'm, I'm, when um, we've not long had um, fashion week, have we? No. Nope. And I was looking at some of the fashions, and mm. it's all big chunky jewellery. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of tassels. You know, earrings coming. Halfway down your, your, your shoulder, never yeah. mind shoulder dusters, they're, they're way low. Where it, so if you've got something like this, statement, and then have really long drops of chain coming below it would be incredible. But you've got that statement look without pulling your ear down. Yeah, it's not going to be uncomfortable no, to wear, absolutely. is it at all? It's one of the few things you can afford to wear like that. But as a pendant, I mean, to me, they're... I, Maybe a pair of earrings, but all individuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're so stunning. I adore these. They're and they've all... got an innocence to them as well. I almost... Does anyone else see Falcor? The dragon, because oh, yes, he's yes. got that really beautiful iridescence, doesn't he? I'm showing my age now. Uh, $34.95 is where we actually launch these jewellery makers. But Simon has said he wants these to go today at... Twenty nine ninety five. There we go. He sent the spreadsheet. He sent the spreadsheet. I mean, people work still work off spreadsheets. Yeah. yeah. Um, sent the spreadsheet to Wayne. He was like, "Here you go. Here's my prices. Already worked on it." But he's not here, is he? He's not here, is he? There's one hundred ninety two. Right. Can I, can I can I pick the price? <laughs> okay. Right. Um, hmm. Ooh, how low how, can how, we go yeah. whilst maintaining one's job? How daring uh, are you feeling? How daring am I feeling? How many's on here? Hmm. I am the price Trashosaurus. <laughs> how about, Wayne? How about five pounds each? Ooh. No, no, I'm going to be even bolder. Oh, <gasps> can you go? Can you go? Can you go 24? Can you go... No. Under 25? You are pushing it, aren't you? 24. <laughs> 23. I'm pushing my that. <laughs> 23 pounds on the nose. Go on, go. What did yeah. you say? Don't think. That's just true. Think. Don't think. Just do it. There we go. 23 pounds, please. I don't know, it's a bit random, isn't it? I, did, look. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> he's not thinking, Wayne says. He's just going to do it. So there we are. Simon's pick was twenty nine ninety five. Get that price oh. in, go on. And Wayne said, listen, don't go silly. These are, these are popular. We've got a big quantity of them. So he gave me a little bit of a hint. He said, you know, maybe around 25. And I was like, nah. <laughs> 23. Go away. Go out, trash the prices, trash the prices. <laughs> I don't know what that little dance was. <laughs> 23, do you like it? 
I can't, we can't go any lower. That's <laughs> literally, uh, we're already giving them away practically. We've got 192 of them. So yeah, um, yeah. Wayne says 25 is the actual rock bottom L. But there we go. I'm a bit of a... Oh, 29 was rock bottom. Oh, I beg your pardon. But I'm a, bit, I'm a bit of a chancer though, Wayne. Bit of a chancer. 23 pounds. Good morning. Hi, Stella, Sharon, Julie in the Wirral. Hello to you new customers. Uh, Conway, Norman. What would you do with a strand like this then, Alison? Well, I probably would make a pair of statement earrings with it. But individual pendants, if you did those as individual pendants, you're going you're gonna to blow that price out the way for each. Can I cut the strand? Oh, have you got have you got some findings there? Yeah, yeah. Only because. Do you want silver or gold? What do you reckon? Silver or gold? Gold. Emma's feeling gold. Just because I want to sort of look. There you go. A pair of earrings. Oh right. Actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just going to show everybody. Oh, okay. I've cut it. Yeah. Oops. Should I not have cut it? Oh. Well, you can do that as well. Alison's got both of them. <laughs> there you go. I'm just thinking. I'm just gonna. I'm just want to show oh. everybody a little make along. So your head pins from your finding packs actually go through them, as in Lovely. lengthwise. Yeah. So we're gonna do. So you keep going and I'll fiddle. Okay, that's fine. Because you have got abalone coming up in a few moments as well. So I'm just thinking we're all gonna have some nice, uh, nice earrings being made for us now, aren't we? Some really lovely earrings. So if you love your abalone, in fact, wouldn't they be beautiful together? Oh, well, go on then. Amazing. They're coming up, not yet though. Um, next, literally next. So we cut the strand. I just wanted to sort of show you just how simple it can be and how quick yeah. it can be um, to make a pair of lovely earrings. Well, you didn't tell me I was on a speed uh, well, no, challenge. You're not. That's okay. But then. can you go fast? <laughs> I'm only doing it, yeah. Can you be a bit faster? I'm only joking, Alison. No pressure so, whatsoever. Well, I've made a loop each end because I'm going to put some tassels on. But if I just follow this. Look at that! Isn't that that's going to be incredible. Coming up, could you imagine going out at Christmas and you've got that catching all the lights? There you go. Do you want to pop that on there? Go on. You can... Just because... These are so fashionable at the moment. And I want to show you that they're not too heavy to wear as no. earrings as well. They're not. They're beautifully. You know, they're not pulling on my earlobe at all. Perfect. Look at those. Look how lovely that is. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh. I like them. I like <laughs> those. Big Christmas party, yes. I'll let you finish them, obviously. Yeah. Oh. Um, OK. <laughs> Thanks so uh, much for that. <laughs> look at those. Oh, totally nabbing. Yeah, 100%. How about the abalone? Look at this. Nice. They are beautiful. Now, we launched these at 29.95, but I'm not going to I'm not naming the price. 24.95 is what Simon said. Okay. But Simon's not here. So, Emma, go on. Be bold. Be brave. Are you feeling braver than now? Uh, go on, Emma. Be really I bold. Go, I want to go under 20. <gasps> oh! Yeah. Yeah. Out trust you out. She did. <laughs> Can I? Go on, Emma. Be bold. Be brave. Don't think about it. Just do it. 16.99. Oh, she went there. <laughs> Oops. She didn't even say 19.95. Emma. No, she didn't say 19, she said 16. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I, lo I love it, Em. I love it, I love it. And again, you've got the five big, beautiful... These were launched at 29.95. If these don't sell out, I'd be utterly amazed. They'd be beautiful with the Amazonite night as well. Oh, yeah. Well done, Emma. Well done, <laughs> they're loving your price. Oh, good. Well, I'm not surprised, Emma. You've just taken what... what what's that? Over £10 off that price tag. Don't worry about that. I'm not worried. Okay. It's you that should be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Oh. He's not here. Simon's not here. 
Simon's name. So in theory, yeah, it's his you know, come, come, come your next uh, trade meeting, you can just blame Simon for it, can't you? You can just say, oh, Simon said. Simon said, it's his name there. 1695, hello to Linda, Helen, Tatiana, Julie, Con. We have only got a hundred of these and they are um, absolutely flying out the door. What are you doing, Alison? I'm, I'm embellishing. You're embellishing. Embellishing. Wow. And would you do the same with the abalone? Is it yeah, the same yeah, technique? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Nearly done. I'll show you in a minute. Wow. You're making tassels out of chain. That's fabulous. These are rocketing at Emma. I think you need to come and take a little bow. Come oh, on. I'll do my little heel clip. Do your heel clip, oh, please. Oh. Ready? Yay! 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 Oh. Yay. Oh. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a gazelle there, Emma. Like, a, like a beautiful, graceful gazelle. Lovely. Hello to you, Corrine, <laughs> Rachel, Paula, Cheryl, Miss Janet. Congratulations. What did you say? <laughs> you were. I, th I was th originally thinking like a springbok. Oh, they're nice. They're very cute, aren't they? Yeah. Just jumping around the place. Jumping around the place. <laughs> 1695, hello to you all. Stay, stay where you are. Um, Okie dokie, how are you getting on? I've, just, some... I've got to actually go to the taller um, earring bust. Earring. Ooh, look at those. And that's even not long enough. These are proper, proper... Bobby Dazzlers. Um, shoulder dusters. Look at those. Amazing. And that's literally taken you, what, five minutes? Yeah, just... Five minutes to make. Beautiful. Oh. Bit, very sexy, Adam says. Well, that's it. They're opera-length earrings, aren't they? meant to be shoulder skimming, shoulder skimming. So here you go, you wear your hair up apparently in opera length earrings with a nice beautiful gown. There we go, lovely. Okay, moving on. Uh, to what number? Number four. Uh, oh, I like that. It's not what I've got. Oh look, sorry, I was looking in 14. I like peanut wood, it's very cool. It does almost look edible, doesn't it? It's not, but it does almost look it. Um, hmm. Look at this. They are beautiful. Right, Adam, this is you. You like you said it first, I like peanut wood. This is you, you name the price. So from Australia, is it like a variety of petrified wood? <coughs> Remind me. Peanut wood is a petrified wood, isn't it? I think. Can't remember. You do get a pack of four of them as well. Um, so here we go. If I actually show you, I'm sure it's a variety of petrified wood. Yes, yes. Um, so Adam has just said he would like to half that price. It's like one upmanship now, isn't it? It is totally. You hang on a minute. Yeah, That's under fifteen you can pounds. Slash, I can slash lower. Yes. I can slash any price lower than you. <laughs> no, you can't. Yes, I can. <laughs> no, you can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Fourteen ninety-five. Um, Adam did it. Adam did this price, uh, price everybody. It's totally natural from Australia. It's a variety of your petrified wood, which I think is so cool. Uh, millions and millions of years it has taken to actually form this gemstone. And basically, it had started as a wood, um, which, as the name suggests, ah. and then it has been basically um, almost the, the, the patterns, the journeys, the markings within um, of, of what was once previously that tree has been replaced by a beautiful, genuine gemstone. They're loving your price, Adam. Loving that price. Stay where you are. I've only got how many? Okay, we've only got we've only got 50 of these available within the vault. That's why they're at this price tag. What's going on, Alison? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm loving it. Yeah. What's going on? What number? Seven. Seven. Dendrite opal. <gasps> right, Lucy, it's your turn. 
<laughs> Here you go, Lucy. So this is opal, genuine Love opal. It. Right, but just, just consider this for a moment. Genuine opal um, with all of these beautiful natural patterns that have taken millions of years. What are you going to do, Lucy? Go on, Lucy. <gasps> oh, my goodness. She's here, literally. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. It's good quality as well. I mean, look at the patterns on it. Yeah. It's beautiful. Go on, Lucy. Be bold. Go nice with the caps we had earlier. Be bold, be brave. Just do it. Okay, how about, is this going to be crazy? Okay. okay. I like crazy. <laughs> I like crazy. 11.95. Ooh, yes. she went there. She beat you, Adam. 11.95. Never mind Simon's picks. This is crew picks. Yeah. 11.95. So what was Simon's target price? 24.95. Oops. Oh, Lucy. Huh? Go, Lucy. Uh, making purely friends on this auction, everybody. So make the most of this opportunity. Dendrite opal, completely and utterly natural. And you do get Beautiful. these really fabulous patterns, don't you? It is it is stunning. I can't believe Lucy's just said eleven ninety five. I know, I know. But we're not we're not thinking about it. We're just doing it today. Because it's dendrite opal, not the dendrite. It's not agate. agate. It's opal. That's the thing. That's why I said at the beginning this is it's actually opal. opal. Yeah, that's brilliant. Absolutely perfect with the cabs we had earlier. It yeah. would go with so so much anyway. It looks brilliant if you just if you just rosary link that. It looks amazing. Yeah, beautiful. And if you do rosary link it, you see all the way round those those um, rondelles as well. So you get more of the the um, vista. Oh, nice. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Stunning? I mean, I know you had Jan on the weekend as well. Did you? Yes. Oh, look at that. So you could do that with these. I was talking to Marie <coughs> about it because there was a, a... I like that oh, one. Oh, fantastic. I'm not, I'm not going to say what it is, but there's a fantastic new cut I've not seen before. Mm. And I said, because it, it's stunning, but then I said you could also turn it on its side, which you could do with these, and, and pop some wire through, pick up your... Small jump start stone and fetch it back down. So if you used a faceted spinel in there, oh beautiful! To pull out those dark dark inclusions. Do you know what? How about you do the day? <gasps> oh, look at that together, almost with sp uh, spacers. Yeah, you thinking that's beautiful? Making kits again. Eleven ninety five, Lucy. <gasps> the red tiger's eye like that would go more, with as yeah. well. Uh, what number? Eight. Oh, sea fossil coral. Oh, I haven't seen this for age. Oh, I've never seen one that colour. They are very cool, aren't That's they? So stunning. Fossilisations right, within each of these gemstones, which is totally and utterly natural. I've not seen the reddish colour. Isn't that cool? That's so they amazing. almost remind me of little limpets, don't you? That you yeah. see kind of uh, sort of stuck to... Uh, is that what they do, Emma? I don't know. Limpets. I thought oh, the limpets are the top hat shells, not oh. the top, the, the cone shells. I don't know what you're thinking. Along. Yeah, they suck on the side of all the of yeah. all the rocks, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Um, and they really hurt when you step on them. Yeah. Because they're quite sharp. They're aren't pointy. They? Yeah. Um, but it's almost like that. Almost preserved yeah. within um, within the actual gemstone itself. It's a fossil, ultimately. Stunning, isn't that? All the way from Indonesia, twenty four ninety five. Look at that shape, isn't it gorgeous? And again, you've got that bracelet. Sh oh, oh, it's, it's got oh. Um, oh, game changer. Oh, there's a drill hole. Leather cord wire. Not each side on a leather, a black leather and cord. It's, yeah. Jobs are good. Tapered as well, yeah. so beautifully. Beautiful. But I love the way along the side you get that, you get that. Yeah. The 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 um, fossil. Going down the side, it's yeah. stunning. Showing you it's completely yeah. natural. Look how beautiful it is on front and reverse as well. What are you going to do with this then, Wayne? Sixteen ninety five. you said. We're not wow. messing around. We're going to try and squeeze in as many goodies as we possibly can. Even your one mil gauges of wire will probably go through there. You put, you put, I haven't got any one mil here, but I've got some point eight, and that will well, certainly go through. Test that theory. Live TV. It certainly does. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So literally just almost wear it. Pop like a, a loop out either side. Yeah. Chain on it. You're done. Leather cord. Yeah. Absolutely. And you've your cord. Your Kumi Hemo braids. Yeah. Very cool, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I was saying the other day on um, at the Big B show, mm. and there was a, a gentleman there who, who specialises in um, special um, cabochons. Yeah. And individual cabochons. A cabochon like that would be £40. 
40. I'm not surprised. We must never be complacent about the fact that how amazing our savings are. But we are very unique, and, that, and that's one of the reasons why we often have Marie on our shows, you know, apart from the fact that she's just brilliant. Um, but yeah, she, she also sort of highlights to us just how unique Jewelry yeah. Maker is as a company. Um, and you know what? We, none of us, I don't think, would have the collections that we actually do today if it wasn't for Jewelry Maker and that, no. very, like I said, unique platform that they actually have in, in terms of, of how we negotiate and how we can purchase them at prices yeah. like this. But we're not like most companies. You know, if we saw that at the big bead show for forty pounds, yeah. we don't elevate prices. We still maintain the savings. Moving on. Oh, this is pretty pink opal. Now this. Do you know what? I'm going to make a kit. Uh, oh. Your deal of the day. And then another one of your star buys. Oh. And. Oh. Oh, I'm definitely up for this kit. If I was oh, to send that to you, Alison, would you be a happy camper? Oh, yeah. Can I use it with wire? You can use Absolutely. it with whatever you want. Can I use it with threading material? Absolutely. You, anything that you want. Anything. Anything for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> That's Oliver. That was Oliver, actually. Yeah. That was Oliver. Simon's price, £8.95 for genuine Peruvian pink opal. I've got 174 It's such a pretty jet strand, it is. isn't it? Such a pretty pink strand. I'm just saying. <gasps> yes. Are they still available, Wayne? We've still got a couple of those available. Okay, so, but you'll have to be quite quick. How about £5.95, Wayne's <gasps> price? Simon said £8.95, never mind that. He's recovering. Huh? That's brilliant. Woo! Low, wow. low, low. That's brilliant. You are, it's to be honest, Wayne, I have to say, Adam's just said you're showing off a little bit now. I'd put it with this as well. And, you know... I have, to, I have to say it to my three-year-old. You need to calm down a little bit. You're just a little bit crazy. She goes, okay. Aww. Okay, okay, I calm down. <laughs> uh, Wayne's not saying that. He's basically, no, no, no. Yes, can beautiful. I, I put it with the, with the blue lace agate? Hang on. Sorry, yeah. Isn't that so pretty together? A little sneaky peek. So, so I'd actually double up. I'd, I'd do those, I'd rosary link those as well and double up on my drape chain and have that delicate pink running through it. Wow. I mean, that what? That would look amazing. A very elaborate design. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, um, absolute centre stage design, isn't it? You yeah. could wear the most simple of outfits with that. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. Absolutely. But with... Go well, lovely with you, what you've got on today. Oh, well, thank you very much. much. Um, but with a little bit accents of that yeah. lovely peony pink again, isn't it? Five ninety five. well done. Check out, though, at these crazy prices. He's on one. Hello to you, Donna and Torvine. Hello to you, Candice, Sarah. Hello to you, Judith. Uh, Georgie. Hello to you, Carol. Patricia, you're all there. Nice to be with you. Stay where you are on those phone lines. It is a strand of 30 centimetres, and this is Gems of Distinction. So, prime example. You know, a Gems of Distinction strand like this used to be 18 centimetres. Now, you can actually get two full oh, no. tennis style bracelets. Brilliant. Or wrap around if you wanted yeah. to, just with a magnetic clasp. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, lovely. I like that. Love that Peruvian opal. Um, Okie dokie. Oh, Imperial. As the name suggests, oh, it is these. the most sought after variety of Jasper. You get nodules. It's a good nodule. word, that, isn't it? A nodule. Nodules. Yes. I love of, these. Of absolute variations and really unique colour. Look at the one in your right hand. The way I love the shape in the left, but the way those sort of concentric circles just sort of lay on top of each other is absolutely exquisite. Twenty nine ninety five. I love the shape of it. So I love, I love the shape of that one. So cool. But I love the I love the you circles love in that one. Look at them. There's just well, like little eggs. Yeah, aren't they? <laughs> Sorry. Was that not the best description? Well, <laughs> but, but these 
are Imperial Jasper, which tend to fetch really oh, considered yeah. prices. Absolutely. Um, how would you work this into your jewellery then, Alison? I mean, because well, they... they're quite shallow, aren't they? Does that make any difference? Makes it really easy to prong set again. You could net them, so you could use your wire to net them. You could use your, your seed beading to create a bezel. You could use your gallery wire. Yes, perfect. You could, you could bezel them with, with a weave. And you know when I do the weave and then pull the wires out so yeah. you get left with the sort of... Oh, yeah, the frame. The, yeah, you could use that to bezel around them. That would look lovely as well. Potential. L Loads wow. of potential. Um, but they are sort of front and reverse. You know, you yeah. can literally turn these around and you're just going to sort of find your, your favourite pattern. How about under £10? Bonkers. For natural imperial jasper, yeah, it's, it's the lovely little nodules that form within these gemstones, and you get a really unique colour. You know, it it doesn't look like other varieties no. of um, of your jasper, does it? It's not the same in terms of uh, the colour patterns. You get a little hint of green, orangey like yeah. tones. Look at that, how it's kind of framing Beautiful, it almost. Isn't it? Yeah, and that's naturally they're framing the exterior of the cabochon. Eight pounds. Wow. Eight pounds only for 62 carats of your Imperial Jasper. Love wow. It. Um, yeah, and just think, I'd wear that like Isn't that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. It does look beautiful. You could just do like a little cord, couldn't you? Attach it, tie, yeah. tie it, or in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you could muck around. I always forget that, you know. Um, and it was Nadia whose birthday it was yesterday. A happy um, birthday, yeah. Nadja. Sorry if you didn't want everyone to know, but happy birthday. <laughs> um, but macrame around them would look amazing. Yeah, really nice. Because, again, you've got those sort of flat surfaces, yeah. haven't yeah. you, which you could very, very easily sort of follow and almost tie on to. Yeah. Because, you know, even if you had sort of tied around that direction and then wrapped that yeah. direction, yeah. it's not going anywhere, is it? No. Nope. Um, eight pounds only for your Imperial Jasper. Well done. Moving on. Wow. Mm. Well done. Oh, <gasps> these are amazing. <gasps> oh, I might have to oh. buy these. I love malachite. So do I. It's such a gorgeous gemstone. Um, so, yeah, whilst... Was it what day? Was it Thursday, Wayne? Wayne, um, there was a meeting. We were in a meeting, but also you were multitasking, Wayne, weren't you? Um, always Sorry. multitasking. He's a very busy person, is that, Wayne? Um, but uh, yeah, you were doing because you do a little bit, a little bit of buying as well, don't you? You help out the buying mm. team somewhat, and that's something that Wayne's actually done in previous jobs. And um, I was looking down the list of, of items that we would like to sort of see here, and quantities that we would actually be interested in buying, and then the whole negotiation process actually, because some of it is done electronic electronically as well. And I saw malachite, and it was malachite cabochons, I think. <gasps> um, and I was yes. like, yes, five hundred. Yeah, and the I'm price, the deal is awesome, awesome, awesome. It is an absolutely beautiful gemstone, isn't it? It's got that regality. Stunning. It's got amazing history behind it. You get all of these lovely concentric marks and bands within the gemstone itself. Highly lustrous. Look at that. They're so beautiful. Um, and a selection of. Isn't it, is it um, one of the czars who had a Malachite room? Yeah, Russian czars. Russian, yeah, 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 yeah. And the FA Cup. Is it the FA Cup or the World Cup? Oh, it's Cup? mounted on top of... Um... World Cup. It's actually mounted on top um, of, Malachite. Of, of, of Malachite. It's, and that's natural. That is all it's purely amazing. natural. It's a fabulous gemstone. Oh, yeah. It's a really lovely, strong colour. Forty nine ninety five. So these aren't drilled... They're all... Um, oh, oh, interesting. No, they're not drilled, so you could cage these. You could cage them, you could net them. Um, again, if you really wanted to, you know the studs we do with the flat? You could, you could yeah. glue, glue it onto that if you wanted to. Nothing stopping you no. doing that at all. You've just taken £20 off that price tag. Right, right. Wayne says, you know what? I'm gonna get I'm gonna do something extra special on these because they are absolutely beautiful and too beautiful to be um in the vault. We have a quantity, it's natural, genuine malachite. We are gonna take it low, low, low. So trashing the price, he says. From forty nine oh, ninety five to sake. under twenty pounds for Malachi. And Malachi is a it's quite a, an expensive it gemstone, is an expensive isn't it? Gemstone. It's like rhodochrosite yeah. and your your Zara, not Zara, um, 
What am I thinking of? Shah right. There we go. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It's it. You know, it's it's, it's stunning, <laughs> and it's and it's something that people try and copy, but you can tell. Yeah. Oh, you can. There's synthetics out yeah. there, definitely, as with many gemstones. And there's a there's a there's a and you can you can also tell because if it's cheap, then you the chances are it's not going to be real. No, absolutely. I think ideal <gasps> opportunity for oh. me to show you these as well. So coming up, I have got some genuine anarchy ametrine. Um, again, in your tumbles, non-faceted. So yeah, be beautiful. Well, yeah. <gasps> oh, I think so. Oh, these are anarchy, aren't they? Let me double check, let me double check. Technically, mm -hmm. it's the it's coming up right now. Well done, makers. Stay on wow. those phone lines for that malachite. Okay, up next, beautiful bicolor gemstone. Uh, that is ametrine. <laughs> Look at these. So beautiful. I'm going to, I'll, I'll be able to tell you the location in a few moments' time. But a wonderful, where is it? Bolivia. Okay, so that's the Anahi mine. Okay, that's a good thing that we've not actually put Anahi on the graphics because that means you don't get the Anahi price tag. Uh, yeah. So uh, a little bit of history on that mine. Um, it was once mined by solely women. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, and uh, I don't know if that's still the case now. Um, but if you look at it, it actually looks like little little uh, hobbit houses. Um, they're very, very you, know, you know, on the, at the introduction to um, Lord of the Rings, yeah. the little hobbit houses, it looks a little bit like that. Um, they have developed in Bolivia, it's, it's illegal to export um, your ametrine, or it certainly was anyway, ametrine in its non-faceted form. That's because they wanted it to be, uh, they wanted to develop, make the most of this wonderful natural treasure that ho they hold there, quite rightfully so. And it's not, it's, it's not just ametrine that we're finding this with. Tanzanite followed quickly afterwards. Ethiopia followed quickly after that. Um, so they'll, they're developing a whole cutting um, industry in, in Bolivia. It took quite some time. What did that do for us as consumers? It delayed the process of your ametrine, which increased the price tag. Yeah. Um, it is a very rare it's fusion of, of gemstones. So can you see, um, you actually get, I'll pop them on my hands, you actually get a fusion of your amethyst and your citrine. So, wow. Um, now, with recent development, there is a way of actually replicating this. However, it took years to perfect, and it is very skilled, so it tends to be very expensive. So, for example, you can take, you can turn an amethyst into a citrine with heat treatment. Right. Um, but the heat transfers very, very quickly. So, I mean, I, I've got no idea just how, how complex it is, but I imagine it's quite challenging to actually produce um, a heated mm. uh, a heated ametrine, which is obviously what's happened here. So it's taken an amethyst with a little bit of heat treatment. It's not necessarily in, it, turning it into a bicolor gemstone. It's encouraging those existing colors that will already have been there. Um, so 120 carats you've got from that location. It's very exciting to say that you own ametrine from Bolivia. Um, it's like it's like Colombia to an emerald. It's like Bur uh, Burma to a ruby. $39.95. And the fact that these aren't faceted, I think, you know, just for someone that collects, mm. just a really nice thing to collect. Um, you know, just having a bowl, if you like, of mixed beautiful gemstones. Can I pinch one? Of course you can. I'm going to pinch that one. Okay. Oh. $29.95. What would you do with yours? A ring. Yeah, I'd turn that into a ring all day long. Amazing. And it would be beautiful as well. Amazing. Look at that. Yeah, so you get the don't warmth the of this. The you get the warmth of the citrine coming through, yeah. don't you? And the days of, of, of ametrine um, being sort of right, it's gonna be the 50-50 split are well and truly gone, actually. Um, I mean you you can get them, obviously, but wow. what I what I mean is it was always it was always the more sought after to get a 50-50 split and a very definite split. Um, but these days we really do embrace what we call a sunburst variety as well, where it's more distributed within the gemstone um who would like this under 20 pounds you each each for ametrine bolivia this yeah. is bolivia ametrine that one, i know it's stunning 
It's such a gorgeous natural bicolour gemstone. Like I said, the, the bicolour would have been there. Yes. A little bit of heat treatment would encourage those saturations to sort of deepen. That's right. Incredible. We are going to take this very, very low ahead of your deal of the day, yeah, which is only, I'll what, 20 that. minutes away. Um, we're going to put a 60 second clock onto your screen. You need to show Wayne that you are there. How many do we have then, Wayne? Oh, okay, just under 100, which is actually quite exciting when it comes to your ametrine. Um, that's a larger quantity than I would have imagined. And I, yeah. I, can I just show you something? Uh oh. Bear with. These are amazing. This is what I bring my hand cream. I still haven't <laughs> taken this out, out of my... These are my ametrine earrings that I brought in when I brought did a cut ametrine stone at Jewelry Maker, but can I just show you, and the reason why I'm showing you these is because... Thank you, I'll give you that one back. Thank you. Before I forget. They are no way near as intense as these amatrine mm -hmm. uh, tumbles. And I don't mind admitting that. They're my earrings. No way near the intensity of colour. Do you agree? Yeah. Absolutely. So lovely. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I really like these earrings. I do like them. They're very simple. Um, but it's not a 50-50 split. I can't remember how much I paid for those. But do you see the colour is yeah. much, much, much darker um, on the actual tumbles that you're getting in the opportunity to buy. These are in nine carat gold. So they're nine carat white gold. And yet the colour is, is, is deeper here. Yeah. 60 seconds. Let's start that clock ticking, shall we, Jewelry Maker? Because I just want, the reason why I had those is just to show you the quality of the ametrine that you can get from us here at Jewelry Maker. It doesn't have to always be faceted. In fact, it's a massive trend not to facet them at the moment. It is, I've noticed a lot of cages back. Yeah. Which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, but you can you can um, you can still set those. You can still prong set them. You can still yeah. um, gallery wire them. You can, you know you can still put them in your clays. That would be lovely. Tell you where they go really oh, well lovely. with your sheet metal. Oh yeah. Because you you kind of you cut little Racket prongs round. and you you hug your gemstone. Oh, I like that. And you 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 come around and you give your gemstone a hug. And then you've also got a frame around the back of it. Wow, 20 Love seconds, it. coming up to 15 seconds to show Wayne that you want to get hold of these ahead of your um, deal of the day, the Amazonite, night. And also the rose quartz that I think you've got coming up would be lovely. We are going to take this low, but um, Wayne's words, this is naughty mind. He says it's very, very naughty. Um, yeah, I need to take those out. Yes. <laughs> need to actually take them out. However, if I hadn't have done that, then I wouldn't be you able to show seen. you the quality, really. I think most of you appreciate that. That's why there's tons of you on the phone lines and on the web. Congratulations, oh. under £20. You've just got hold of genuine Bolivian ametrine. Amazing. Look For less than a purple weight. note. I know. The carrot way. <clears throat> I bought, um, I've got a ring to this, Yeah. these earrings. And that was the first purchase I made when I came to work for our previous founders. Um, it was in nine carat gold and it, it literally matched these earrings. Yeah. It cost me, I don't mind telling you this, £90. And that was a staff cost. I was going to say, and that's a really good price. Yeah, staff cost. So um, just imagine how mega this deal actually is. And look at the carat weight, look at the quality, look at the price tag. Wow. Uh, but there we go. It's not about, as we've said before already this morning, it's not actually about profits today. It's about ultimate, um, well, clearance prices. Yeah. But even with big quantities, really. Hello to you. Uh, County Tyrone, West Midlands, Lorraine, Samina, Dorset, Karen. If you have any questions for our lovely Azza Tazza, <laughs> I like that. Azza Tazza. Um, if you want to just come and say hi, we were talking about what we got up to this weekend. Who watched the rugby? Yeah! Did you watch both games? Um, no, because I was here on the Saturday. Oh, fair enough. Fair no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. England won. I, I, I was out. It's no. England, South Africa. I got caught up in all the the train on the Friday night, so I didn't actually. I was I was here on Friday. I see. Didn't get back I see, till I four. See. Just gone four in the morning. Oh, from the mid show. Oh, I couldn't get out of Birmingham Internet uh, Birmingham News Why Street. Why didn't you ring me? You could have come and stayed at my <laughs> house. That's all right. Alison, I've told well, you this well, before. Well, I kept getting on the train and it was like due to go and you'd sit on the train for like an hour and then they'd say, oh, this one's cancelled. But Don't, there's another one over there. So you sat in the train station till four in the morning. Yeah. Well, no, because they taxied me home at about... They 
one thirty. Well, you still should have rung me. I didn't think. Well, you kept you kept hoping. It's like oh, any time now. Sixteen. Be any time now. I know, but please don't do that. Oh, come, come and stay at mine. That's fine. There was lots of people there. It was... <gasps> <clears throat> yeah, but that's not oh, the point. It's not very fun, is it? Um, how about some lovely carnelian colour banded agates? Oh, isn't that Halloweeny? Oh yes, that's what I, we're doing this evening. Yeah. Carving pumpkins. Oh, is it? Love that one. You're gonna have to give me some inspiration. Who should I? What? What should I carve in my pumpkin? I think you should carve. You need two pumpkins, and you should want do one for each dog. We got one each. We've all got so one. So you need one dog on one and one dog on the other one. Oh God! Can you imagine like carving my doggy's faces on there? That's not going to be the no. easiest thing in the world, is it? You've got lots of wrinkles on one of them. He's be fine. Brutus with his googly eyes, his jaw. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> with cocktail sticks? I don't know. What do you mean? How do you carve them with cocktail sticks? Yeah. Oh, and... Oh, I'm going to be there all day with that, aren't I? I? Okay, so you put the picture on the pumpkin and then you just literally stab. Oh, very cool. And then, and then you get the old Dremel <clears throat> out. I might use my Dremel. Are you a Dremel? I <laughs> might actually <laughs> use my Dremel. <laughs> and what do you Imagine. do afterwards? Don't forget, squirrels like the pumpkins. Oh, absolutely. I've, I've kept mine outside. They're out in the garden at the All moment, right. and I've noticed the squirrels have already had a little chew. Uh, 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 that's fine. That? Yeah, that's that? fine. Oh, I, um, I and, and, and also, what else like foxes like them? Moose like them. Moose? Yeah. Where do you live? <laughs> Just in case you got the yeah, random moose, the random moose wandering around your back garden. <laughs> no, only because I noticed someone had put one out. They'd, they'd left one out in Canada, and there's this moose going, "Oh, thanks very much." Dug uh, it into the hedgehogs. Like hedgehogs like hedgehogs like curl them. up inside them. I love hedgehogs too. Moving on. So just oh. in case you don't want the moose to come round, no. just just be aware they do like them. They said they recommend wow. you take them to your local park if you don't want them in your garden. Then obviously, after you've done, used your pumpkins, I think we need to give these to Leah. Right. Yes, Leah, you yes. need to choose the price with this one because Leah has got some new, got some new awesome hair. She has got very awesome hair. So uh, Leah. Oh, it's love. It's very cool. It's very Joker esque. Yeah, I was the Joker. You were the Joker <laughs> on Saturday for your party, weren't you? So because these are kind of, I'm seeing the vibrancy. Um, you're going to choose the price, Leah. So what do you reckon? We've all, don't worry. We've Alison, all gone silly. Yeah, we've all been really silly. So <clears throat> we're already under ten pounds. What do you reckon? Four pounds seventy-five. Oh, oh, 75. oh we're, going for, we're going for an odd, odd number. Odd numbers oh. now. That's sneaking. <laughs> Four seventy-five. Oh, why not? Why not? Well, why, well, why then, not? Why? Exactly. <laughs> Four pound seventy-five. Four seventy-five. It is, Leah. Mm -hmm. We've all been quite cheeky, to be truthful. To be truthful, Alison was the lowest. <laughs> as in the cheap, <laughs> the cheap. As in the cheapest. <laughs> Keep going. And then she <laughs> called me trash. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I she did not. Me a Trashosaurus. It, Wayne is the Bashosaurus. I was like, oh, Alison can be the Trashosaurus. But I realised that wasn't really a very complimentary nickname. So I love you, I know. I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's okay, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that, Ben. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> 4 75 only for these. Well done. I love Real. this colour. I, I, it's cheerful. It's it is. happiness. See, I'd put that with the last strand. With the... With the Carnelian. Carnelian. Yeah, lovely. I love that. It, it is. I mean, if you're thinking, oh, that's Oranges too bright lemons. for me, then tone it down with something yeah. like your spinel. Put it with white. You'll get, you know, use some of that in with your pearls. You... you, you Stretch that. You almost dilute that. Yeah. Oh, can we get? Should we? Should, should we get? Should yes. we get Alan to do one? Let's next? get Alan to do a price as well. Alan. Um, Alan's in the gallery. Alan does um, all of the amazing VTs and everything. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Lovely Alan. Right, Alan. 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 Steve. Steve. <laughs> Sorry. Here Steve. you go. Right, Alan. Uh -oh. um, because Simon's not here, we're basically choosing our own prices. So you might as well get in on it. Okay? Don't think about it. Just do it. Right. So these 
On my Yuki oh, Delica Silver Line Smoke Opal. This okay. is beautiful. We don't see Delicas that frequently. Okay, we're running out of time, so oh. we're going to go straight down. He reckons. Oh, for 3 95 he says. The yes. Delicas. The de Love it. Do you remember the first Bauble DVD we did together? Yes. That's the one you really loved. Uh, oh, was it? This yeah. colour? Yes. Colour yes, Alan. I think Alan should come and, uh, and do, like, uh, present yeah. for a bit at some point. Yeah. I'd like that too. Alan, I reckon he'd be awesome at presenting. <laughs> yeah? Uh, uh, wow, Ben says one of the most charismatic men in entertainment. I agree. Oh. I agree he'd be awesome. Yeah. What do we reckon, everybody? Do we want Alan to be presented yes. for an hour or so? Yeah, that'd be fab. Three ninety-five only, everyone. They are beautiful and delicate. They just because they're Love uniformed, them. aren't they? Yeah. So they kind of sit perfectly alongside one they another. Do. So, so with the rounds, you get the bumps. Yeah. Because they're rounded. With the delicates, you get like this smooth sheet. So when if you do say peyote stitch, you end up with this almost fabric, this smooth sheet of of beautiful um, piece of work. The, the little um, animals I did a while ago, the, uh, what's it called? Thank you, the bookmarks. The, oh, that's the bookmark going into the book, the bookmarks. Um, were delicate and they're lovely because they give you a flat finish rather than a lumpy finish. It's just a different finish and smoothness. Oh, those bookmarks, Alison, were just amazing. Okay. We're working on something else. Ah, this would be a nice colour, actually, for, for different, for different mm -hmm. animals and creatures, wouldn't it? Cheers, Alan. Bye. Bless him. Thanks for the price. Yeah, that's awesome. Amazing. And this, this is a speciality bead. It's mm. silver lined. And it is actually silver that goes through the centre. Oh, is it? Yeah. Do you know I never knew that? Well, Oops. I... Alan. I think, <laughs> I think so, anyway. I think that's what I was told. I'm sure I'm sure Mark told me that. I, I'm, <laughs> forgive me if I'm wrong. the blame. If you still Forgive there, Mark. me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and Mark, if I am wrong, text in and say, I never told you that, Elle. Sorry. I might just I might just have dreamt it, possibly. But yeah, you get really, they pour it down the yeah, centre. Yeah, don't I know they? they pour they pour the Amazing. The um okay, okay. Sorry, Mark, if it wasn't you. Um ooh, what are these what I think they are? Big garnet. Garnet. Oh yes. Oh, you see, there's another kit you could give me. I think I think I need to make a few kits. <laughs> I think that's a beautiful. I think that's it. stunning. Yes, I think that's stunning. Because I'd use these, I'd use one of those, and I'd have a tassel of the others below. Ooh. I'd rosary link the others and have a, a beautiful tassel below. Ooh. They've been so lovely with the kits that you have previously as well, and certainly the kit that you have coming up. Um, oh, beautiful. The stunning. Exquisite garnet. And they are some of the biggest garnets that yeah. I've actually seen in individual stones, not just here, ever. Does anyone else agree with that? Yeah. It's a big garnet stone, 15 pounds, 17 by 12 millimetres they go up to. Look at the size of that one. I know. And they make stunning rings. I love the step cut as well. Is it step cut? Yeah. Or are they just, um, they're, they're, they're faceted for the stone, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely. Each, they the, you know, each lapidus has not been told these have to be an oval, these have to be a round, these have to be whichever. They can actually look at the garnet and, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, um, influence it to whatever shape. So if there was so, sort of a big inclusion maybe, maybe here, they would have actually sort of faceted that yeah. away. Um, they are beautiful and they'll look even more radiant when you actually take them outside. Look at the, yeah. pu look at the purple in the distance of the screen right now. Um, beautiful sort of blackberry colours, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, coming through and it's completely natural. Garnet is, yeah, I agree. Adam's just said it. it's difficult because it never comes across on screen. It is one of those gemstones that I almost want to walk outside and show yeah. you um, because it glows there. And it's, it, 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 it's a show-off, isn't it? It likes to have it's natural nice. sunlight, say. Look at Hello. me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Um, but I, I, I think for me, the main attraction in this strand is that they are some of the biggest garnets that I think I've ever brought to wear ever. 
ever, ever, ever. 14.95. You are just under 10 minutes away from your deal of the day, <gasps> jewelry makers. Wow. Oh. There are just 51 opportunities of your Amber's Night. I think Amber's Night would look beautiful with this colour. It would go beautifully with that colour. Because um, you've got that greeny tone with it and you've got that beautiful contrast. Isn't that stunning? You're going to make the kit again, aren't you? Yeah. You see, that's stunning. But I would definitely go with the Amazonite as spaces between those. <sighs> love it. Love it. Love it, love it. Alternate those two. Um, moving on. She's good, isn't she? You are You're not good. bad yourself. You should see the jewellery that Alison's made for the next kit. <gasps> Look at that. that is strongly. It would go nice with that. that kit. So you love wow. the queen of agates, your blue lace. Look at the blues in that. Yeah, that is lovely, isn't it? Love it's that. like a cashmere scarf. Oh, it is. It's like that sort of... I do like that, because I do call it a cashmere grey, don't I? Yep. I love they it. They do. It's that almost silvery mm. grey, isn't it? Labrador essence, wow. wow. That beautiful phenomena effect. They just captivate us. <clears throat> 25 carats, genuine labradorite, huge gemstone at the moment. And, and again, it's almost like, I don't want this to sound smug almost, but it's like other, beads are everywhere now, aren't they? Lots of the big designers yeah. are working with beads. But it's like, you know, they've caught up with you as jewellery makers. Yeah, you know, absolutely. they're catching up with your inspiration and your designs. Who wants 25 carats? I'm not sure I could eat them all at once. No. 25 carats of Labradorite for under five pounds. For under five pounds? Done it, said it. You wouldn't get 25 carats for under five pounds. I didn't think about it, Alison. I just did, did it. it. Well done, you. Can I do something else again? Yeah. Because I think that would go beautifully <gasps> again. In a necklace? Yeah. Yes. That's beautiful because you've got that soft palette. Isn't yeah. that lovely? Palette's a good word, isn't it? Yeah, I totally agree. Colour palette. And you can almost frame it too. Oh, oh, now. Oh. And that wouldn't even need, like, any anything too radically technical, would no, it? No, no, no. If you put... Because they've got... Um, they've not come to a point at the side, you could probably do that with a piece of wire through your Labradorite and tighten it. Love. Love or... Oh, there, oh, now you see. Because you've got that base of the Dove Grey... That's going to go with so many colours. No, I'm having that one. That's pretty, isn't it? It is pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty combination. This cut, let me just tell you, Jewelry Makers was so popular and we launched it previously in Spinel. It flew out the door. Um, we have not got enough of the Amazonite, but Amazonite is, 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 is again, a massive gem. So at the moment, they go beautifully together, they don't do. they? Grab this though, under five pounds. Hi Jane, Anna, Candice, hello to you Conway, Tatiana, Mandy Sue, hello to you Oxfordshire. Is that Oxfordshire who I think Oxfordshire is? Uh, Penelope, Linda, people multi-buying on this as well. Simple, again, 30 centimetre strand. Simple, wrap around bracelet. Beautiful. Proper magnetic class, job done. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But I see, I love strands like this because they're beautiful in their own right, but they also mm -hmm. work as a carrier for other gemstones. Yeah. So, like as a necklace for a large pendant. Yeah. Like as a as a you could put charms from that, and it would look stunning. It'd be gorgeous. With but pearls. Per oh, pearls would be a dream with it. Labradorite and pearls just go lovely together, yeah. don't they? It's like the iridescence of the pearl and the the labradorescence within yeah. the actual gemstone just complements. Um, with your deal of the day. No question whatsoever. Now, speaking of your deal of the day, you are two minutes away. It's an absolutely beautiful strand um, from one of our suppliers who really specialises in, in, in cutting. Um, we launched, and, and Marie, in chatting to her this morning before we came on air, she said it is the quality of the cut, literally some of the best cutting that she's ever actually seen um, on strands. So coming your way, but very limited. I wish I had more. I really do. To be honest, multiply that quantity by um by 10 to be truthful and it still probably wouldn't be enough 51 it's happening after this
Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Great. It's a giggle. I like it the fact in Simon's, 
We're filling these shoes because he's poorly, bless him. So get well soon, Simon. Hope you feel better. But we do miss you. So um, who whose skills are we about to show? Do we name them? Who are the skills <laughs> of, <laughs> of, of, of what you've just shown me? Oh, Alan. Was it Alan? Alan. Alan, yeah. Alan. The skills of Alan, one of the most creative men in TV. Right. So we're missing our Simon. You know, and whilst we like making our own prices, Simon, we miss that lovely face. So we have a replacement. And that replacement, I have to say, yeah, let's show it, let's show it. It's uncanny. It's like you could almost be here with us. <laughs> here he is, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, Simon. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> there he is. We missed you, Simon. So, you know, needs must. <laughs> oh, bless. Um, and, yeah, there we go. It's not technically these prices that are not coming out of our mouths then, are they? They're coming out of yours. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Very Monty Python. <laughs> Absolutely. Right then, who's ready for a deal of the day? Um, now these, in speaking to in speaking to our lovely mm -hmm. Marie this morning, it's like talk to me because this is a. I remember the cut, and if you ever see Claire McDonald, look at her wrist. Have you seen the spinel? Yeah, yeah. Um, she wears two stacker. I think she just made them in stretchy bracelets, but two spinel stretchy bracelets, and it was the same supplier as this strand. However, the spinel had a big quantity. Amazon Night never is going to have sort of a comparable quantity. Um, but it's the prestige of the cut. So if mm. I actually hold it this way, firstly, can you see that definition? One of the reasons why a Marquise is so expensive oh, is because of the wow. angles. Um, and whilst this is, it's not a Marquise, it's a, it's, they're rondelles, or saucers really, but they are tapering to a very dramatic point, aren't they? It's like a 3D version of a Marquise, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> it is, yeah, it is. Um, so one Stunning. of the most skillful, in fact, these cutters liken the, str the strands that you saw wow. with, that sold out completely with your spinel, and and we'll do with this. They actually liken the cutting to the skills to Ida Obens Oberstein. Wow. Um, you, know, you know, globally recognized lapidarists. Yeah. Um, so we have 51 of these available. We are going to have to put a clock on the screens. I wish I had more. For a deal of the day, I'll be truthful, it's not enough. It's not enough. We need much bigger quantities for a deal of the day. We know that we have people that tune in specifically for that auction. Um, for, some, for one of the most prestigious strands or opportunities, if you'd like, of the, of the entire jm calendar how and this oh. still is it is it's just we haven't got enough of them and that's not a dic discredit to our team behind the scenes mm -hmm. this is amazonite that would have only been able to purchase a limited quantity 60 seconds starts now if you were lucky enough to get that spinel strand and you're enjoying it already it i, I mean i brought it to air to air it's sold out and we know there's not one of those still in the business yeah. in the vault because we were looking weren't we wayne this morning we literally looked on the system this morning. Gone, 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 gone. Um, and that was launched with a quantity of 200, wasn't it? There was 200. Um, on and gone. And all Claire did, because she actually cut the strand, and if I double it over, you can see, was turn them into simple stretchy bracelets, and it looks so gorgeous. You've got quite a large aperture, quite a large drill hole there. So some of your 0.5 um, elastic will go yeah, through yeah. there beautifully. Well, Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? And genuine Amazonite. 15 seconds. I'm, I'm only sorry that I, I basically haven't got enough of them to go around. If we had 500 of these, I still think they would actually sell out. You want to test can, this can theory? Can I it for a second? Of course you can. Of course you can. Um, okay. Let me just... Let me see. 60 seconds are up. Graphics are live. Right. Yeah. So that's got the strand through and 0.4 going through it as well. So you're probably going to be able to get even some of your thicker gauges yeah, of elastic you'd, through there. Yeah, you'd certainly get the, 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 the 0.8. Yeah, uh, 0.8. Sorry, the 0.5. I don't know how thick the temporary strand is, but that's 0.4 plus the temporary strand still going through that hole. There you go. Because I, I looked at the looked at the side of it, and I, and I didn't have to fight to get that through. It just slid in. Yeah, so I you thought, might oh, be surprised. Oh, oh, it's just gone in. 
And it's such Brilliant. a beautiful wearable saran. But look at that definition stunning. of cutting. That's what we're so proud about. You are wow. loving this. I, I, I wish I could join you to be truthful. I love Amazonite. It's a kind of gemstone that I wear quite regularly. Um, and it's, it's, it is that on-trend, stacker style, 30 centimetre strand. But it's the cut that we need to focus on. Because like I said, um, from wow. one supplier, Marie love was that. very, she was very adamant about saying this supplier is awesome. Um, yeah. Awesome with, you know, the quality of their cut. She said that to both Wayne and I this morning. Um, cut, 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 cut. She kept focusing on it. Was you know quality cutting. Uh, Thirty centimeters. Barbara, Claire, Weldon, Chew, Somerset, Tatiana, Cheryl, Suzanne, Maureen, Amy, Kerry, and Paul. Joyce, you've done it. Well done. That's the way to guarantee success, darling. Nice and early. Everybody still pays that final low. Brazilian Amazonite, Amazonite rather, which actually has that really perfect on-trend turquoise colour. Um, I've been using this alongside many of the strands that I've bought you so far today. It's going to fly out the door, and it is already. It's going to be an on-screen sellout. Please do not expect this strand to be on our live show again, because it won't be. It won't be. Um, same as the Spinel. I said the same with the Spinel. Mm -hmm. I actually brought that to air. It sold out, first appearance. Um, <clears throat> and there was 200 of those. One big price crash. Cool. Well, you're going to get the pricing before they all sell out. Well, that's so true. <laughs> you can't hang around. Yeah, sheet says differently, Emma. We don't pay attention to that, though, do we? Especially when Simon's today. out the building. <laughs> 20 carats of natural Amazonite. Well done, everybody. It's going under today. Under wow. 20 pounds. Amazonite is very rare, especially when you've got quality like this. It's a much harder gemstone to facet than, mm -hmm. than the likes of Spinel is um, because Spinel's, you know, very... So hard. It's so hard. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but to get that high luster, I mean, look at that. Stunning, to get that amazing it? luster. It's almost like you've got... It's effectively round the... Round the, the saucer you've got a facet each side yeah you've almost got like a knife edge i don't know it's not like sharp a as a knife all the way around the, the the edge yeah so you've got the light hitting that that's stunning it really is it's but very dramatic angles mm. which makes it incredibly challenging for any lapidus but that's what this supplier actually does and does best um when we actually spoke yeah this morning before the show literally um when I, let's go and talk to marie about the deal of the day we know it's very very limited why um why you know why bring 51 firstly as a deal of the day and she yeah. turned to us and she literally just said the quality of this cutting is off the chart. Um, I was like, right, there we go. Simple, simple yeah. explanation. And then, um, obviously, we knew about the Spinel strand also. Leicestershire, Fiona, Annette, Trish, Anna. I've got the final nine of these left now, so please don't hesitate on the wow. phone lines um, or checking out if you're with me on the web. June, Elizabeth, new customer, check out. You still pay only one postage and packaging. Ella, Hereford, uh, sorry, Hertfordshire, Renfrewshire, Julie, County Durham, you've got to check them out if you want to guarantee yours. When we say we had 51, we literally have 51. So uh, I'd imagine as a supplier, this is going to be someone... Um, this is going to be someone we're going to return to, but we can't always guarantee that they're going to be able to do the same cuts as this because no, I imagine no. they're quite labour intensive. Well, I would say, and I would imagine they're quite wasted. Well, you get quite a lot a of wastage is. from it. Yeah. yeah. Well, a marquee. Because, because the, the, yeah, those are points. Yeah. Yeah. A marquee. The that. reason why it's so expensive is because of the waste mm. that you actually get from cutting mm. it. Because if you think, you know, an angle like so, you're losing all of that really mm. aren't you so it's it, it it is yeah very waste uh, costly if you like as a cutting of a gems and hard quite yes. challenging to achieve yeah and um, start doing that with things like amazonite my goodness wow 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 it's on I the verge of selling out now tracy you'll love these um amy kerry and paul dorset you've done it uh barbara joyce uh hello to you fiona anna Trish, uh, June's there as well. Uh, if there's any of them left come the end of the hour, which I <laughs> highly doubt, to be truthful, um, then I'll be all over it as well. It's just such a stunning strand. So, so go on, Al. Are you going rose gold, mm. gold or silver with it? Um, rose gold. Ooh, rose and gold. I normally say gold, don't yeah. I? Rose gold. Um, my Amazonite jewellery is in rose gold. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> Not just being selfish, then. No, you know, totally mine's being selfish. in rose gold, so I'm having that. Totally, it. totally being selfish. No, I do love Amazonite yeah. with the pinks, the pinkish yeah. colours. Because of because of that, that yeah. 
uh, it's not a, a cold bluey green no. it's a warm tone it isn't is. it it is and i'm loving that and i would just use some small spaces some stir um rose gold little, uh, little three sterling mil. silver oh. three mil beads just maybe and i do it again three or five i have the odd numbers and then i just restrand and if you are crying out for those little spacer beads yeah. which i des i'm desperate for them yeah. Um, we. I have spoken to Caroline, who's just back off at honeymoon. Actually, she I is. spoke to her. She looks lovely, and she all blossoming and happy. Um, and yeah, they. Uh, she. They are items that she has per. She has purchased. <gasps> oh, so. excellent! Because we. My stocks have dwindled. Oh, my, mine's non-existent. I'm desperate for them, mm. and I did say any chance of an hour, Caroline? A yeah. whole hour, just a space of beads. <gasps> oh, really? I did ask. Oh, wow. We'll see. We'll see. Well, she's but they're on the cards. They've been Ooh. purchased, haven't they? I did ask Wayne. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, I know. Look at these. Oh, it's a Ooh. nice little line up there, Adam. Scoochy scooch. Seamless. Look at that. Brilliant. Oh, look at those. Is that from that that supplier as well? It's got to be. <gasps> it's from the same supplier, but in. That is gorgeous. Lapis. Do you know the other thing I love about this shape? Look how fluid that is, even though they're all packed on the strands. Oh, hello. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I like this. So even in the larger sizes, yeah. you get that drama. Look, ooh. Oh, wow. Absolutely stunning. So these are brand new premieres. I know that we've had requests for these as well. Ooh. So the lady, I for, sorry, forgive me, I've forgotten who your name, what your name was. But if you were the lady that was requesting these on Facebook and texting in on Thursday for Marie, then here's your chance. Um, I hope you're watching right now. Um, okay, lapis lazuli, um, and yeah, the cut that you uh, you saw in your Amazonite and in Spinel <coughs> was a German cut. That's what they actually call it. And it's that yeah. tapering. It's the tapering yeah. that, that, that uh, apparently fits that description, basically. It, it, it is part of a collection, a suite, basically, that we've actually almost bought uh, for one of a bed description. So it's all from the same supplier. So the Spinels, the Amazonite, and this strand, all from the same supplier. And the cut is described as a, um, a, a German cut saucer. Um, okay, straight down. Natural lapis lazuli. Wow. That is beautiful. It's isn't stunning. It? And to see that colour, the cut, I think really shows off this gemstone with that yeah. colour. And for it to be natural. I know, it's crazy, isn't that it? That is just phenomenal. Crazy, crazy price tag. I love that. Perfect Arabian blue. The drama. Let's see if I can sort of double it over the strand somewhat. Do you know, I think that's one of my favourite strands for a long time, that. It, prob it probably Love is one it. of mine. And the cutting, I think, is absolutely stunning. And like you say, it's the fluidity you yeah. get from this as well. Because you've got that movement for those... For, uh, same with the smaller one, because you've got that movement where it goes to a point at the end. Gives you that space. I know, Sarah. Yeah. Is that natural? Yeah. It is. I, I, you know, again, going back to the little little beads, um, Caroline, if you're watching right now, mm -hmm. see, we need lit spacer beads yeah. and we need loads. Little three mils. So it'd Between be lapis that. three mils, lapis three mil, lapis, or, or two, whichever. Yeah. It's alternating and it's showcasing the quality of the cuts, isn't it? Yeah. Perfectly. $34.95. They are on the cards, jewelry makers, so get these um, ahead of your sterling silver event. They are um, on your way, but such beautiful. This is going to be part, part of our essentials collection, basically. That's what they oh, all are. Oh, gosh, yes. Wow. Oh, the, oh, the spaces. I'm show. Are you? I think. Yeah, part of the Come essentials look. collection. $34.95 only. Hello to you, Kerry and Paul. Hello to you, Carol. Hello to you, Hertfordshire. Newcastle's brand new premiere strand everybody what a strand to get as a new customer yeah because don't forget you get the two others yeah. welcome to jewelry maker how amazing I know. and the introduction to jewelry maker dvd yes with the wonderful claire mcdonald wow okay okay let's do sticking with that cut just because should we do some ruby i love that wow isn't that stunning? Beautiful ruby. Perfect showing you how to use those spaces with it as well. Yeah. Separate them. Just show off that yeah. cut. Um, the, I'm feeling these on earrings. 
at the bottom yeah. of the long length. I'm I'm going back to Jan's yeah. setting a gem in it. Yeah. So I'd have that as a ring, set a gem. Oh, that look fab as a ring. Yeah. Really, really different. And I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think what designer am I thinking of? So it would actually sit proud of your finger because the centre of it would be on your finger mm -hmm. and then the sides would come up yeah, proud yeah, yeah. of it. And then if you set a gemstone, um, even one of the small... Um, um, Amazonites? No, Rose pink. quartz? Yes, thank you. Yeah. That one. Um, or if you're lucky enough to have some of our diamonds, come up, go through the diamond, go back down, then secure it onto the, the shank of your ring. That would look incredible and so, so, so this unusual. Is, these, the Love average that. carat weight of a ruby is two carats, which is quite large when it comes to your colour gemstones. Yeah. You've got 25 carats across five stones. Wow. So you know that they are averaging, and it is an average, obviously the larger one's going to be more, but averaging five carats each. So yeah. way above the average carat weight. And we're not stopping at 79.95. Simon says... That we can do this at $34.95, don't you, Simon? Yeah, yes, $34.95. <laughs> can we, like, superimpose him here? <laughs> what, between us? <laughs> yeah, well, or at least, yeah, sat down somewhere. Half out of all night five, please. <laughs> Do you think we're going to be in bad books when he comes back? Lovely. It's quite weird, isn't it? <laughs> Love those. I like that. It's worth the risk, isn't it, of being told off? It is actually worth the risk. Um, what's that? I love the way you're balancing that strand. I literally perched it on top there. But on the week, I'm sure it's Thursday. I think actually this later, this viewer has been asking quite for quite a while, um, saying please, please, please get some more mystic coated mm. clear quartz, the hammered effect. I really hope you're watching. I so hope that you are watching. Well, here they are. Text in if you are. Otherwise, I'm going to be really oh, stressing out that you haven't got Awkward. them. Awkward. Awkward. Six zero triple seven. Look at that. Look at Magical, mystical colours. Um, £3.25 and again you've got that really lovely saucer like mm. shape from the same supplier oh I don't know about this one not really sure I'm just say, thinking that maybe that saucer shape is their inspiration you know yeah, that tapering um, but this is actually they've literally been hand, hand chipped so every single one of these stones they've actually um, Alex spoke about it once the mineral guy you know, literally they chip it, it off and taper it down to these gorgeous shapes and then obviously coat it in that mystical wow. um, iridescence 9.95 gosh I hope you're watching right now please text in um, because I know that you put something on Facebook and you also messaged into the studio um, asking for these once again and I'm really hoping that you're watching so you don't miss out Beverly, Sue, Janice, Carol check out those baskets how many have I got then Wayne? A hundred? Oh, I've got a big quantity of them so they are well and truly back in stock then so happy days happy days did Simon say to do this? Oh, God, yes I did <laughs> now I have to say yeah. I know it's a bit extravagant, but I'm going to put those on a hook and put them on my Christmas tree. Wow. By the light, and you're going to get all that light bouncing off that, that, that coat, doesn't it? But you say that sounds a little bit elaborate. I was looking at Christmas tree de <gasps> uh, decorations. True. They're expensive. They are, true. true. Really expensive. These are genuine gemstone. I mean, heirloom Christmas decorations. Oh, wow. Yeah. Or if you've done any of the Christmas baubles, yeah. which we've got a few DVDs Ooh, yeah. with the baubles now, have one of those below yeah. with the tassel coming from it. Lovely. How amazing would that be? Beautiful. Oh, Christmas bauble DVDs. Adam's got oh. them. Adam's got them. Oh, we got those today. Oh. So these are yours, aren't they? They are. So a DVD in the booklet. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. Pull away. <laughs> Take that for a time.
Little sneeze. So, both, yeah, have we got these at some point, or have they been on air? Yeah, yeah. We've, so we've... you're suggesting sort of hanging one of your one, one of your yeah. mystic courts. So on the bottom on, of the bauble. Yeah, you you can take them down, and it gives it some weight, which is. <laughs> Yeah. So with the tassels, then you want a little bit of weight at the bottom of it, and yes. it will just give it that little bit of weight. Yeah, so I agree. Yeah, it's gonna, it's, it's, yeah, <laughs> uh, absolutely. Because, um, well, yeah, you can have it's such a thing as having a bauble that's too light, isn't it? Because well, otherwise it doesn't yeah. hang. Does well, it? when you've got, because if you if you've got the seed beads. And you and you make um, you make um, a seed bead coated bauble. Yeah, they've got no weight in them. No. So you want something something at the bottom to, to give, give it that, that weight mm. for yeah. your tassel. Yeah. Amazing. Right. Okay. Moving on. Let's do. Have a look at the other one. Uh, like Wayne, did you plan this? I want these. How many have we got? Please tell me this quantity. Oh, there's never quantity of spaces. Any. Not gonna get it. We're not gonna Just get them. I wish. I wish. Okay. So these I would be using with things like your lapis. <coughs> so just imagine. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Stunning. Yeah. Nestled in between there. That's what I was saying. You want about three or five. Yeah. Kaching. Yeah. I'd possibly put I three in a bracelet well. and then have some in the earrings. So you got one on the bottom of each Beautiful. earring. Beautiful. But I've got twenty-three. Twenty-eight. Oh. oh no! Is this Adam's turn for a prize? Um, Adam. Go. Oh. What? Hey, yes. What? <laughs> Go. You choose a prize. Uh, it's all right. You could do it through the mouth of uh, of Simon. <laughs> 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 Ten of these have already gone. Oh, have you have you put already chosen the prize then, Wayne? <coughs> Sorry. No, he says. Right. In fact, they've already gone. <coughs> Go on, Adam. I reckon 5.95. 5.95? Sterling. Sterling. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, you didn't realise it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 He is not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Simon. 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 Sorry,
And 23 oh, pence only. Oh, you had to go that one step further, didn't you, Wayne? That's every penny. But I, look, I think clear quartz is so underrated. I noticed mm -hmm. the other day they had the cut ones on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gone. Yeah, on, on and gone. gone. Well, because it, it, it's our diamond, isn't yeah. it? For us yeah. as jewellery makers, it's our diamond. And it's, it's a way of getting that wonderful it brilliance is. It is. at a fraction of the cost. Stunning. Um, Okie dokie. Oops. 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 Right. <laughs> is this what I think it is? Foolight, yes, we had a lovely strand Ooh. of Foolight earlier on this morning. Member of the Zoocyte family from Norway. I think it was named after um, a, after a, a mythical area within Norway. So it's really positive. It's a lovely story behind it as well. So a magical uh, a, a magical place that apparently they tell like, children the stories of. A bit like Brigadoon. Yeah. Is it Brigadoon, the island that supposedly appears yeah it's a movie. magical place that they Linda told Star. stories for for, for for yeah for 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 children if you like so um yeah named after that location 38 carats you've got a natural quality here and it is one of the most it's a really warm color almost uh rubelite-esque mm -hmm. in its pink a member of the zoocyte family um and one that not everybody definitely color gemstone specialists will be actually offering you i mean the only reason i'm going to say this the only reason that i think we have thulite is because we actually have our um gemologist here simon says 14.95 <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to do an impression <laughs> <laughs> First time a prize. Get one soon, Simon. It's <laughs> not feeling himself. <laughs> Bless him. Not feeling himself lately. Bless him. Or as Willow said to me the other day, <coughs> Mummy, I don't feel very special today. Aww. I know, it properly melted me. Feel better soon. It's like you're always special, with it? <laughs> Aww. 38 carats. She's gorgeous. Got, she's funny. She comes out with the sweetest things. Have you ever, you know, the song um, by Eva Cassidy? I had our, like, literally, like a playlist just on, on, on shuffle the other day. Um, <laughs> uh, yesterday it was actually. How a three year old literally puts me in tears. Um, and she, Eva Cassidy was on, which is not something that I would put on generally because it's quite, she's quite sad, beautiful mm. at the same time. Somewhere over the rainbow. And she said to me, Mummy, why is the lady sad? Aww. I said, oh, I don't know. She might not be sad, Willow. And she said, she's very sad. I think she's lost her mummy. Oh, oh, oh. I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was in tears. <laughs> Give me some wine. <laughs> 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 no, this was Once literally... Once she got home and wasn't driving this, anymore, of this, course. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this was actually in the day, so no. And you're just like, oh, my God, Willow, that's oh, too much. Bless. Too much. Um, OK, moving on. <coughs> Number 11. Oh, I had my so eye sorry. on these. You're all right, darling. Oh, um, look at those. Tiger's eye. Gorgeous tiger's eye cabochon. Five, but with all the same sizes, so you know exactly what you're going to get. I understand, but as, as, as a jewellery maker that does in particular commissions, um, you know, you're going to get repeat orders, aren't yeah. you? You're going to get people say, I want one that person, what you made for that person, or maybe something that you're actually wearing yourself that you don't want to part with, but you could almost remake. Um, that's where getting these parcels of consistent sizes, so they're all 18 by 13 millimetres, and they all have that level of chatoyancy. See, I love parcels like this because I, if I, I, I like things to be symmetrical. So if I know they're consistent sizes, that's great. I can do a nice symmetrical that's piece true. with it. That's true, actually, because not everybody likes... Um, random. Random or sporadic. Yeah. Some people like... Especially if you're a seed beater, I'd imagine. Not all. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. Not all. Yeah. I'm not, I don't want to make a sweeping statement, statement, but I imagine if you follow a pattern quite a lot, then you prefer mm. order. I suppose that's that is an assumption. Um, so you're actually getting fifty carats across the five stone. Now Simon says, "Hello, <laughs> Simon, so I'm going to do these these tags I for nine ninety five. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. <laughs> you're getting better at that. Thanks. Do you think I'll ever be one of those ventriloquists? Ventriloquists? No, not so much." No, it's pretty hard to follow, moving. you know, 
uncanny, Adam. That's the mouse, uncanny. The mouse movement that's on that picture. It's pretty hard to follow that. Nine ninety five for Brilliant. all five of these. That's beautiful. Wow, that's amazing. Use them with the gallery wire. Use yep. them with your silver clay. Yeah, prong absolutely. setting. Yeah, with your um, sheet. Oh, they are beautiful. Aren't with your they? with your seed beads. With your suit. That's another thing they're really really good for because they're consistent. With your suit ash. Oh yeah, lovely. Fabulous. Nine ninety five only. Love that. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nine ninety five, and that does get you all five of them, not just one individual cabochon here, jewelry maker. So lovely Namibian tiger's eye, natural colour, natural so, chatoyancy. Have you ever seen the snake rings? Yes. They'd make a nice snake In statement. Fact, snake ring. You got one here, didn't I? See, like a snake style. Oh, I'm looking across. No, I've only got a squiggly. I've yeah, got but that could. Ring. Can you kind of like hold? Hang on. Bring it over. Yeah. Let's try and put over. this on there. So if you imagine... Oh, it would go great in the middle of one of those rings. Wow, and just what, prong setting it? Yeah, you can just prong... You'd, well, I'd net those. OK. I'd net those. Oh, because of the depth? Because of the depth. Yeah. They'd be very easy to net, so... Wow. Love it. Well done. Moving on to 19. Oh, now, here's oh, a colour that I never... This. I remember, actually, your reaction the first time yeah. you saw this, because kyanite, most of us think, right, kyanite blue... But actually, you can get kyanite in green, and very rarely you also get it in orange. I didn't know it existed until I think it was Beautiful. last year when we first brought it to air. Um, it is much rarer than the green and the uh, and the blue varieties. Wow. Much, much, much rarer. That well, suits you. Also shows. Also shows um, how the actual crystal forms itself. That's natural colour. Um, often you get these lovely layers, shards, I suppose, um, of genuine gemstones, but natural. So most people think kyanite is purely blue, but you can get it in these wonderful, very autumnal tones. Who wants it at the lowest ever price? What? Massively. Oh, yeah. That's uh, Wayne's out. I'm going to take it to 7 95 yeah. Oh, sorry, Wayne sorry, isn't. Simon. Simon is. Simon. Seven ninety five, please. Has he got an accent, Simon? What accent is he? Black country. Black country. I'm not great with accents. So how do they talk? Kind of, a bit like Brummie. A bit Brummie. Yeah. You're right. Like that. <laughs> I can't do accents. I mm. like... I, I, <laughs> Wait, Wayne's, Wayne's saying, don't do that again. Why is that? I like the Brummie accent. It's a nice accent. I like the Brummie accent. I love, I love all accents, to be fair. Yes. London's my favourite, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah, I do like it. Oh, a Geordie. I love a Geordie accent. A Geordie accent, yeah, yeah. Um, and of anyway, course in Simon's accent, accent $7.95. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I can only do London. London. And even then, I'm probably not great. 795. 795. 795. It's very nasal, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. 795. I know they say eight like eight. Eight. <laughs> so it's just eight pounds. <laughs> you could do it in Welsh. You could oh. do a Welsh accent. Oh, uh, it's a fabulous price of 795. 795? Yeah. Gorgeous. Uh, 85 carats, you're going to get beautiful. I mean, I'm probably in. Hot water here, aren't I, on the old... Uh, <laughs> uh, someone's going to tell me off. Mandy, Sue, Lynn, Julie, Lorraine, Laura, Stacey, Paula. Hello to you, London, Florida. Hello to you, Dorset, as well. I am useless at London accents, uh, at, at all accents, rather. So, yeah, yeah, don't take offence. I love all accents, though. I think they're lovely. It's character, doesn't it? Seven ninety five should have been, what was it, 14, did you say? That's a big saving. Mm. And these are natural. One for the collectors and connoisseurs. How many do we have? Oh, there's a big quantity. So would you use this graduation? Would you just literally Yeah. Do Spaces that? between and restrand would yeah. look amazing. But you could take some out and use shards for earrings. You could um if sometimes you get a slightly broader one, you could wire wrap that into a ring. They're a little bit amber like as well, they're, aren't they? So oh, I know that beautiful I know amber. presenter Becky actually shared uh, a date for your diary and that's the latest amber weekend. <gasps> I think it's the beginning of December, the next one. Um oh, I'd be no. using this with amber. Oh, I think no. it'd be gorgeous. What uh, what? That means I'm not on. Oh no! Oh yes! 
it means you can that buy. That means I can shop. Yeah, it means that you can spend, 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 at free will. Look at that. I'd definitely use it alongside mm. amber, I think. I Your cognac that. colours. It's just stunning. Do you know what? I, I, yes, I do shop anyway. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, harsh. <laughs> do you know what? I'd, I'd, I'd actually think about putting it with, because I had a strand similar to that of the blue kyanite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd mix them together. I think they were launched alongside one another, actually. The oh, blue right. and the, okay. And the orange. Oh, and the green, and that's the green. right. Oh, could you imagine all three in a bit of an ombre? But beautiful with the amber, aren't they? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right then, moving on. Put those over there. Ooh. And put those there. Ooh, what's in number nine? Oh, we're back to the perfect pairs. <gasps> oh, yes. I love these pairs. I, it, I got every single one of them. It's well, it's a good purchase to be honest because um, when Marie and I was with Marie when she launched these, it was back on our birthday. Mm. Um, when she launched them, she said she thought she put the idea. I think it was to Prakash. I think. Um, over in India, who heads our India team, and actually said, I want perfect pairs in cabochons. And she was expecting them to be very expensive. Mm. Because if you take it to a, a gemstone, which is all about sort of your, um, the patterns, Mother Nature doesn't, doesn't mirror image that. No. You know, very rarely. Um, and that's basically what the team have actually tried to do, is create that mirror image, not just in the cup, but in the actual patterns itself. Now, this is your peanut wood, Jasper. Um, and if you look, you can see that's as close as identical. I mean, yeah. that, that, I mean that, yeah, okay, there's a slight differentiation there. But that is amazing to get oh. something which is even remotely close. Uh, Simon says what? <laughs> I'm not saying Thanks. this. Oh. Ah, this is going to 1295. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way too... So uncanny. I'm having way too much fun with this. <laughs> I don't know why, Simon. I do that voice for Brutus, too. <laughs> oh, there you go, Simon. You're in good company. <laughs> Sorry, Simon. That, these are fantastic. And, and I say it a lot because I like... If I make a pair of earrings, I want them... So if they've got a curve on it, I don't want them both to curve that way. I want one to curve that way and yeah, one to curve that way. Yeah, it's mirror image, isn't it? So You're it's right. a mirror image. Perfect Otherwise, they look off oh, sort of... Out of balance, yeah, don't yeah. they? I agree with you. But you notice even the cut has considered, you know, the Absolutely. cut of the shape has actually considered that. So they would be perfect yeah. earrings, for example. And like I say, I I'm, I was lucky enough to get one of eight. Did you get, so you got the rhodochrosite? Yeah. There blue lace side gate. Blue lace side gate. There was dendritic Botswana. open. Wasn't there Botswana? Or maybe not. Dendritic opal. Dendritic opal. Ooh. There was another one. Yeah, I can't remember what, was what it was. One? I can't remember. Amazing, though. But there wasn't... And, and the, the, the matching is phenomenal. Yeah. Really is phenomenal. Um, well done. Check them out. So this is a Simon's That's price. That's a good price. Let's go to... Oh, Chrysophrase. Oh, ombre. Um, yeah, amazing. Chrysophrase. So a, a very exciting gemstone. Very rare gemstone as well. Um, you get this wonderful energy from it, and I, yes. I, know, I, I could probably count on one hand the amount of chrysophrase strands that we actually have within the vault itself. Mm. So it's not, it's a little known gemstone, it's not well known on the high street. So, for those of you that are maybe thinking, oh, this one's a new one on me, um, it is on most people. And to be truthful, I don't really know um, a huge amount about the story either, other, other than um, it, you can have these sort of this semi-transparency and it kind of glows from the inside out um but christ face is normally very expensive as well um it's got it's got an it's got an energy to it that's for me always makes me think about uh your Zavrite garnet but simon says 9.95 please change that price wayne <laughs> <laughs> I love this. And it's nice that there are three mil round. Yeah. it's Because I love the graduated strands. It's nice to have the variety. So to get one strand, you could make a an ombre beady bead. <gasps> you could do, because they're the same size, you can do, you could use those in your looms. Oh, that would 
would be beautiful. Oh, yes. That would be amazing. I'd be, I'd be tempted to use it definitely alongside your deal of the day if you're lucky enough to mm, get that. Yes. They are stunning, aren't they? Quite a phrase. Like, it's a genuine natural gemstone as well. Um, and, yeah, it's just got that really beautiful... I love green in all yeah. gemstones. I think it's absolutely stunning. But it's got a warmth behind it and a definite zing, I yes. suppose. It has got a zing, a hasn't it? Nine ninety five. Simon said... It wasn't us. It wasn't us. It was Simon who did it. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Check out. Okie dokie. Moving on. Wow, where's uh, this morning going? Well, flown by. I'd use this with the Chrysler phrase. I, I I might have I might have twigged this one on the way past and pulled it out and then Lucy's like, I've got to set the boxes out. Do you mind? And I'm like, but I like. Were this you one. getting involved? I was. Right. I, I love dendritic opal. Absolutely. Did Lucy tell you off? It. No, she didn't tell me off. She just she just said she needed. To could she have it back because she needed to set up? And I, because I nicked it out of the box. Fair enough. I nicked it out of the box. This would be amazing with the dendrite opal strand that Lucy named the price on yes. earlier on, wouldn't it? <gasps> right, Alison, do you want to name the price? Don't think about it, just do it. Okay. <laughs> Don't think about it, just do it. Let's. Can we knock 20 quid off it? <laughs> Don't think about it, just do it. Simon says, £20 okay. pounds off that price tag. No, it's Alison who said no, that. No, we're not, no, no, we're not. No, I know it was Alison. I know it was Alison. Oh, oh, no, Simon but said. But pass the ownership, please, Alison. Simon said, knock £20 pound off, please. <laughs> <laughs> see, well, it's, it's well done. magic. It's there magic. Yeah, and see, by doing that... It's not me, then. It's not you. No, it came out Simon. of Simon's mouth. Channeled my inner Simon. Yeah. <laughs> Fourteen ninety-five <laughs> only natural dendritic opal, beautiful, all the way from Australia. Um, yeah, it. you can never go wrong with uh, with with, with, with a dendrite. It, it it is one of those gemstones. It's monochrome. It's beautiful. They're unique. Um, whether you actually whether you actually look at this and think it of of, of a crisp winter morning. I like, see that one there? That one like this morning, there. yeah? Which one? That one just there. Yeah, that one is beautiful. Isn't that? No, the one below it. Oh, you like that one? I like yeah. that one. Because you've got all the dark coming up slowly. It's like an ombre of dendritic opal. Oh, dendritic is. opal. That one, doesn't yeah. it look like an alpine scene? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Wow. Love them. Did you hear that we're meant to have a, um, a harsher winter than we did from when the beast from the east Yeah. Hit? Well, they had snow on Saturday on Snowden. Did they? Yeah, they had the disruption to the rail service because you know there's a little train that goes a little, little navicular yeah. railway. Get they had trouble with the with the snow on From top snow. of snow. Apparently, meant to be harsher this year. Round moving Mama the bunnies might this be weekend. Needing your four wheel drive, love, please. What's that? I said, Mama might be needing your four wheel drive, please. Yeah. It gets interesting, oh, doesn't it? Wow. Um, these with your dendrite opals, black onyx faceted rounds from 10 up to 14 millimeters. Wow. These will look lovely with your garnet Ooh. that's coming up. Moulin Rouge. And maybe even your rose quartz. Ooh. See, I, pink and black to me, that's it. That's, my go to is pink and black. That is Moulin Rouge, you're so right. Isn't it? It's that funny. is. It's a little bit saucy. Uh, yeah. Saucy? Oh, these don't think. I agree. I get that. Um, or also with your yeah. deal of the day. Beautiful. Simon says, £7.95. <laughs> you could keep it monochrome and go with the clear. You could. That, see, it goes... Oh, that's nice. It's going to go with everything, It goes with it? everything. It's black. It's black. Exactly. You could use... <gasps> yes, definitely. Some of your mosaic shells that we had earlier on. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, I mean, literally, the opportunities are endless. That's Simon, Simon Price tag, everybody. 240 carats of gorgeous black onyx with that lovely faceting. I, I really hope that these are always a firm favourite, uh, sort of a staple, if you like, within, mm. um, within our purchases because... You can literally take this, knot it with maybe... A, yeah. I, I would go contrasting, something oh, like would white. You? I'd contrast or cyan red. Wow. Pow. Yeah, Pow. and you can, and you could change it so easily, depending on what colour you put through, you'll yeah. change. 
totally change the mood of that piece. Yeah, turn it into something that's maybe yeah. a little bit more feminine or, or turn it into something that is, um, like you say, seducing or powerful, yeah, quite yeah. a powerful look. Seven ninety five. I think you're right there. I think that's a power strand as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you take it as a strand, if you take them as individuals, then you're changing the whole feel of it. Mm. But if you take that as a whole, that's a power strand. It's powerful. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, you pulled a stomach muscle, <laughs> coughing. Ah, ah, oh. oh, poor Adam. He's okay. He's okay. Soldiering on. He's soldiering on. What a trooper. Moving on to seventeen to the moon. Ah, uh, oh, this would look lovely with <gasps> him. Exactly. Wow. Tangerini, zesty, juicy. Yeah, that's that's. You see, that reminds me of Christmas, and I know no, not everybody would get that, no, but we used to get like a, a tangerine or a satsuma in your, in your stocking, and nectarines. Um, you can, I love when you can start buying your, uh, your tangerines yeah. and things. So but here's, a, here's a very serious question. Oh. Can anybody just eat one? I can't, I can't. I, like, if I eat a satsuma, you can guarantee that I'm, I'm eating more than one. So, so what's your favourite then? Because they've all got a slightly different taste, haven't they? I'm very particular about my satsumas. I like my clems, my clementines. I'm, I'm a clementine. I like the ones which are a little bit squishy, so you peel them. <laughs> you peel them, and they tend to be the juiciest. Or your easy peelers, they're good yeah, too. Easy, they, they tend to be clemsy easy peelers. No. Have you got satsuma easy peelers? No, not always. Not always. But can Clementines have pips? No, they don't. See, um, no, must be where that's happening then. Five ninety five for these. Well, that's the, the cost of a few Clementines. Whether you sit on the Clementine or the Satsuma fence, whichever one it is, both, both, all your easy peelers. Almost, almost into the season now. I did have some, and it was just a little bit early. Mm. It's getting there. Yeah. I love them. I eat too many of yeah, them. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. Love me. that. So yeah, whether it's whether it's at Halloween, whether yeah. it's uh, spice and warmth yeah. from Christmas, because you could also say you know, again talking to a friend at the weekend, very Moroccan colours. Yeah. Very warm tones. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Alongside the garnet that's coming mm. up a little bit later on as part of your twelve o'clock hour. Yes, we're doing this in the 12 o'clock yeah. hour. You will not believe the price of those, by the way. You will not believe the price. Um, Okie dokie, moving on to... Oh. Oh, these gorgeous opals that we've been showing throughout the course of the morning. Jewelry makers, they are up next, yeah? Going straight into it, okay. <gasps> uh, straight into it. So we've reached for these. What size? Uh, here you go. Um, I'd say these are more rounds, personally. No. No. Where's that, then? Yes. I did wonder, I was going to say, when you said T-bar, I didn't think it was that one. <gasps> now we're talking. Here we go. That with the last strand. Yes. Beautiful. This with the onyx. That with the onyx, beautiful. That this. with the clear quartz. Yeah, orange kyanite. That with the um, lapis. Amazonite. <gasps> that with the deal of the day. Yeah, we could go on, couldn't we? It's just literally... That's... That's genuine, Everything. natural Australian opal. Wow. And we're at £10.95. How often do you get a completely pure white naturally? I was just thinking that. There's you don't, so do few you? pure whites. No. And that's beautiful. Pure, angelic white, I suppose. Mm. 8 95 in a beautiful faceted rondelle strand. Love that. I mean, there's... I mean, they, you know, there's not a single... That's like freshly fallen st snow before anybody's even... like a, Even a, so much as a little bird has walked across it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Completely flawless, isn't it? How about... Oh, go on. Simon says... <gasps> uh, I'll take this to £5.95, please. Oh, go on then, Simon. Lowest ever price. Thank you, Simon. That's very good of you. <laughs> he's going to hate us. He probably right now... I hope now, he's not watching. <laughs> I hope he's not as well. Yeah, he's not... When... You, want, you want us to do it again? Okay, so we're going to send Simon... A little video. Simon, so in your absence... 
in your absence, you know, we, we, you know, we thought, well, we miss your face and, you know, the fact that you have brought us these amazing deals. And, and frankly, we don't want the responsibility of these prices, so we made sure it came from your mouth like this. Five pound ninety-five, please. Lowest ever price. <laughs> Get well soon, Simon. Oh yeah, feel better. Yeah, feel better. <laughs> feel better soon. Five ninety-five. <laughs> I don't. I'm not saying that's how you talk, by the way. But it's better than a brummy accent. Yeah, I can't. I can't <laughs> do. I can't do accent. So, yeah, was it okay? So I'm sorry you kind of took on the Brutus voice somewhat there. Feel better soon, Simon. So absolutely shunned all responsibility from any member of the crew right here, right now. Uh, hello to you, Somia. Hello to you, Helen. Uh, Conway, Sue, jo Judith, Julie, Manchester, Florida, Elizabeth, London. It is like that, like you said, a really beautiful innocence, it this is. strand. It is. And it's natural. I know, that's phenomenal. Like you say, you don't get... I can't think of another pure white. Not pure white. No. Magnesite isn't pure. No. Um, and we're talking naturally, aren't we? Howlite isn't pure. No. Um, pearls are different because they've got an iridescence to them and then they don't, don't tend to be that absolute white. White, white. Uh, Yeah, you're struggling, aren't you? I really am clutching at straws here. Because Moonstone, you're getting that. Yeah. Um, it's very few. I know. Very, very few, unless it's actually a synthetic gemstone. Five ninety five for this. Well done. Check out those baskets, everybody. We're nice alongside your kit that's coming up in the oh, next hour as well. Beautiful with the kit. And it's another one of those strands that's a complete stash builder. Yeah. It's something you have in there. Definitely. Fourteen. Oh. oh. Oh, yes. Oh, then now those it's... two together would be nice as yeah. well. How delicate is that? Beautiful. Simon likes it, by the way. Oh, that's good. Shoo-wee, we were kind of worrying that you would, uh, that he might, he might uh, object. But he's got a personality, of course, so he don't mind. You know, yes, you have to have a little bit of craziness to work here, don't you? Oh, you do. Um, how about some lovely pink opal? So it is a very delicate pink, isn't it? Beautiful hint, like Japanese yes. blossom. Yes, perfect uh, for blossom. Yeah, and in your seed beading as well. Who wants this as a single figure price tag? Simon says, £7.95, please. <laughs> you can actually be here, Simon. So if you do a, a tree of life, Yes. This is the perfect strand to do a, a, a blossom. So, so make your tree of life into a bonsai, proper bonsai style. Yeah. And it will do an amazing tree of life. I made a box once and I put, um, I think they were slightly bigger and I used them to make blossom on this box. So it was like a, a Japanese blossom on top of the box. That sounds... Lovely. That sounds so beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and Tree of Lives is... Have you noticed they're really popular again now? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they've always been something that we've made here, but um, yeah. my mother-in-law, actually, um, Tom, Tom had bought something, and it, I said, it came in a little jewellery box. I was like, what's that? They said, well, I've just treated my mum to a necklace. I went, OK. Um, lovely. Uh, Sterling Silver, opened it up, Tree of Life pendant. I was like, why didn't you speak to me? Yeah. <laughs> I would have got you one. And it literally is a lovely little Tree of Life pendant. Um, but yeah, to be able to make ones with gemstones at dawn yeah. uh, um, and a Japanese blossom, so oh, beautiful, lovely. isn't it? And you really have to catch it at that perfect well, time of year, don't you? They have um, celebratory, like, not fiestas, um, what's the word? You know... <laughs> I know, carnival Carnival type, type things. Yeah. things that yeah. There's this whole... And why wouldn't Ethos you? or whatever built around the blossom period. Yeah. The, yeah. The, it's stunning. Isn't it like three weeks of a year? Something three like that. Three weeks is a very short window. Um, okay, moving on. Right. Da, 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 da. These are lovely. <laughs> I did to <a> puppy power. <laughs> I don't even realise I'm doing it. Yeah, hang on. Simon says, da, 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 puppy power. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm childish. I'm so childish. Here you go. Ooh. 
Wow. I might have to buy this strand. I love oh, wow, radicose. I, I do too. And the more, which is unusual for you, because you don't normally go for pink. pink. But because it's got the colour banding in it and the shape and, mm. oh my goodness. <gasps> Simon's going to take these to the lowest ever price. I'm turning them just to show you the yeah. interest on both front and reverse. Oh, oh. Simon says lowest ever price. How about £17.95? pence? I know, sorry, Simon. Um, this is Argentinian rhodochrosite as well, wow. which I can't say for sure, wow. but I know much of the Argentinian rhodochrosite grows in stalactites and stalagmites, which is very Ooh, expensive, apparently. Yeah. Um, that's totally natural. As the name suggests, um, rose-like. So that's yeah. where the name suggests, but very expensive gemstone. It's You are looking for, it's not one with absolute flawless clarity. It's an opaque gemstone with areas of transparency. And you get this really oh, lovely, all, almost like floral patterns within the actual gemstone itself. I'm buying this strand if there's any of them left. That's lovely. It reminds me of like um, a raspberry ripple ice cream. Mm. See, I, oh, I want that piece there. <laughs> to do a, a deco inspired piece because it's so symmetrical that one's so beautiful yeah you could really take that banding through into your eye work it's stunning isn't it stunning you've got rings there again it's a very easy piece to do rings from i like that one yeah i'm just gonna That's say that so would be pretty. a nice ring size yeah wouldn't it? yeah just pop that one. Beautiful. Um, with with the bundles of the wire that we had earlier on yes. for six pounds your fault Alison. That is That's stunning. lovely, isn't it? And you would pay, what, seventeen ninety five for that one on its own. Yeah. Amazing. Stay where you are, jewellery makers, and don't go anywhere because we have got one of the most stunningly elegant kits coming up after the break. I do love it, and your jewellery is just beautiful, okay. Alison. It really, really is. Rodocrosite would go amazing because it is the queen of your agates. I'm talking about the wonder that is blue lace and the queen of inspiration. Aww. Ah, lovely Alison. <laughs> Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com.
You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Makers, where has this morning gone? Did I fall asleep? Simon. <laughs> no, it's it, poof. just flown by, oh, hasn't no. it? But you see, when you've got such amazing stuff coming through, yeah, and it, it flies. It really does fly. Well, My your jewelry. next kit, beautiful jewellery. But <gasps> Alison, I have this. to show this because um, whenever we bring your DVD, your clasp DVD, it sells out um, historically. So we have it back in stock. This is the class DVD, um, and it's teaching you how to make your own, basically, yes. isn't it? So that is coming up within this hour. Be lovely addition, actually, alongside the kit. And I have to say, this amazing. is one of the prettiest kits. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. The blue and the gold just go. Well, let's show your jewellery first, shall we? So um, here it is. So really, really regal designs. Um, and I, th and I think because, you know, it is the queen of agates with your blue lace. It's very rare. It's very expensive normally. Yeah. I can see your inspiration. So Lacy Days, it's called. And yeah. Alison, just gorgeous. Oh. Talk us through each I've one. To, I've got to centralise that. Sorry. That's all right. Talk <laughs> us through each of those pieces. So what, do you, what, what you did with each, so, each of those. So I started with the main, the, 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 the sort of Victorian-y mm. vintage piece. This is quite Downton. Yeah, I love it. It forms it's the most beautiful choker. Yeah. Um, and you've got the little connectors between. And the drape, it just works so well. Yeah, it does. I could have gone anyway with this, but it just... And I think you get that real femininity from that beautiful, gentle blue of the blue lace agate. It's just dreamy. I love it. I love this kit. And then is that a bit of chain mail that yeah, I spot got, the other side? We have got a little bit of the old Byzantine weaves. Lovely. So, so interspersed with... Um, Oh, I've forgotten the name of it. Uh, um, Mobius. Mobius, thank you. I always forget it. Um, so, so yeah, so that's... And it, it can just show you, you can go... Because I hadn't used as much wire in the in the other two, then I thought, well, I need to use more wire. So you've wire. made all of those so jump rings. So I've made all the jump rings. Wow. Like, like I showed you before, made yeah. all the jump rings. Um, yeah. And then the lovely uh, hand to wrist adornment. Oh, my. Classic Alison... As a Tazza. Yeah. Classic as a Tazza. Like hand to wrist. And mm. a, a squiggly ring. Beautiful. Um, your mic's gone, Alison. Oh. So whilst I'll, I'll talk you through the rest. So you've also got a really lovely uh, sort of shoulder skimming pair of earrings there as well. So um, I tell you what, how about I show you what components we actually have within the kit. Starting with this beautiful beautiful selection of your blue lace agate so this is your six millimeter and your eight millimeter uh, blue lace these are natural colors so yeah these haven't been dyed which no. most people think when they see uh, blue lace don't just want to bring you that and and yeah if if you're wondering oh gosh well I've, i never knew that agate came with such mm. a it almost reminds it always reminds me a little bit of cameos yes um yeah and you know you said about victorian i can mm. see your inspiration there because when i picture a victorian lady 
sort of in her address, her attire, if you like. It's usually in sort of this colour blue yeah. with lace. Lace at the top. The parasol. Yeah. It's always those kind of colours yeah. that I imagine. Um, you're not just getting that, though. So your carrot weight, sorry, I should mention, you've got 80 carrots in your 6 mil, 160 carrots in your 8 millimetres, two reels of your wire, which is your 0.8 and also... Uh, your point four. So this is literally what you used yeah. to make every single piece. Yeah. Have I used anything apart? Yes, I have used three head pins, four head pins. We'll let her off, actually. I've used four head pins. Sorry. We'll let you off that one. We'll let you off. But Still you could, not done. only because I didn't want the loop. <clears throat> Still not done, though, because you're also getting all of these. These are so sweet, aren't they? Oh, they, they are adorable. And perfect. If you use them to get with this kit, amazing. Yeah. If you don't... Fine. But it's so easy because they're not fixed in permanently. All you've got to do is open the loop and change it when it's not Christmas time. Oh, yes. So you could change that to a different um, gemstone. We looked at the pink before. Mm -hmm. You could very easily pop a little delicate pink, um, pink opal on the end of there. Or you could have one of your um, uh, uh, red. What's the red called? Garnet. Come on, brain. You well, know, the little granite hearts you could drop down from there. And yeah, look beautiful. they'd be beautiful. The garnet are going yeah. to a crazy price within this hour. I'm feeling actually f colouring these, enamelling these, and actually, uh, you know, using using. Uh, it's easy to do, though, isn't yeah. it? It yeah. is easy to oh, do. Oh, I love the f colour. Yeah, and you can literally colour the leaves and the bells. Yeah, yeah. And the little dongers. What do they call? What do they call them? They call it a clapper. A clapper. There we go. The clapper within the bell itself. Yeah. Um, so such a pretty, pretty kit. Now, I'm... I'm... <laughs> uh, Simon? Simon? Hi, Simon. How are you? 34.95, please, <gasps> Alison. Wow. That, I mean, for the blue lace agate, I, that's one strand. The price of one strand, Absolutely. really. Absolutely. Because, because it's so rare. And when you think, you know... It's a beautiful coloured agate on its own, naturally, mm -hmm. which is... Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got all that patterning. And it's just such a it, it's just such a delicate, beautiful, feminine blue. Well, it's like angelite. Yeah. Um, oh, nice with angelite. Amazing with angelite. Because you just get this really lovely... Calm. Calmness. Yeah, I totally peace. agree. It, it, yes, it's a peace... Happiness, tranquility, yeah, yeah. you know, all of those lovely yeah. words. Um, just beautiful. And for that reason, I suppose, yeah. it's very, very popular in the gemstone world. I'm sure as well, for those of you that, um, you know, are strongly into Sir Gemstone's mythical powers, then if you research a blue lace agate, they will have uh, lots of uh, interpretations there. What are you going to demonstrate then, right. Hazard Once I've shoved you out, the way. Okay, I'll move. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. No, no, I no. Mean no. That. Just I'm, a little. I do get in you're people's fine. personal space. So I'm going to show you how to make the big necklace. Okay. Okay. Now, it's surprisingly easy. It is so easy to make this necklace. I don't believe that. This is a complete beginner's piece. I don't believe that. It is. It is. Trust me. So what have you got? You've got a bit of rosary linking with your point four to do the drapes. Okay. So we, we, did, the, we did the wrapped loop earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, if, we, if we have time, I'll, 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 I'll quickly redo it. So there's a rosary link in. So you, you want to do the drapes and you can do them as big or as long as you can. Intersperse them with those. Um, I do, I'm taken with this idea with the pink uh, opal rondelles earlier. Yeah, nice. Would look so, it would make it even more feminine. And, I, you know, people who know me know I'm not that feminine, really. I don't know why I'm trying to cut the knot off when I've, when I've um, already opened this side of it. Here is one I prepared ah, earlier. There you go. Um, so, but the, the rest of the, the big, the choker part, and that would also make, equally, it would make a nice bracelet yeah, with the double, bracelet. the double gate. So what I've done is it, it's, um, it's a simple loop. You're not doing a wrap loop or anything. You're just doing a simple loop, and you're going to pop two of them on, two of the larger. They're eight mils, aren't they? Yeah, cool. Do you know what I always find fascinating when you've got gemstones? And I know it's because it's the diameter. But when you think there's only two mil difference between those two beads. Yeah. And it looks... So much But more. it's diameter. 
Yeah. It's diameter and it looks so much more. Anyway, so to start off with, we're going to do a loop. Now, if you struggle to get consistent loops, use, use, um, use your baling pliers on the narrowest part. Um, I'm going to use I'm going to use my round nose pliers because I only want little loops. Turn your loop, pop your pop your pliers in, and just turn it around, and then kink it back. So you get you get your your eye pin effectively. Slide your gemstones that down. Now bend it over, and then you're just going to wrap all the way round. Roll it so that it's tight. Get the right size. If, if you find it's too big, you can just pull it and then roll that loop down, okay? So then we're going we're gonna to just bend that up, purely so you can get your pliers in. Snip it. Now, you've, you've now got that loop, which is great. This is brilliant. We need to do more of them. The quickest way to do it is to then undo it. And then you're going to have to flatten the end off to get your gemstones out. There we go. Pull your gemstones out. Open up the other side. And then once you've got this, basically what you're doing is you're creating a template. Now I know this seems um, easy, but I don't really, you can do it the other way. And I've really trashed that piece of wire, but... I'm going to just now cut the end off because I've got that slight... It avoids getting this bit and wastage, so I'm just going to cut that off. Now I can sit there and say, right, how many pairs do I need? And I'm just going to snip the bits of wire off. And each time you want to do one, you've already got your template piece, which is your trashed piece. And you just snip, snip all these off. Whoops. And it's going to be spot on. Pop your two pieces. You can do this with if you do it singly. Um, the lady had, oh, I've forgotten her name. I'm, I tried to remember it. On the Wall of Fame had done it singly. I've, I've got oh, two okay. beads on. She'd done it with the Carnelian. Yeah. Um, and then you've just got to roll, the, roll each one down. And you're, and, you're, and you're there. When you get to the other side, just bend it back a bit. See, I've done these on a bigger loop. That's why you use a baling pliers. Pull that back out there. Just make that a little bit bigger. There we go. And so you're going to create these. Now I would actually twist those so that they were both the same. There we go. Okay. So you make you make all of these. If I put, I'm going to pull this over. There we go. So this is this is for these top sections. Each of these are separate pairs. Yeah. So you make those. We now need to make. Sorry, I'll <laughs> show you the pairs without actually showing you. Yeah, it's really helpful, isn't it? So now we need the little connectors between. If you've got connectors, then then fine, use your, use your connectors. Um, so I'm going to make these little connectors here. I'm going to take that to one side out of the way. And again, once I'd got one, so I'm going to... I'll use this bit here. Here's one I prepared earlier. I'm just going to roll down one side. Now I want it so that you've got enough space for the two so this is this piece is going to be too big so I, I'll just keep rolling that until I get it to the size I want which is about a little bit smaller than that there we go so it doesn't matter if it's exactly the same as that one because I'm, I'm doing an, an, another one so now you need to trip now don't cut there because it's the wrong side so you want to go here and get rid of these loops okay Cut them singly, Alison, then you won't wreck your pliers. That's a bit too much, so I'm going to trim them. Always allow to trim some more off because you can't add on. So then you'd undo this and again, cut pairs. I'm going to just make another one. Um, and then basically we're going to sit these side by side. So I'm just going to trim that off. But I need to make this one a bit smaller. But once you've got it to the right size, like I say, you just cut each of these um, to that size. Roll that in. There we go. So can you see how we've got the right size there? Trim this one off. These are such a statement necklace. And people love them. They go nuts for them. 
but they're actually not complicated to do. So we've got a little connector. Um, we're going to weave it together. You could just overhand wrap it if you wanted to. Um, I've done a little weave. It's one of my favourite weaves. Um, I'm just going to cut. I would do this from the reel, but I'm cutting it off purely because it's easier to demo. So I'm going to pick this up. And I tend to start in the middle, and I'm going to go all the way round one of them. I'm going to fetch the other one in. Then I'm going to go over both of them, <coughs> round the back and through the middle. I'm going to go all the way around that top one, round the back, through the middle. All the way around the bottom one, over the top, through the middle. So you're going all the way around. It's not, most weaves you do involve a figure of eight. This does not involve a figure of eight. I, I was doing a, a bit of a tutorial for this weave for something else. Um, and I put in big letters, do not figure of eight this weave. You go round in the same motion. So you go all the way around the top. What would happen if you did? the bottom. You get a different weave. Mm, Nothing's okay. going to happen. Nothing drastic is going to happen. Okay. But you'd get a different feel. It would just give you a figure of eight weave. But this gives you, um, I use this for, for ring shanks all the time. So you just go all the way along this and they're not big connectors. Pull it between the two wires, trim off one side. Trim off there, turn it round the other way, then we're going to go through there, round, through. You see how you kind of get into this loop, <coughs> so you come through, then you go round and through the middle. You get into this sort of pattern with it. A rhythm. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for, a rhythm. Okay, so you get your little connector, just give it a little bit of a squidge, and then all we've got to do is connect these to the connector, connect you to, and you just build them up. So you make your connectors enough so that they're not mega tight to each other. So your, your gemstones have got a little bit of movement. So we just connect these like that. I'm going to just undo that to all of them. And then with our rosary link sections, which I've used seven beads, I find I like to have an odd number for the beads, for the, for the um, drape, purely because if you have an even number, you get that happening. You get a point. Because you've got an odd number, you get the gemstone hanging down the bottom, so you get a loop. <clears throat> more they than do a... that in garden designs and interior design. Odd numbers. Odd got, numbers you've, got the a way to go. you've got a central focus point, yeah, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. And the same with the whole necklace itself... Because you count round these and I've got a central point there where I'm going to have my central longer drop. So these are coming be from between the drapes and all they are, again, I've just used a simple loop. So for the drapes, I've used a rosary link. It's a bit more fluid for the other ones. So the, the point eight does actually go through the smaller gemstones and I've just used three in the middle and then popped one of the... Um, bells on and the same with the other two come back under there and that's that's it it's such a simple necklace to do so for the clasps and i go through similar sorts of clasps to this on the dvd well, to do your fancy clasps with we have that dvd uh -oh. we have that dvd <laughs> Do you want to do it there? Yeah. Is it an ideal time? Yeah, it is. I was going to say, you could very easily put a box clasp on this and it would look good. So if I turn this round, talk us through. In fact, I've got to show you that picture on the front first. Cause... So, so I challenged myself and it was quite a challenge. It's a box clasp you made, made out of sterling a silver wire. box clasp. You yeah. are so clever. You really are, Alison. And... But I, and I was thinking, well, you know... You don't oh always have goodness. one. You want to be able to. Um, you want to be able to make one the right size for what you're wearing. You know, for for your piece of jewellery. Can I just say you've made a box clasp? Like, I did seriously. make a box clasp. Um, so this this 
DVD rather, um, I almost said CD. This DVD <laughs> sells CD. out every single time we bring it to air. It's an hour of the wonderful Alison um, talking you through how you make class. Because like you said, you don't always have the ones no. that you need, which you don't want that to hinder you making that, Pete, your no. inspiration. Absolutely. So um, it's giving you the knowledge, if you like, um, and the skills to make your own. 20 of these have gone already in a heartbeat. So an organic toggle. What's an organic toggle then? So it's more free. Okay. It's not a uh, uh, regimented. Most of my most of my work wire work is quite precise and and. Did you go neat. regular? I went. I went random organic wrapping it. Oh, I it's did. Not like it. it was hard. It's not like our <laughs> Alison. But it's an easy style to do. Okay. Then you've got the embellished toggle. Yeah. So when you're adding things to your toggle, so if you've got a pearl necklace, you might want a pearl clasp to mm. go with it. Mm. You know, and you can mix and match. You've got your woven toggle. Yeah. So so. Wire woven. A hook clasp. Yeah. So do you want, you know, because those, those are, um, the toggle ones are all a toggle clasp. What's so this, this one pictured here? A hook. That's not, that's the front of the back, that's the front oh, of the bracelet I with see, the I see. box clasp on. Then you've got the box clasp and also yeah. your finishing touches. I mean, it is such an awesome DVD. So that's the other side of that yeah. bracelet. Do you know what? Well, you assume the, the clasp, this is a prime example. The clasp doesn't have to be the mechanics. It can no. be as beautiful yeah. as well. Um, so these are flying already. Um, yeah. I mean, you only launched this recently, didn't you? It wasn't that. It's not that. It's not. It's not. I think it's it not was this brand year. new. I know it's not brand Is new, it? but I can't remember now. I think it was this year. Yeah, I think so. February. February. Yeah, there we go. Loved that. Absolutely loved that. <sighs> it's so beautiful. Um, and it's about having the you know the tools because we've all been in a situation mm. where you kind of think, oh no, can't make that. Uh, can't make that. Haven't got a clasp. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And to have something as ornate as that. You know, and, and it's not as hard as you think. It's not. Uh, it's, it's really not as hard Can we start as using think. Azataza? <laughs> that has stuck Azataza. now, hasn't it? it I think, has every, stuck. I think I'm, everybody I'm... calls you Azataza. Are you all right with that? I'm all right That's with okay. that. Yeah. You will tell me to zip it. If Stop you saying Azataza. Yeah. Stop yeah. now. Don't call me Ali. I don't care then. Just don't call me Ali. Okay, you don't like that, do you? Nah, no. Like bad, bad childhood memories, Ali. Really? Mm. Oh, definitely not. I was picked not... on as a kid. No. Terrible, yeah. Speak up, children, if you get picked up on. Absolutely. Don't suffer it. Definitely, Don't be definitely not. No. Don't be bullied. Tell your mummies and daddies. Yeah. I'll sort it out. Probably sort it out. I, yeah, sort I, I remember it well. Yeah, I remember it well. It's oh. a, it's not nice. Not nice. And it's a whole different world, isn't it, right now? Oh, yeah. The social yeah, media. Absolutely. Social media. Such it pressure. bothers me. It really, really bothers me, social media. I would happily delete all social media if I could. I don't, because obviously, you know, at the same time, it keeps you connected with people, yeah. to people that you don't see every single day. For example, some of my family live up in Scotland. Yeah. Um, and I, I can communicate with our jury maker viewers. We've gone off on complete tangent now, haven't yeah. we? But yeah. yeah, 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 I agree. I agree, I agree. Not for just the few. No, Not for no. Just the few. It, it, the, there's people who ruin it, but it's a really good tool. But yeah, no, stay safe, children. Did you say three? I'm so glad. I love these. <gasps> oh, yes. When I love the sound of them. That would be something I would hang. This is awesome. I would actually hang these like so. Don't you think they're so autumnal? That's beautiful. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I'd use these in the house. They wouldn't actually be a piece of jewellery as such. I'd actually use them as adornments for your home. They're flying out the door. When were these first launched? Wow. Of course. So, if you... If everyone oh. checks out they've already sold out, I wanted these. So if you wanted to make a pendant and you're not quite sure how you could you know, fix it if you didn't have the drill hole, if you run wire through oh. that groove, oh. they yeah, look yeah, amazing. Yeah. Just it's that got that thread drill hole silver. as well, isn't it? I know but it's got the drill hole, but if you put that thread of, silver, uh, of gold down the middle, it would look amazing and then tuck it behind the back. Like They're just beautiful. Look at that. Gone. Well done. We earrings. need more of those, please, Marie. Yeah. More, 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 the more noise is beautiful of them. Number four. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's an agate. Look at this. I've never even seen it before. It's oh, cool. So it's. Oh, I don't even know how to go back yeah. holding it. 
Here you go. So look at that for a shape. Yes. I'm here to help. Thank you. Oh, hang on. How do you even go about faceting a gemstone in this kind of shape? I know. So it's got a really unusual. It's beautiful. I could you imagine that as a ring, looking at that on your finger? Absolutely amazing. Yeah, nice ring. Um, a pair of earrings, I think. Beautiful earrings. Um, yeah, lovely pair of earrings. Quite unusual. I think, I think, I think... <laughs> really lovely pair of earrings, mm. I think. The quirkiness of the shape. How do you even go about doing that? I know, the skill in that Match, is phenomenal. twist, tear, hold... I like um, the hos drilled. Hos... Oh, yeah, tear. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's very unusual. I didn't even, I've never seen it before. And also it's like Fabulous. really it's matte, but it's also quite smooth to the touch, if you know what I mean. I'd actually use this as a kind of thumb stone. Oh yes, I could imagine that. It's very therapeutic, isn't it? You're all over it. It's very quirky. It's two pounds. It's the kind of thing that you could get home and then kind of think, right, okay, well, I'll think about how I'm going to use it at a later stage. Absolutely. But even if you did, something like... What do you think? Oh, so how about... I know I haven't done this very neatly, but... Dropping down from your blue lace jacket. <gasps> having those in the, in the... Oh, there you go. Having and... those dropping down when, when Christmas is over and your bells have gone... <laughs> yes, yes, Alison. <coughs> Sorry. What do, what do you replace? What do you replace your bells for? With with with, with that? It's not beautiful. With okay. your tear. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> Sorry. Yes. Moving on to. Uh, so I launched these. They're very cool. Very unusual, and they're all hand-finished as well. Ooh, so every we single one of these are handmade. <gasps> so very, if you're looking for something that's a little, drilled wow. too, so you can literally pop the head pin through the centre or a bit of wire through the centre. But look, it's, an, it's surrounded by beautiful wood. Doesn't it look like a thumbprint? It does. Isn't that amazing? Oh, wow. Oh, that one. That's that. the earth. There's the drill. Oh, yeah, it does. The drill hole. So I, I'd wear those as earrings. Yeah. Don't you think? They're phenomenal. That's almost well, cosmic. Cosmic. What were you thinking, earrings? Yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking. Didn't you say you you were responsible for these? No, I, no. I just launched oh. them. Oh, you launched no, them. No, I, I, I was going to say. I, well, I, I didn't you. find them. <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, no, no, no. Not me. <laughs> it's so because. Deco and everything like that, you know, yeah. all, your, all your vintage and stuff. And again, they're lightweight because it's wood exactly. and it's abalone as well. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I think Marie bought these. Wow. Um, and they were launched again. They were actually sort of uh, uh, launched this year. I remember them flying out the door. You do get two of them. Yeah. Just, just pop them onto a pair of shepherd hooks. See, I'm thinking if you... I'm going to turn them that way. Uh-huh. And have them sort of the centre of a, a choker. Very or nice. turn them that way. There you go. In a big Brilliant. bangle? Yes, that's yeah. a great idea. If you Fab, multiple, you probably wouldn't need that many. But to I, actually want, go I, around want, the I want the world. I just love that. The world. Very cool. Isn't it? I think quite sci-fi. Slightly sci different world. Yeah. But... Quite sci-fi, I see. Um, okay. It's brilliant. Moving on. Oh, this strand is <gasps> beautiful. Oh. No, that in that design. That's yeah. in that design, the sparkle from that. Look at those. This has to come from that same supplier that we were talking about during the wow. deal of the day, just the high luster. Um, going You're straight down to it. Look at there. those. How many we do, do we have? Oh, I would have bought this strand. I'd Alongside love to buy maybe that. your garnet. Another Simon says, say. under, four uh, under five pounds, please, wine. I must have a price. 
That's beautiful. They're stunning, aren't they? Oh, look at that. It's, it, it's a silver variety mm. and it just glistens. Five pounds, four ninety five in total. That's beautiful. Yeah, I think that's what this might be added to my order. And mm. alongside the kit, my one hundred percent alongside your deal of the day. Hi Tatiana, you won't be sorry, you'll love this. Mm. Um Gillian. Hampshire, congratulations. Totally, totally natural. Um <laughs> Canadian Labradorite, so from the original location of source, of course. Um, but it, it, you know, Labradorite, and we we touched on this earlier on, but it it is normally seen in like the darker body it colours, is. isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's really lovely to have it in the sort of softer tones. It is because on the on the a gemstone of this size, that's even if you take the Labradorescence away from it, which it's got oodles of, mm, it's, it's a beautiful pretty, gemstone yeah, on its own. I agree. I agree. I Moving on. Oh, let's go back to your tiger's eye. Oh. So we had some really lovely tiger's eye cabochons all, earlier on, didn't we? I'd use this alongside those. We got five. Three mil. Oh, do you know what? I need to go shopping for these because I so want to do some gemstone stretchies. Some loomed stretchies. Yeah, nice. And these gemstones will give Perfect. you those patterns you can do in gems. <gasps> okay. Simon these. says... Um, Right, Wayne, um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling under the weather, so let's just take this to four ninety five. <laughs> four ninety five. I'd be that buying these brilliant. as well. Yeah. They're all no, the I'm range. Having, I'm having the, all of these three mils because they'll be perfect. <laughs> Deb says what? Ty, Simon says I've I've got in the sack whilst he's off sick. Nah, he'd be all right. He'd be all right. He knows anyway. He knows if he's not here that we would one hundred percent chance it, and use his name as an excuse. He fully knows that. Don't you worry about it. Get well soon, Simon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Amazing prices today. He's done brilliantly, hasn't he? Yeah, even though he didn't set those prices, we went beyond it. Yes, brilliantly. Yeah. We went below Simon's prices, but Simon said. And Simon said. Right, moving on. Right, as you were saying, you are going to be shopping for these lovely three oh, mils. Yes. So you said about the loom. Yeah. Jewel loom. No. Beading the loom. The endless loom. Endless loom. There's Which lots of different the looms. Yeah, I've got yes. more. I might have. <laughs> That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Five ninety five. We'll match the price, and I'd use them all together. Actually, well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the gemstones as if they were seed beads and do a pattern with the gemstones. Looms coming back in with the bands coming to a show in early December. There we go. Stock up on your three mils and four mils. They are a perfect size, aren't they? Because, Brilliant. Because they're smaller and more petite. Obviously, um, if you were to use something like your six mil or your eight mm. mil, obviously it's going to make a massive bracelet, yeah. which isn't necessarily wearable. No, but I still, I'm going to do a pearl one as well. Oh, lovely. Four ninety five for the glow of gorgeous green aventurine. Yeah, get hold of your tiger's eye and your labradorite. We brought those to you literally a few moments ago. Um, but right now, who's ready for that gorgeous garnet star bar? Yeah, I've been admiring this all morning. Um, exquisite. So to a point, when I first saw them, and I actually showed you on a Facebook Live, I was like, are they trillions or are they hearts? They actually look like they could mm. be either of those. Mm. Um, I'd say probably more trillions, but they've got a definite curve to the top of each of those, which makes you think that way. Just stunning. Beautiful. And these are completely and utterly natural. Now... Word to the wise, we have a big quantity uh -oh. and we are going to do something complete, what can only be described as rebellious. Next. Now, for one second, I'm just going to quickly talk about how awesome this deal is without letting the cat out of the bag. It truly is rebellious. Um, 
to take any gemstone at the to, to, to a single figure price tag I find absolutely amazing but garnet which has just got all the history we we automatically understand that garnet is a gemstone of prestige we've offered you um as color gemstone specialists which I truly believe jewelry maker are yeah. you know demantoid color change garnet zavarite garnet grossula garnet we can bring you all of those um they must never and and the red, the deeper reds, are still the one colour that people tend to naturally, immediately recognise, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Um, and probably one of the most That's historically nice. adorned as well. Look at this strand. It's, I, it was literally the first one that I picked stunning. up. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? Look at those. Do you see wow. where I'm coming from? Yeah. Are they trillions or are they hearts? Mm. Kind of in between, aren't they? You could you could use them as either, and they wouldn't look out of out of uh, out of place. Yeah. That's the one I was looking for. Or drops, yeah, absolutely, yeah. top to bottom drilled. Like beautiful flowers. But they're flowers. all completely natural solitaires, and the solitaires wow. that go from five to six millimeters. So that is like a calibrated size. Mm. Um, Please start dialing. If, you, if you're if you saying, oh, yeah, I like that, Elle. If you're looking at this, look at the purple tones as well. Yeah. The more purple tones that you get within a red garnet, the more valuable it actually is. Um, there's no treatment to it. It's high refractions in garnet as well. Um, Indian garnet. Now, I've been to India and I've visited to uh, Raj, uh, Rajasthan, the pink city, and you often see those kind of warm colours um, come through within the actual gemstone itself. Um, we are, like I said, going to be rebellious. How many do we have? 109. Should we make sure we sell them all out? Um, the first price is not where we are stopping. We are stopping, but that is definitely your call to action, jewelry makers. Sheila, Janice, Catherine, well done. That's the way to play it. Julie in West Midlands is there as well. I'm joining you on this as well, and I'm mm -hmm. picturing just like a really lovely chandelier style <gasps> pair oh, of earrings. They would lend themselves so well to that. They'd look beautiful. Sorry. I've just heard. Yeah. Wayne says he's about to get into trouble for this because we, okay, these have, do I say that? Okay, just don't say it, just do it. Okay, this, we shouldn't do it. Rebellious, like I said, rebellious. Can't say rebellious and then not be rebellious. We shouldn't no. be taking it to the price that we are doing, but we will. Uh, 60 second clock though. Starts now. Um, if we, if, listen, honestly, there are certain times uh, during a live show where there might well be repercussions. This is definitely one of those. Definitely, definitely. This is natural, but so beautiful. And um, we, we mentioned earlier on the fact that garnet never comes across as beautifully as, as, as it does in person um, on your TV screens. However, when you get it home, this is what this is more of a true represent, uh, representation. You get that lovely, colour. almost like a cranberry, mm. um, grapey like colour. It's completely natural. You are loving this, but I, I rebellious. What if you ever known me describe any auction? as rebellious we should not be doing this price tag but we're gonna do it just because well hey ho new week why not start why with a not? bang Absolutely. why not do you know what's getting me from this direction looking at the reflection as the light's coming through you don't normally get that with garnet necessarily do no. you and you can see oh oh you've gone even lower oops yeah but my sheet does doesn't say that you said all morning. Yeah, but my Don't rebellious think. was still a pound higher than what's on your screens Don't right think. now. Just Don't think, do just it. do it. Just do it. He's done it. 65 carats of absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful quality natural garnet. all the way from India and what a price tag. Okay, but please can we work together and make sure that this is a sellout, please, because otherwise, yeah, I would be multi-buying as well. Um, so Azataza, okay. what are you going to do with this? I'm loving the tassel idea. Definitely like, like ear a, tassels. Like a, like a and, waterfall. Yeah, mm. waterfall. Maybe from below the black agate round, mm. have the tassel coming down. I'm also loving these because you could rosary link with these and they make a lovely rosary link necklace. Um, so I'm liking that idea. 
I love the shape of them for petals. Yeah. They're a lovely petal shape. This is such a versatile strand. You know I do the chain drape... Um, oh, ear... ear uh, Ear adornment, shall I call ear it? Ear adornment, yeah. yeah that, literally that sits the... behind your ear, and then you I get this you curtain mean. coming down. With those, it'd look beautiful because you'd have this beautiful red um, punctuation at, at the bottom of it, and so tactile. They'd look beautiful as that. And you know what? It's a gemstone that literally, in my, it's always, it's always been one of my favourites. Garnets, mm. always garnets of whatever colour, because of its refraction. Yeah. You know, um, it's more refractive than that of your ruby. So if you're looking for a red gemstone, then I love ruby. Don't get me wrong, but. If you want sparkle and glitz and glamour, then definitely your garnet. Yes. Um, I love it with your spinel. It would be beautiful with spinel. It's a combination I think just works. Mm. And definitely alongside pearls that you've had oodles of over the course of the weekend. I had 109. There is a queue, so make sure you stay there. Anne, David, Georgie, Barbara, June, Jean, Deborah, Anne, Maureen, Francis, Lorraine, Kath, David, hello to you, Hampshire, multi-buying, Peter, Kath and Paul, Stacey, Pauline, Laura, Julie, Cheryl, London, Deborah, Andrea, Mavis, Angela, Lorraine. Um, and it would would it be just something? I mean, I could go on. There's loads of you there. Just a little wrap loop and then attach it to... Just a wrap loop. Like and a double style. Yeah. So, so you'd have a piece of chain mm. and then you'd drop... I would tend to drop two from each each side of the loop. So, yeah. so if you want it really heavy... Yeah, full. Each, each part of your chain... Let's borrow... Let's borrow one of these. So... Oops. Durable. So in each in each link of the chain, I'd put a wrap loop and I'd put one wrap loop of each on each side. Wow! And I'd do that all the way down. You'd get a very very full. Um, uh, and a strand will do strand. that. Yeah. Oh gosh, wow! Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. over thirty carats that you'd have in each ear. Yeah. That would be, well, mm. you probably have enough over to do Much a necklace. Wow! Yeah. Look incredible. You would you oh, ha you would have one on the bottom of the extender chain. This is yeah. Adam saying he'd have one at the bottom of the extension chain at the back right, of a right. necklace and have that as your calling card. As your calling card, good idea. So, by there, great idea. Do you know who do that? Roberto Coin. They do that with oh. a ruby, actually. Um, oh. They do that with a ruby, and their pieces tend to carry a four-figure price tag. A friend of mine does something similar with her teddy bears. Yeah. So she, she's a teddy bear artist. She's an amazing teddy bear artist. What's that? Literally draws or makes? No, no, makes. They're right. called teddy bear artists. So she makes um, mohair bears, mm. stunning bears. She also makes memory bears. So oh. if you've got um, a piece of clothing from a loved one or your wedding dress or, yeah. you know, anyway, um, she'll make a bear out of it. But what she does on the back She's got a little code and she uses, I think it's three gemstones on the back mm. of each bear. Mm. on each Because each one has its individual tag because they're all one, one of a kind. Yeah. And she, put, she has a gemstone for the year. Yeah. A gemstone for the month. Yeah. And I think she has one for the day. Wow, that's amazing. So she can tell... Exactly or when maybe it was it's made. one for the range, so she can tell what month it was, what year it was, so all That's the bears amazing. have the same year one. Like Stife. They've yeah, yeah, so heart, they have, they, she it? has this little code at the back, and you could do that with your pieces of jewellery. Wow. And you could know exactly when you made that piece of jewellery. It's just gorgeous. I can't believe we're at eight ninety-five. That's sixty-five carats of sheer quality. Um, there is a queue on the phone lines. I'm not surprised. There's been so many beautiful goodies today, um, and I think garnet, especially on the back of this weekend, amazing. I know, I know, I know. Wow. Flown by, isn't it? <gasps> oh, that's lovely. Jasper. Gorgeous Jasper. I was about to say it's Love quite autumnal, just... but it's actually not. It's more summer, I think. Well, it's a mixture, isn't it? Mm. I love those mustard tones in with the greens, and then you get that bit of pink coming through. Warmth. Stunning. Totally yeah. natural. Oh, I beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. Jasper tends to be. This one's actually been filled, which usually means it's not altering the appearance. It's stabilising the yeah. gemstone. Um, are you going to do what? Such a versatile strand, be it mm. on gents' jewellery, be it macrame, be it in stretchies, be it in knotting, be it... You could make the exact same necklace that you demonstrated yeah. in the 12 o'clock hour. No, if I, did, if I did that necklace with that strand, I would colour graduate the strand. 
Oh, you love her? Yeah, she I would colour graduate she this does. dancer. She loves her. And I would have this ombre of Jasper Ooh. coming around. And I would probably use something like an antique bronze with yeah. it. Oh, lovely, yeah. Totally change the look and feel of this piece. Totally. Marla necklaces as well. I think it'd be a really Marla nice necklace. Marla necklace. Yeah, absolutely. Like um, Marla. It's, it's, it's one of those lovely colours, I think, that you could wear by mm. day and yes. by night, isn't it? Those wonderful colour palettes. Yeah. So it's not going to be too... How do I word this? A little bit more um, relaxed. I yeah. think it's the word. Yeah. I'd, I'd, or casual, I suppose. But yeah. still, still on still trend. Nice. Absolutely. Stretchies. <laughs> Stretchies. Can't Beautiful be a stretchy. stretchy. Moving on. Right, who wants the six mil in that same strand? Well, you need both to make that necklace. Oh, yeah. What's yeah, that way planned it? It was. Is Simon going to do a Simon deal? Oh... Hello, Wayne. Oh no, he's wandered off. Simon's gone? Has he left the building? Oh, very much. <laughs> Hello, my name's Simon, um, and I'd very much like to do the 85 carats version of Jasper that's on your screens right now. Uh, for £4.95. Woo! It's so uncanny. Like that one. Hello, it's like Ian. Yeah. Hello. Uh. <laughs> it's a little bit Mr Bean, my impression, isn't it? Hello. A little... <laughs> when, you, when you come back, Simon, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to come back and speak like that. <laughs> yeah, please. Please, Simon. Sorry, don't take offence. I cannot no. do accents. 4 95 only. That's so pretty. It's, it and it's pretty. so fashionable, the wonderful warm colours right now. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody's texting, say, asking for your help, oh, Alison. Right. OK, let's have a little look. So this is Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Alison, Bobby. I need your help. I'm trying to weave a bracelet, but I can't seem to keep the space even okay. between the two wires. I'm using one mil and 0 0.4. 0 0.4. Okay. So we're talking, we're talking about the figure of eight. Yeah. Um, and depending on where you want it to go, what you've got to do is hold it as close as you can. Let me just get this. So when you want to do, because uh, obviously that will look totally different. You want to keep them parallel. And as you're weaving, do it small pieces at a time and keep adjusting, keep checking that it's the same width. But weave as close to your fingers and your fingers control how far they're apart. It's a bit like um, chopsticks. So Is your, it something your that fingers comes are controlled. with practice? It's a definite practice thing. Okay. You're, you're, if, what you want is a, a as hard as you can, put one mil, not one of the mega soft ones. You want a fairly... Um, work hard and point uh, one mil, um, and a soft point four to be able okay. to weave it. The harder your point four is, the more likely it is to pull that out of shape. And also think about your tension. So the other thing is, as you're weaving, the temptation as you come between is to pull, and that just pulls those together. So you have to go round and don't pull it till you've come over here, and you just have to play with your tension. But it's all about keeping your hand as close to where you're weaving, so you have to. Move it along as you're doing it, and and your tension, and that's what you've got to practice. And it's practice. Another thing you can do is practice with a pair of chopsticks. Oh, that's a good because idea. Because they won't move, and it's not my idea. I didn't come up with it, but I've seen people using that's it. That's a really as a good technique. idea, though. So, because I tended to use um, 1.5. Yeah. If you use 1.5 with a 0.4, the wires you're not likely to pull them. But if you hold them down here, then obviously these wires are going to move a lot. If you hold them here then that's got less opportunity to move. OK, Keep so your, hold close. Hold as close to as you to your weaving point as you can, even if it means shuffling up. Mm -hmm. Go slowly and check each time. OK. Yeah. Perfect. Hope that helps, so Bobby. Fun. Hope that helps. Um, we can probably squeeze in maybe just a <gasps> couple, uh, couple before the top of the show. I love that. Um, this is your strawberry quartz, also known as sargonetic quartz as well, um, because the colour comes from those lovely little... Um, uh, lovely pink inclusions. Mm. Simon says, uh, I'll take this twelve ninety five, please. <laughs> I'm going to miss that voice now. <laughs> what 
are we going to do for the rest of the day without Simon on? Oh, I don't know, but it's tickling <laughs> me anyway. So, I quite, I would quite like Simon to talk like that. <laughs> what, when he comes in? Hmm. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Uh, 50 carats of genuine <clears throat> strawberry corks that we've probably travelled halfway around the world. Uh, 12.95. Oh, too much fun. Too much fun. You do get this kind of sprinkling, don't you? This lovely sprinkling of, um, so the strawberry, strawberry red, which yeah. is a colour that we once upon a time actually said you don't often get in courts. Yeah. Like blue to a garnet. We actually said that once upon a time. And lo and behold, Mother Nature offers us. Yeah. This lovely colour. Mother um, Nature's okay. amazing. Moving on. Who wants more wire deals? Could never have enough wire. So, 10 metres of your one mil. In your silver plate, still the conversation nice. that we had this morning. Yeah. Gold dust. Yeah. Uh, 10 metres of your one mil. 10 metres of your point 0.8. 10 metres of your point 0.6. And 10 metres of your point 0.4. The what? Simon says... Sorry, I was going to say it's your complete starters covers everything kit. So this with your class DVD. Yeah. Simon says, uh, uh, I take your silvery strands wire kit for all your findings to seven pounds ninety five this afternoon. Thank you. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Excuse this me. Shouldn't be this much but that's fun. brilliant. You, you've got everything there. You've got your core wire. You've got your weaving wire. You've got your point six, which is great for your kumahimo. It's great for your for your wire macrame. It's great for you doing your rosary linking. It's great. For, you know, you've got a bit of wire for everything. It's a great, great, com comprehensive kit. I agree. And and like generally, we had this conversation this mm, morning. We did that one of these reels was about that price tag yeah. once upon a time, yeah. you know? So it, it kind of gets me back onto that kind of tangent where, you know, are our prices going up? I don't think so. With the majority, uh, no. with the majority of items, I think it's going completely in the reverse, especially with things like silver and wire. I know. And the silver wire, the gemstones, what we've got is such a... We've, we've increased the variety. Yeah, but better suppliers. We've got, well, yeah. I don't want to say better... 17, 17, 17. There is a Q, stay holding, because you might want to add these. Huh. Copper, copper, copper. Huh. Copper, copper, copper. This is your copper. Guess what? Wow. By, the time, by, by the time it's in, you're going to need to move on, aren't you? There we go. Right, 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 right. Right, like that one there. Time it says, right, do this for £7.95 as well. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> is it getting old now? Is it? Is it no, no. It's is it? Brilliant. Is it getting no. old? No. Ah, uh, so your point four, your point six, your point eight, and the your one, one mil. mil. So that's your weaving. That's your findings. Yeah. yeah. Your structure. Yeah. Absolutely. So your you core wires. Yeah. Your structure. Um. Then your, your, your Viking knit. Yeah. And you can Viking knit with every single one of those. Yeah, 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 perfect. Hey, Bobby. Bobby says, thank you, Alison. Um, I'm frightened to death of wire work, uh, but I thought I'd give it a go. Um, oh, I'm having no. hot flushes. Bless you, darling. Yeah, I get that. I understand where you're coming from. Bobby, the worst, worst thing that can happen when you're playing with wire is you scrap a bit. That's it. That's all that's going to happen. Yep. Don't worry about it. Pract and at those prices, you can afford to practice all you like. That's true, because it, uh, it used to be quite a considered yeah. medium. Now, not so much, is it? Don't um, worry about okay. it. Okay, how about the gold practice. colour? Especially, uh, Bobby, if you're getting these as well, don't worry if you make any mistakes. I've literally got 45 seconds <gasps> to bring you this, or rather Simon does. <laughs> Uh, gleams of gold, right, ladies and gents, it's been lovely being with you this uh, morning stroke this afternoon, but I have to dash and get butter. So, seven ninety five. Thank you, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, can I do one Acceptance more? Speech. Can I do one more? Toodles. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Alison, thank you so much. You're oh, she's been ace, isn't she? When you're back, quickly, quickly, oh, quickly. Can't remember. Can't, can't remember. remember. I'm back with you tomorrow morning. Oh, I'm Shit. here tomorrow, but I'm not oh. back tomorrow. <laughs> Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a